Hello, I'm Jesse Lepper. Who would you believe we're midway through April already? The spring is good. Oh. Welcome to my mid-April game show festival. We're going to kick things off with a 1988 episode of Jeopardy with Alex Trebek. So take it away, Alex. Broadcasting offers a variety of career opportunities for young people today. The fourth annual Augie Hebert Scholarship Fund will be awarding $1,500 towards the education of a qualified Alaskan high school senior. If you are interested in radio or television, here's your chance to put your dreams into practical focus. For more information, write Northern Television Incorporated, 1007 West 32nd, Anchorage, Alaska, 99503. Deadline for entries, March 31st, 1988. For a limited time at Godfather's Pizza, it's the two for special. Two medium original crust pepperoni pizzas for one low price. What are you waiting for? Be sure and tune in to the 1988 Easter Seal Society Telephone, beginning this Saturday evening at 7 p.m. here on KTVA, Channel 11. This is Jeopardy! Now entering the studio are today's contestants. An airline reservation sales representative originally from Sebring, Ohio, Janice Fonnert. A stockbroker from Albuquerque, New Mexico, Mike Perez. And our returning champion, a marketing representative from Oakland, California, Sandy Taylor, whose one-day cash winnings total $9,400. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny. Hi, folks. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome again to Jeopardy. Let me tell you something. If today's game is as exciting as our last show, then you are in for a rare treat. Let me tell you what happened in case you weren't tuned in. This lady, Sandy, became champion, although going into final Jeopardy, she had about half as much money as her two opponents. But in guarding against each other, they wagered big, and they were wrong on final Jeopardy. She wagered big also. She was right. And as a result, she has $9,400. But she is the defending champion, and that means she has to defend against Janice and Mike. So good luck to all three of you. Let's put you to the test right now as we begin the first round on Jeopardy. Remember, in this round of play, just the one daily double to assist you. And you're going to find it in one of these categories. Toys and games. That's fun. Flowers. Colorful songs. Physics. French cooking. And finally, trivial tourism. Sandy, as returning champ, you get to make the first selection. French cooking for 100, please. The answer is, arrosé in French. It's what chefs do to keep a turkey moist while baking it. Sandy. What is to baste? Baste is right. French cooking for 200. Type of wine used in sauce bourguignon. Janice. What is burgundy? Burgundy wine, red wine. Trivial, right. trivial tourism for 100, please. His grave used to boast a stone raven, but you won't find it now. It's flown the coop. Mike. Who is Edgar Allan Poe? That is correct. Trivial tourism for 200. The folks in Kennebunkport, Maine, celebrated National Dump Week with dump art made from this. Janice. What is garbage? You got it. <laughs> Trivial tourism for 300, please. Appropriately, Grand Saline, Texas, sports the only house in America made entirely of blocks of this. Janice. What is salt? Right again. Trivial tourism for 400, please. You'll find a statue of this star outside the Roy Rogers Museum and the star himself inside, stuffed. Mike? Who is Trigger? Trigger is right. Trivial tourism for 500. If you can't go to Cork, Ireland, pop over to Shamrock, Texas and kiss this sham rock. Mike? What is the Blarney Stone? Blarney Stone is right for $500. Where to now? Toys and games for 300, please. Middle of the column. One of two animals which are appropriately playing pieces in the game of Tygo. Sandy. What is a tiger? Tiger and goat was the other. Select. French cooking for 300. The answer is carré d'agneau is a loin of this type of meat. Sandy. What is lamb? Right. French cooking for 400. What you'd buy in an American grocery store if a recipe calls for fromage à la crème. Sandy. What is cream cheese? That's it. French cooking for 500. French for froth. This smooth, fluffy dessert is frequently flavored with chocolate. Janice. What is mousse? Mousse. That's right, for 500. Uh, colorful songs for 100, please. Top of that category, right on the heels of Bobby Vinton's 1963 Blue on Blue, came this hit about something blue. Mike? What is Blue Velvet? Blue Velvet, that's it. Colorful songs for 200. A number one hit 
It was based on a true story of a man returning home from prison. Sandy. What is tie yellow ribbon around the old oak tree? You got it. Okay, physics for 100. Used in acoustics, it's a two-pronged metal instrument that emits a tone of fixed pitch when struck. Sandy. What is a tuning fork? Tuning fork is correct for $100. That takes you to $1,400. And by golly, we've got the same kind of situation we had on our last show, with just $300 separating our three contestants as we reach the first commercial break. Relax for a few moments. We'll pause for these messages and come back to chat with the players, and then we'll get right back into the match on Jeopardy. <laughs> Skimping on the topic. Father, I would never. And what are you here for? I'm from the round table pizza next door. Somebody ordered. Round table, one of the last honest pizzas. Here are some more great used car specials from Anchorage Chrysler Dodge. A 1983 Toyota Corolla, just $38.95. An 85 Dodge Aries, $39.95. An 83 Plymouth Sapporo, $35.95. An 83 Volkswagen Rabbit, $24.95. And a 1982 Ford Escort, just $19.95. Right here at Anchorage Chrysler. Get on-the-spot financing and immediate delivery at Anchorage Chrysler Dodge. 2601 East 5th. Could I have your attention a moment? Are you looking for a store that has a large selection of tools and accessories for the do-it-yourselfer or the professional? A store that would have a large selection of household merchandise? A store with a complete line of laundry and personal care items? A store with a fantastic selection of women's apparel to complement any wardrobe? A store with a large selection of men's clothing for work or dress? A store that stocks new variety of merchandise on a weekly basis? A store with a relaxed, friendly atmosphere and the lowest everyday prices? Look no further. Come into Liquidation Sales on Diamond Boulevard across from the Diamond Center. America's favorite way to win happens right here. You mean right here on this channel? Right. It's Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. The excitement of Wheel of Fortune with Pat Sajak and Vanna White. People's lives all over America change when they spin to win. And don't miss Jeopardy, television's ultimate big money risk with Alex Trebek. It's where you can win it all or lose it all. Come be a part of the excitement. With Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. Now that's a winning combination. Spend a few moments with our players. Janice Bonner, originally from Sebring, Ohio, was the first player we introduced. And it says here you recently had uh, a very happy moment in reuniting with a college roommate after how many years? Uh, about 12 years. Was he happy to see you? It, well, it was a she, uh, so she, she was happy to see me, though. How did the two of you get back together? Um, I had lost touch with her, and I had read a name of the person I thought was her father in the newspaper and subsequently saw him on television and wrote to him and at the time he was the Prime Minister of Iceland and now is the Secretary of State. Oh, hello. <laughs> All right, well, that's very nice. You know that many of our players on Jeopardy have the same kinds of things happen to them because they're seen on the show by former schoolmates who contact them. So oh, we make for a lot of happy endings yes. even if you're not a winner. Good luck to you on the program. You. Mike Perez. We discovered you at a contestant search in Albuquerque. You served in uh, Thailand in the military, and you won an award of some kind. That's right, Alex. I was a soldier of the month of Thailand. Well, what was that? Uh, for what? Uh, what were you doing? Uh, just being a good guy. Just a good guy in Thailand? <laughs> were you on R&R &R in Thailand? Or? No, I was stationed there. I was stationed in Bangkok. I see. Okay, it's a lovely city. Fun city. Yes, sir, it is. Good times. Sandra Taylor, our champion from Oakland, California. Lady who likes to travel. We talked about your visit to South America on yesterday's program. Where would you most like to go that you haven't been? Oh, goodness. That the money you won on Jeopardy might be used to uh, enjoy. Jamaica's right up there. Jamaica? Never been there? Never been there. Oh, Montego Bay, <coughs> Ocho Rios, and all those wonderful places. That's what I've heard. Okay, well, let's get back into this match, see if you can earn some more money. Sandy, you've got control of the board. Make a selection. Physics for 200. The answer there is from Latin for twist. The term for a turning or twisting force. Mike. What is torque? Torque is right. Physics for 300. It's the term for the reflected radio wave signal received by a radar unit, unit, unit. Janice. What is an echo? Correct. It's colorful songs for 300, please. Middle of that column, and we've got the only daily double in this round, and it's an audio. 
And look at this, just $200 separating our three players. Janice, here's an opportunity for you. You've got $1,500 to risk. I'll bet $500, please. All right, for an even $2,000, if you are right, here is the clue and the music. Color in title of this 1967 number one hit for the Lemon Pipers. Drop your silver in my tambourine. Janice? What is green tambourine? Green tambourine. You got it. You're up to 3,000, and you get to select again. Way to go. We'll continue with colorful songs for 400, please. This last number one hit for Three Dog Night was originally written in honor of the Supreme Court desegregation ruling. Janice? What is black and white? That's it. And colorful songs for 500, please. Brother and sister Nino Tempo and April Stevens hit number one describing a night that was this color. And the deep purple. Janice? Uh, let's try flowers for 100. From Old English for Day's Eye, this flower opens anew each morning and closes again at night. Sandy? What's the daisy? That's right. Uh, flowers for 200. It can precede Alyssum, William, or P. Janice? What is sweet? That's the right word. Uh, let's go to Toys and Games for 400, please. 400. Kenner makes crinklers and shape shooters, especially for molding this modeling compound. Janice? What is clay? No. Sandy. What is Play-Doh? Play-Doh. That's what Kenner uses. Uh, flowers for 300. The answer there. In North America, these birds are the chief bird pollinators of flowers. Sandy. We're hummingbirds. That's it. Flowers for 400. The term substance refers to the amount of this contained within rose petals. The correct response is water or moisture. We've got less than a minute to go, Sandy. You select. Flowers for 500. The answer? Sirius is a night-blooming variety of this plant. Sandy? Was Iris? No, sorry. Microgenis? The correct response here is what is cactus? Sandy, we're back to you. Uh, physics for 400. Answer. An ammeter is used to measure this. What is electric current or amperes? Sandy, select. Uh, toys and games for 200. Answer. When you drop coins in the musical bogey bank, it plays this theme from Casablanca. Mike? What is as time goes by? That's right. Go again. Toys and games for 500. Answer. This giant six-foot inflatable king of the monsters doesn't come with a giant inflatable Raymond Burr. The king of the monsters in this case is Godzilla. Michael, go again. <laughs> Physics for 500. Bottom of that column. Also called a linux. It's an apparatus for accelerating ions to high energies. Sandy. What's an accelerometer? No. The correct term is what is a linear accelerator. Ah. We go back to Mike, but we won't get a chance to do that. We had only one clue left up there. And let's see what we've got in the way of scores now. Janice by, by $1,000 over Sandy, and Mike sandwiched in the middle there with $1,500. Double Jeopardy coming up, but first we have to pause long enough for these messages. When you do it the best... Pioneer Honda, home of $99 down, does it again. The world's number one quality car made in America, Honda. And now, an 88 four-door LX Accord loaded with equipment, $99 down and just $249 a month. The time is now for best selection on the value of the year. Honda, always $99 down. Always easy to trade at Pioneer Honda on Dowling across from DMV in Anchorage. See us now. is cooking some spicy prices. Ten-piece box, only $7.99. Love that chicken for five bye. Ten-piece box, only $7.99. Love that chicken for five bye. Ooh, we, we give it some spicy prices. This special at Popeye's in Anchorage, Eagle River, and Wasilla. Spice right and price right. Now at Sadler's, don't pay a dime for six months' time. That's August the 1st, and it's our most incredible no-payment offer ever. Check out the savings, and don't pay a dime on all our beautiful living rooms, dining rooms, dinettes, bedrooms, mattresses, and water beds. That's right, don't pay a dime for six months' time. With no down payment, no monthly payments, and absolutely no interest until August. See our ads in the Anchorage Daily News. Offer starts Friday at Sadler's, Mountain View, and Sterling Stores. The legend of Acura. Its heart was born on the racetrack, 
and its soul designed around the people inside. Road and Track Magazine named it one of the 10 best cars in the world. Motor Trend made it 1987 Car of the Year, and its owners named it number one in customer satisfaction. Right now, Acura of Anchorage is pricing these cars to sell. So hurry down, because the only thing missing from the legend of Acura could be you. Here we are, double jeopardy round coming up. Two daily doubles in this round to play to help our contestants add to their winnings. Dollar figures first. Now the categories. Massachusetts. Literary animals. Starts with the letter E. Canadian actors the military, and more proverbs of death. A follow-up to one of our not-so-popular earlier categories. <laughs> Sandy, you're in third place. You go first. Uh, starts with A for 1,000. For 1,000. The answer is Lancelot's less famous lover, also known as Galahad's mother. Who was Elaine? That's the E. Sandy, go again. Uh, starts with E for 800. Answer there is a daily double. Yeah. Now, here you go. Could take the lead if you risk it all. You don't even have to risk it all. I'll go for 500. For $500 in starts with E, here is the clue for you. The Gaelic name for this capital is Dunedin. What is Edinburgh? Edinburgh, that's right. You got it. <coughs> You're now in second place and you retain control of the board. Go again. Starts with E for 600. Articulation. Mike. What is enunciation? That's the word that starts with E. Starts with E for 400. It's one or the other. Mike. What is either or? We didn't need the or in it, but either is fine. <laughs> starts with E for 200. Snails for snobs. Sandy. What are escargot? That starts with E, and that wraps up that category. Where to now? Literary animals for 200. Invisible rabbit, who Elwood P. Dowd says is six feet, one half inch tall. Sandy. Who is Harvey? Right. Literary animals for 400. Used to hoax Don Quixote, Clavileno was a horse made of this. Horse made of wood. Sandy, go again. Literary animals for 600. The Mad Hatter tried to stuff this furry creature into the teapot. Sandy. What's the Dormouse? Correct. Literary animals for 800. Not entirely bare when found, Paddington Bear was wearing a tag and a large one of these. Janice. What is a hat? You got it. And let's go with literary animals for 1,000, please. Archie and Mahitable were these two types of animals. Mike. What are cockroaches? Sorry, that's incomplete. Sandy or Janice? The two types are cockroach and a cat. Janice, we go back to you. Uh, let's try Canadian actors for 200, please. All righty. On radio, he was the voice of doom, but on television, he was the papa of the Ponderosa. Mike. Who is Lauren Green? That is right. Canadian actress for 800. Answer there. This ex-ballet dancer from British Columbia has been Mrs. Craig Stevens since 1944. Janice. Who is Alexis Smith? You are correct. Uh, Canadian actress for 600. Quebec-born Blackboard Jungle star whose first name was originally spelled G-W-Y-L-L-Y-N. <coughs> Janice. Who is Glenn Ford? That's correct. And Canadian actors for 400. This beauty from Alberta is best known for her date with a beast atop the Empire State Building. Janice. Who is Faye Ray? Correct. And Canadian actors for 1,000, please. MGM billed this Montrealer as the first lady of the screen, perhaps because she was married to Irving Thalberg. Who was Norma Shearer? Back to you, Janice. Uh, let's go with Massachusetts for 200. Answer. In 1957, a replica of this sailed from England and reached Plymouth, Massachusetts. Sandy. What's the Mayflower? Right. Uh, Massachusetts for 400. Carver, Massachusetts is the world center for production of this fruit. So give thanks. Mike. What are pumpkins? No, sorry. Sandy or Janice? Sandy. What are cranberries? Cranberries, yes. Massachusetts for 600. A sea captain named this peninsula after making large catches of fish off it. Sandy? Was Cape Cod. Right. Massachusetts for 800. Logically, this is the state dog. Sandy. What's the Boston Terrier? Yep. <laughs> Massachusetts for 1,000. As governor, this future president won national exposure in 1919, dealing with a police strike. Mike. Who is Coolidge? You got it for 1,000 in control of the board. Military for 1,000. The answer there is a daily double. 
Well, you can see that you've got about half the money accumulated by both of your opponents, so you can do yourself a great deal of good here, Mike. <sighs> got to go for it all. All right, you'll have 4,600 if you are correct in the military. Here is your clue. One of only two locations at which Marines can go through boot camp. What is Paris Island? That's right. San Diego was the other one. Nice going. You've got 4,600. And we have just $200 separating our three contestants. But you have control of the board. Go. Military for 800. Answer. In 1957, three Coast Guard cutters sailed through the Northwest Passage and helped establish this dew line. DEW stands for Distant Early Warning Line. All right, Michael, select again. Military for 600. In the U.S. Navy, it's the class of enlisted rank just below a petty officer. Mike. What is a seaman? Right. Military for 400. In August of 1987, Colonel Gregorio Gringo Honasan led a rebel attack against this country's government. The correct response is, what is the Philippines? We've got less than a minute to go, Mike. Military for 200. In World War II, ocean racing yachts were pressed into service to patrol for these enemy vessels. Sandy. We're submarines. You got it. More proverbs of death for 200. For 200. <laughs> it's another man's poison. Sandy. What is one man's meat? Correct. More proverbs of death for 400. As a man does this, so shall he die. Janice. What is, um, as a man lives, so That's shall it. he die. Uh, more proverbs of death for 600. It's death's feast, and there has never been a good one. Sandy. What is war? Right. More proverbs of death for 800. According to Job, there the wicked cease from troubling, and there the weary be at rest. What is the grave? And we've got one more clue. Let's take a look at it. In Greek mythology, he waits for all, and you won't need your Dramamine. Who is the boatman on the River Styx? Karen. All right, that wraps up Double Jeopardy, and let's see what we've got. <laughs> Sandy in the lead by $500 over Mike and Janice. And as anticipated at the beginning of the program, we did have a super competition. And now the excitement of Final Jeopardy. Remember, at the end of the show, the player with the most cash is the champ. The others will enjoy these prizes. Travel arrangements to the beautiful beaches of Florida for today's first runner-up made through Eastern Airlines. You'll be flying to the vacation of a lifetime. We've got your ticket on Eastern Airlines. And in Florida, you and your guests will enjoy a week's stay at the Sheraton Bal Harbor, one of South Florida's finest oceanfront resorts. Luxurious accommodations, acclaimed entertainment, and shopping in a relaxing atmosphere from Sheraton Bal Harbor. Today's third-place contestant will receive a Whirlpool large-capacity automatic washer with water and energy-saving selectors, double-duty agitators, and self-cleaning filter. Also a clothes dryer in gas with extra large capacity, custom dry control, and hamper door furnished by Whirlpool. And all contestants receive the Jeopardy box game to play at home. And now once again, here's Alex. Two things are going to determine today's champion. First of all, the strategy in betting, because all three contestants are so close in their scores, and also their knowledge of this final Jeopardy category. Word origin, something to think about while we take this break. As a photographer, I count on my eyes to be 100%. When they're red, burning, or irritated, I use Visine. Visine gives 100% of what you need to relieve all these symptoms. That's what I call 100% relief. What more could you ask for? This is Ben Gay. It's relieved minor arthritis pain for nearly a century. This is Aspicream. The U.S. Federal Trade Commission ruled it didn't prove it relieves arthritis pain at all. Ben Gay, real relief from minor arthritis pain. Crispy critters, it's the low sugar cereal for kids. If it's low in sugar, how come it has those cute animals? That's child psychology, but moms love it for the low sugar. So crispy critters is good for our kids. And do better bleed. I came into the kitchen, two of my kids are fighting over who gets the red jello gelatin, who gets the yellow jello gelatin, so I flipped a coin. I won. Jello gelatin. You can't be a kid without it. It's anybody's game as we continue with Final Jeopardy next. If you're a single parent, it's great to have help in the kitchen, especially in the morning when things get a little hectic. Someone can fix the toast. Jif peanut butter is on sale this week at Safeway, just $1.99 a jar. Someone else can fry the eggs. 
fresh Lucerne AA medium white eggs are on sale, just 69 cents a dozen. And someone can help eat the biscuits and gravy. Pillsbury Country Biscuit Dough is on sale at four tubes for just 99 cents. From Safeway, the home of the honest deal. If you're setting out to buy a new family car and don't want to spend over $10,000, don't land on Toyota Camry. You'll be almost a thousand short and steer clear of Honda Accord unless you've got nearly 1,200 to spare or an extra 1,300 for a Nissan Stanza. But on Subaru Avenue, you can buy a DL sedan or wagon in front wheel or four wheel drive for under 10,000. So why take a chance on anything less than Subaru reliability? After all, buying a car is no game. We'd only been married a couple of weeks when I found out my wife had a problem. She, well, she couldn't... I couldn't cook, so what? It's Godfather's Tooper Special. What she faced, it, she called Godfather's Pizza. <laughs> Two medium original crust pepperoni pizzas for one low price. Hurry, it's for a limited time only. She's the smartest woman in the trailer park. I'm proud of her. Big deal. Two original crust pepperoni pizzas for one low price for a limited time only at Godfather's Pizza. What are you waiting for? Origins, the category. Our three contestants have made their wagers. I'll give you the clue in a moment. You'll then have 30 seconds in which to write down your response. Be sure it is phrased in the form of a question. Final Jeopardy answer today is this. Two or more governments joint dominion over a territory. It's come to mean a form of home ownership. Good luck. We're going to begin down the line with Janice, who was tied for second place with Mike at 5,200. Let's see if you came up with the right word. What is joint tenancy? No. Sorry, that's wrong. How much did it cost you? Everything. You go down to zero. We go to Mike Perez. What did he put down? What is a trust? That, too, is incorrect. How much did you wager? Nothing. I mean, uh, everything, and that leaves you with nothing. Now we come to Sandy Taylor. What did she put down as her response? What is joint tenancy? No, it was really given to you almost completely in the clue. Joint dominion. Condominium. Condominium oh, is the word. I have one. How, if you bet everything, then we're going to say goodbye to all three of you and introduce three new players tomorrow. How much did you wager, champ? 5,000. That leaves you with 700, and today that's enough to remain Jeopardy Chancellor. Congratulations to you, and our congratulations to the other two for a great match until final Jeopardy. Thank you all. We've got to go till next time. Alex, we're back. So long. Today's second and third place contestants will receive Swanson Entrees, introducing nine new Swanson home-style recipe entrees. Convenient, down-to-earth dishes that microwave in 10 minutes or less. When quality and value count, you can count on Swanson. Pond's Cold Cream Deep Cleans, lifting away dirt and makeup that soap leaves behind. Pond's Deep Cleans, better than soap. Duration Nasal Spray, now in a new spray pump. 12-hour relief with an exact dosage every time. Duration Nasal Spray. Pepsodent's Fluoride Toothpaste fights cavities, plaque, gets teeth their whitest. You'll wonder where the yellow went when you brush your teeth with Pepsodent. New Jolly Time Microwave Popcorn gives you 30% more popcorn. The improved larger bag pops in all microwaves. Enjoy the great taste of Jolly Time Popcorn tonight. Sunny Delight Florida Citrus Punch Brand. Enjoy the juicy taste of orange, tangerine, and lime. Nothing delights you like Sunny Delight. And Zip Guard. A beautiful stain, a beautiful finish. Zip Guard. The world continues to change. Your source for those changes that happen today is the CBS Evening News with Dan Rabbit and the Eyewitness News team with Kimberly Van Stoy and Steve McDonald at 530. The team you can trust right here on KTVA Channel 11. This is Johnny Gilbert speaking. Jeopardy! is a production of Bird Griffin Enterprises and is distributed by King World. Don't get caught without a spare. 
Western Optical is having a spare pair sale. Get 25% off your first complete pair of eyewear and 50% off the second pair. That's right. You receive 25% off your first pair of eyewear and 50% off your second pair. Hurry to Western Optical during their spare pair sale. Sale must end the last day of this month. Bank cards are welcome. Sizzler changed some things. Yeah, change some things. I like it here. Sizzlers, steak and all-you-can-eat shrimp. Oh, look at those shrimp, Jody. Come on now, eat up. You too. <laughs> Jody, is your plate still full? Come on, honey. Steak and all-you-can-eat shrimp. Sweetie, just eat one for Mommy. Proof, there is such a thing as too much of a good thing. Sizzler. Here's the fact. American Honda and Pioneer Honda announced the number one quality car in customer service. Only $99 down. Now the lowest price four-wheel drive wagon sold in Alaska. Only $239 a month for a Civic four-door wagon. Always $99 down. Easy to own. Hurry, we only have 60. And it's only at Pioneer Honda in Anchorage. Across from the DMV. Don't miss it. If you're looking to get the most for your hard-earned dollars, come into Liquidation Sales during our gigantic 99 cent or less liquidation. Couple noodle soups, three flavors to choose from at two for 99 cents. Or six packages of ramen soup for only 99 cents. Topco Baby Shampoo, 12 ounce bottles for only 99 cents. Carol Ann Shampoo and Conditioner, 99 cents each. Or how about a three pack of toothbrushes? Thank you so much. It's nice to have you with us on a, on a Friday. It's, and it's sad that this is the last day you'll be with us, but I hope you'll both come back soon. Will you do that? Yes. You're awful good it's players. So it's been fun. Yes, that has not been a very <laughs> dignified week, I must say, but it sure has been fun. I've had a wonderful time. We have two terrific players, and, but before we do that, we will continue to watch for you in Hotel, of course. Hotel. And, and you as, as well on Scarecrow. Yeah. Uh, and, but you don't know about next season yet, right? Not yet, but we're You're pretty oh, sure. Oh, you'll be there. Oh, you'll yeah, be there. Yeah, we'll be there. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, in the meantime, here comes Holly and Bill. Come on in, gang. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hi. Uh, Holly is our champion at the moment with $5,400, but let's talk to Bill first. Uh, once again, introduce yourself, Bill. My name is Bill Clark, and I'm a search and rescue helicopter pilot for the U.S. Coast Guard. And I'm married to a lovely wife. In fact, today's my uh, third year anniversary. And my wife and I did something different. We got married. Uh, I was stationed in Mobile, Alabama, and she was stationed out here for our first year, and so we kind of commuted. Uh, most couples live together. And, <laughs> and then get married, we yeah. got married and didn't get live together. So, <laughs> so we've been together for two years now. Two years, actually. But we've been married three. What is your rank? Uh, I'm a lieutenant commander in the Army or the Air Force to be a major. Yes, because you have the, the, it looks like the Oak Cleaver, but yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. So you're a lieutenant commander in the Coast Guard. Yes, sir. And you're busy. Where are you based out of? Of uh, L.A. International Airport. We I have uh, three helicopters out of there, and we have a 24-hour search and rescue watch at all times yeah. out there. It keeps us busy. We have some interesting cases. And, uh, I'm sure you do. Well, Don't continued uh, good luck with that. <laughs> Not uh, <laughs> okay, champ, uh, tell us about yourself once again, please. I'm Holly Setlock, and I live in Schaumburg, Illinois, when I'm not on the road with the Serendipity Singers. We tour all over the place. I love to travel, and uh, we get to go overseas sometimes, which is a lot of fun. How many singers in the group? Six. Three guys and three girls. Oh, that's not so bad. I, I pictured 26 people all yeah. over the world, you know, going, come on, here we go again. A small group. Only six. That's nice. Yeah. How long have you been with that group? Three years. 
three years singing all over the. Gosh, that's great. Good experience for you. Yeah, huh? I love what it. kind of voice? What kind of singer are you? Um, I've sung all the parts in the group. I prefer to sing alto, but I have a real wide range. I can go up to a high C. Mercy. <laughs> me I too. Right now, I'll spare you. If, if you hit me in the right place. I can. <laughs> Right up there. Okay, if you're ready to go, we are in the middle of a game. This is a $300 puzzle. Uh, Bill is leading $200 to $100 in this particular game. Our super password, the end game, is worth $25,000. So the stakes are high here, gang. If you're ready, uh, Martha and Nathan, mm -hmm. you begin with the clothes. Please do that. Take a look at your first word. Everybody at home is going to do the same thing. And Martha, lead us off today. Collision. Crash. Yes, that's it. Okay, here we go. We have Crash on the board. Holly, what in the world was that? I know what it was. Okay. Holly, what do you think? Accident. Is it an accident? No, it's not. All right, here we go. Next word, please. It's popping on your screen. Right now. Martha? Opening. Closing. Okay. Nathan? Door. Entrance. Okay. Glass. Window. Yes. Yeah. You started to say it when you weren't sure for a minute. Okay. We have crash, window, and you need this to stay in the game, Holly. Superman. Why not? Is it Superman? Now we got a rim shot into the buzzer. Okay, here we go. Next one, please. I think he's losing it over there. What do you think? There's the next word. Martha, please. <clears throat> Shake. Shimmy. <laughs> Nathan. Milk. Milkshake. Okay, Martha. Milk. Ice cream. Okay, fourth and final clue. Soda. Gee, I, I'm trying to think how else you could get there. <laughs> Chocolate. Shake. Malt. It's a malt. Malt. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's put it up there. We have crash. Nobody guesses, of course. Window and malt. Okay. Hmm. Next word, please. Any ideas, anybody? Nobody yet. All right, there's the word, and Martha, if you will continue. Alcohol. Liquor. Yes, good clue, good answer. Crash, window, and malt. You know. Oh, I know. Holly knows. What is it, Holly? Schlitz. Is it Schlitz? Well, that's interesting. Uh, no, that's obviously not it. You got liquor right, though. But we don't pay off on liquor. <laughs> okay, moving right along. What wow. are we in the twilight zone? I said, is it Walton? Another sign comes out. Here comes another word, and you have it. And Martha, please help us out here. Animal. Okay, Nathan. Reptile. Bull. I thought you were going to snap your neck. Are you all right there? No, I think I heard Okay, so here we go. Breasts. Mammal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have crash, window, malt, liquor, and mammal. I finally got it. <laughs> what do you think, Holly? It's the bull. Is it the bull? Yes, it's bull. You did. You knew it was bull. Yeah, but I didn't get mammal. I drew I, a no, blank. Yeah, I understand. I, I did too, as a matter of fact. Okay, you have it. The score is now Holly has $400. Bill has $200. We'll come back and decide the issue right after this commercial message. Don't go away. Next puzzle, uh, this puzzle is worth $400, and whoever gets it will win our game and have a chance at $25,000, so don't mean to put you under any pressure, <laughs> but uh, here we go. This is it. Uh, Bill and Holly be given the clues. Here comes your first word, and if you're ready, 
There it is. And Bill, you'll start us off this time. Large, small. That's it. Okay. It's your guess, Nathan, and this yeah. is for the game, of well, course. Well, Tiny Tim. Is it Tiny Tim? <laughs> no, it's not Tiny, tiny. Tim. <laughs> Here we go. Next word, please. Everybody at home has it, and Bill, if you will continue. Stare. Step. Yes. That's wonderful. That's really good. Stare, he said step. That's wonderful because what is a stare? It is a step. That's wonderful. Here for the game, once again, a small step. Sneak. Is it sneak? Well, I have a guess. Yes. Sort of a guess. No. Do you have an idea? Not a, I have, yeah, I know what it is. You know what it is. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to stop asking you that in one of these days. Here comes the next word, please. Everybody at home has it, and Bill, you're still up to bat. Dwarf. Giant. Yes, oh, that's great. Good clue. Small step and giant for the game, Nathan. Landing on the moon? What, how would you say that? Is it landing on the moon? Oh, grumble, grumble, grumble. No, the troops it. are getting restless. Here comes the next word, please. There it is, Bill. Jump. Leap. Oh, yes, I can't believe it. Every word, right down the line. And, and Martha, Martha is dying to get over that end seat. She hasn't been there all week. You're going to have to try and get in here. Small, step, giant, leap. Uh, Neil Armstrong? Is it Neil Armstrong? Okay. We'll come back in a moment, but first of all, goodbye, Holly. Oh, Thank you for so being much. with us. You did beautifully. You won $5,700. Congratulations to you, to you Bill. <laughs> we'll come back in just a moment with a super password for $25,000. Don't go away. Are you tired? Here we are, and we're all here. This is this is Martha's chance to stand over here. She hasn't been here all week. She just wanted to see what it felt like. Feels great. Do you like it over here? Thanks, Bert. Okay, we're gonna give you ten words, Bill. Uh, beginning with the letter B and continuing through the letter K. For every one you get right, I'll give you $100, as you know. And for all 10, I'll give you $25,000. Okay? okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have 60 seconds, as you know. And let's take a look at the first word. There it is. Okay, all set. Ready, Bill? All right, here we go. Ready and go. Oregon. Head. Base. Mind. Brain. C. Instrument. Clarinet. D. Uh, uh, morning. Dawn. E. Arm. Joint. Elbow. F. Uh, picket. Fence. G. Boots. Galoshes. H. Uh, rotary. Hub. Fly. Helicopter. Rest <laughs> I. Drunk. Intoxicated. J. Horse. Rider. Jockey. K. Canoe. Kayak. Yes! I saw kayak. Come yeah. on. I gotta tell you, I almost had a heart attack. Hey, they're standing up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, congratulations, Bill. All right. You have done it. You now have $25,600. Oh. We'll come back with some more Super Passport right after this message. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We are back. After a very exciting win, uh, Commander, you have $25,600, oh, which is not a bad way to start.
Thank you. Thank you. Well, you have a challenger, and here she comes now. Come on in, Karen Joe. I have a strange feeling we've met before, probably not though, but why don't you tell me all about yourself? My name is Karen Jo Goodwin and I'm a native Southern Californian. I teach two high school jazz choirs, I'm their conductor. And I play and love every kind of sport and my hobby is people watching. Okay, well you uh, certainly uh, can take a look at us, we're certainly, <laughs> we're certainly worth watching, maybe we're not. I hope we are. Anyway, let's go. First puzzle worth a hundred bucks, and if you're ready to go, let's put the word up for everybody at home to see. And Martha, you'll be giving the first clue to Karen Joe. Off you go. Twist. Curve. Okay. Nathan? Baton. Mm. Twirl. That's it. It's a two word yeah. Probably a two word. Let's put it on the board. We have twirl, Bill. I like baton. Is it baton? No. I like it. I like it too. <laughs> Very good idea. Like All right, here we go. Next word, please. I really like the <laughs> Everybody at home has the word. Nathan? Serling. Rod? Yes. Oh, that's great. What a great clue. All right. We have twirl and we have rod, sir. Okay. It is. Next word, please. <laughs> yes. There it is. I like it. All right, off we go. Next word, please. Show the folks at home, and they have it now. Nathan? Styrofoam. Sponge? Okay. Martha? Wrap. Cellophane. Oh. Nathan? Cellophane. Cushion? Okay, fourth and final clue. Resin. <coughs> Polyurethane. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Almost. You, you said, oh, I thought you had it. The word was plastic. Oh. We'll put it on the board. Nobody guesses. Twirl, rod, and plastic. Okay, off we go. Oh. Next word, please. <laughs> Coming your way momentarily. There it is. And Nathan, you're still up now. Drink. Okay, we'll allow that. Swallow. All right, Martha. Martini. Cocktail. Yes. Yeah. See, I got that. I think I got it. Ah. All right, we'll put. We'll put. Cocktail. Okay. What do you think, Karen? Jo? Is it a swizzle stick? Is it a swizzle stick? Yes, it is. All right. You didn't need mixer. Nice going. Okay, we'll come back in just a moment with our score, 100. We're not going anyplace, what am I saying? Switch monitors, that's what we'll do. Now, 100 to zero for Bill, but uh, this is the $200 puzzle. The cash word is now worth $2,000, and if you're ready to go, Bill and Karen Joe, you'll be giving the clues. Take a look at your first word, here it comes. Everybody at home is getting it, and they have it. Bill, start us off, please. Polite. Courteous. Okay, Karen Joe. Lovely. Kind. Okay, Bill. Lovely. <laughs> Prim. I hope nobody turns in late and sees you two guys doing that. Karen Joe. I mean, Prim. Yes, better. <laughs> Fourth and final clue. Sweet. Mannered? What happened to debonair? Oh, that's good. Oh, yes. That's good. How about. Oh, no. Oh, how about Prince? Oh, Prince. Prince. Charming. Simply Charming. Charming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it on the board. Here we go. We have Charming. Gee, I did oh, my best Prince. and he looked at me Charming. like I was nuts. <laughs> Debonair is his uh. Mac truck. Okay, here we go. Next word, please. There it is. Bill, please. Gangsta. Thug. Okay. Robin Hood. Good. Good. Oh, very nice. I love it. Charming. Charming Hood. Little Red Riding Hood? Wouldn't. No. Oh, what am I saying no? Is it, is it Little Red Riding Hood? Okay. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm losing it. There's no question about it. Is it going to be Robin Hood? No, of course not. 
Okay. Here comes the next word. Thanks, Bert. <laughs> oh, there it is, Karen Jo. Okay, Karen Jo, please. Snakes. Vipers. Okay, Bill. Liquid. Venom. Yes, yes. Okay. Charming. Hood. And Venom. Cobra. Is it a cobra? Yes, yeah. it is. Good job. Good job. Good job. He said India. <laughs> India <laughs> reptile. Okay, now, Bill has $200. Karen Jo has $100. And, oh, there's our wonderful little sound. Here it comes. It is time for the cash word, which today is worth $2,000. You know you have three chances, Nathan, to communicate that word to Bill. You've already taken a look. We'll show the audience at home what it is. It has nothing to do with the score, as you know. And if you're ready, everybody else is. Clue number one, sir. Thorax. Okay, clue number two. Body. All right, clue number three. Section. Backbone. Okay, what about upper? Middle. Or trunk. How about trunk? Hmm? Trunk. Trunk would have been good, yeah. Abdomen? No, torso. 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 torso, yeah, okay. No cigar. Next time the cash word is worth three thousand dollars, and we'll break away First right now for Christmas and come you. back with more. <laughs> I was thinking torso is here, right? Other animal, yeah. Okay. Well, here we are. We don't have a whole lot of time. Bill was just telling us about his uh, adventures uh, in, in Lower Baja, California, on, flying out from a ship on, on a helicopter, uh -huh. looking for uh, drug smugglers. Yes, contraband. Oh, yeah. my. Okay. <laughs> Sounds exciting. I've had a wonderful time with you, both of you. Thanks for being with us this week, and I hope you'll be with us next week. Goodbye, I'll everybody. Game show. Uh, yeah. I'll be game show. A member of our studio audience will receive 30-inch electric range with continuous cleaning oven, has timing center and look-in window, two 8-inch and 6-inch surface units plus lift-up cooktop, furnished by Calvinator Appliance Company. And some of our departing contestants will receive Skyway's newest luggage for easier handling on stairs, curbs, and tight places. Luggage on wheels, outdoor twist fabric and colors, including new coffee brown furnished by Skyway. A service merchandise, gift certificate, famous brand name items, select from our 500-page catalog or redeem at one of our showrooms. Furnished by service merchandise. A master mechanic, 10-gallon shop vac from Two Value Hardware Stores, who combine value and personal service in over 5,000 locations nationwide. Super Seal food containers keep food as fresh as the home party brand. Can cost less. Super Seal now with a new see-through window. Only Q-Tex remover has moisture guard to protect nails against drying and breaking. No wonder it's America's number one remover. Aziza mascara with sealer smudge proof. Lake proof mascara that won't come off until you take it off. Aziza. Because an answer was heard from the audience, the third puzzle was replaced and the program edited. This is Gene Wood speaking for Super Password. A Mark Goodson television production. Last time on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Which of the following words was repeatedly spelled backwards in the novel and movie The Shining? Uh, uh, I think I'd like to call uh, my friend Gabe. I've never read the book, Drew. Okay. <laughs> well, why don't I take the 50-50, Regis? I'm, I'm gonna go with B, murder. It was B, murder, you're right. <laughs> Steve Elson. Now, join us from New York for night 52 of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Thank you very much. Thank you, folks. Thank you.
Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Sunday Night at Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Now, you all know how much we love giving money away here. Well, we're all very excited because since we started last August, we've given away a grand total of $9,314,000, and we figure this will be the week where we hit the $10 million mark. So returning to a hot seat, hoping to help us make it to $10 million, is Steve Elson from San Francisco, California. Nice to have you back. Thank you, Regis. And your wife, and Michelle, back up in the audience, the San Ma intrepid reporter from the San <laughs> Mateo. What is it, County News? County Times. Nice to have you back. So what did you do last night? Uh, well, after we phoned everybody, it was pretty late, and we, uh, we went out uh, to get something to eat. Michelle wanted to get a New York City hot dog. They don't know how to make hot dogs in San Francisco very well. Did she enjoy it? Yeah, Or did they I keep her so. up all night? No. <laughs> You seem pretty happy with it. Good. How do you feel right now? Pretty strong? Yeah, I feel right. good. You're doing very well. You know, you've won $8,000, seven questions away from winning a million dollars. Once you reach the $32,000 level, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least $32,000. You've got two lifelines left to help Steve. 50-50, where the computer will take away two of the wrong answers, leaving the correct answer and one wrong answer. Finally, you can phone a friend anywhere in America, where our friends at AT&T will help you call somebody to see if they can help you out. So if you're ready, Steve, studio audience, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's play who wants to be a millionaire. Here we go. We're going for $16,000 here, and here's the question. Opening in June 2000, where can you find a museum inspired by Jimi Hendrix? Detroit, San Francisco, New York, Seattle. It's not San Francisco, or I would have heard that. And I know Hendrix is from Seattle. You're a big movie uh, music buff, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Follow Deep Purple? Yeah. I like Jimi Hendrix yeah. as well. Yeah, actually, in, in high school I had that opportunity, oddly enough. Uh, I think I'm going to go with uh, D, Seattle. D, Seattle. Final answer? Final answer. You just won $16,000. All right, good, Steve. Should you miss in here, you'll lose $15,000, but here it comes for $32,000. Which of the following was a former profession of Russia's acting president, Vladimir Putin? Was he the mayor of Kiev, KGB agent, minister of agriculture, doctor? He was a KGB agent. I'm not absolutely certain. Well, he wasn't a doctor or the mayor of Kiev. Uh, Regis, I'm going to use my 50 50. Oh, yes? Yeah. All right, sure. Computer, please take away two of the wrong answers for Steve, leaving one wrong answer and the correct one. KGB agent, doctor. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, B, KGB agent. Final answer? Final answer. He says he was a KGB agent. He's right for 32. <laughs> All right, so there you go. He's going for 64,000. He's five away from one million. One lifeline left. Come on back. Hello there. On our show, Hey Yahoo, players complete a search to find the answer. Like this. Hey Yahoo, where is the best place to see blank? I'm going to guess Northern Lights because stunning. FF, uh, fresh fruit, uh, furry f ferrets, off foliage, of course, not furry ferrets. Hey Yahoo, weeknights at 8 starting Monday, June 12th on Game Show Network. Why burn a candle when you can switch to Airwick Essential Mist? It's the portable and modern way to transform fragrance infused with natural essential oils into a mist. Upgrade to Airwick Essential Mist. Wayfair has nice prices so you can have nice things. Ha! Kelly Clarkson, we have a kid. And Harold. <laughs> Wayfair's got just what you need. Performance fabric, stains don't stand a chance. No chance! Woo! Dog friendly and wallet friendly. Pug proof. Get nice things with nice prices at Wayfair. <laughs> Wayfair, you've got just what I need. 
Choosing national debt relief was the best decision I've made. I was in debt, didn't know where to go, struggling, and national debt relief kind of dug me out of that hole. Whether it's credit card, medical, or personal loan debt, with national debt relief, you could be debt-free in as little as 24 to 48 months. Working with national debt relief, we were able to reduce my debt by about half. The sooner you start with national debt relief, the sooner you'll be debt-free. Call or visit nationaldebtrelief.com to get started. Hold on, I told your mom we'd give her a call. Okay, hon. Mom loves her Jitterbug Smart 3. It has all the features she uses most often. How's it going? Everything's great. Don't forget when something urgent comes up. I just press the button to get help. You'll get an alert on your app. If you have an emergency, need a ride, or tech support, certified lively agents are here for you day or night. Now get 50% off the Jitterbug Smart at Best Buy, Rite Aid, Amazon, and Walgreens. My most important kitchen tool, my brain. So I choose Nareva Plus. Unlike some others, Nareva Plus is a multitasker supporting six key indicators of brain health to help keep me sharp. Nareva, think bigger. This is Eargo with great sound, lifetime support, and available at retail. And this is our latest hearing aid, also available at retail. And support? Uh. Treat your ears to $260 off Eargo 7. Shutterfly gets your photos off your phone and into one-of-a-kind wall art, gifts, photo books, and more. All covered by our 100% happiness guarantee. Get your photos off your phone and get 40% off everything with code TV40. So who climbs ladders to clean their gutters? Dad, I keep telling you it's dangerous. Climbing ladders is too dangerous. Leaf Filter puts an end to that. So how does it work? Leaf Filter's three-piece system filters out leaves and debris, letting water flow through freely. Do we need to replace our gutters? Great question. Leaf Filter could be installed right on top of your existing gutters. We're sold. Call 833-LEAF-FILTER or go to leaffilter.com for your free gutter inspection and estimate. When you sleep more deeply, you wake up more energized. Introducing Purple's new mattresses. Our unique gel flex grid draws away heat helping you fall asleep faster. It relieves pressure for less ow and more ah and instantly adapts as you move without ever disturbing your partner. Amazing. Sleep better. Live purple. Save $800 off mattress sets at our Memorial Day event. Visit purple.com or a store near you. There it is. Steve Elson, $32,000. Now, whatever happens... You can't go home with less than that. And you've got one lifeline left. You can still make that phone call. We're going for 64000 here. He's five questions away from $1 million. What would you do, Steve, if you won the million? Uh, well, I know we definitely want to buy a house. And in the Bay Area, if we do that, we might have a dollar left of that million. It's, it's expensive there. Uh, it really is. Yeah. It's right up there with New York. Yeah, sure. We'll Absolutely. probably be living in a small shack for that million dollars, too. <laughs> Well, let's hope you uh, get it and get in that new house. That'd be great. All right, so let's take a look at it now for 64000 Let's play. <laughs> Which of the following celebrities did not appear in the film The Rocky Horror Picture Show? Susan Sarandon, Tim Curry, Dennis Hopper, Meatloaf. Seen the movie many times when I was in high school. I know that it's definitely C. Dennis Hopper. Dennis Hopper, final answer? Final answer. Dennis Hopper, Dennis Hopper, did not appear in the Rocky Horror Picture Show. You won it. <laughs> All right, Steve. Edging ever closer and yeah. closer. Up to 125,000 right now, and just four questions away from one million. Should you miss in here, you'll go back down to 32000 But here it is for $125,000. Which of these baseball players was not a New York Yankee for his entire Major League career? Lou Gehrig, Joe DiMaggio, Babe Ruth, Mickey Mantle. Oh, I got lucky. I'm a big baseball fan. I collect a lot of baseball cards, and I know that uh, Babe Ruth was traded from the Red Sox. And I know they call it the... The curse of the Bambino, why the Red Sox haven't made it to the World Series since. So, answer is uh, C. Babe Ruth. C. Babe Ruth, final answer? Final answer. Sure, it was Babe Ruth. You won $125,000. 
There it is for 125,000. Well, now we're going for <laughs> for a quarter million here. Oh my God. You're in pretty good shape. You got that one lifeline, uh, which is make a phone call. Mm -hmm. I assume your phone of friends are all poised and ready to go, ready to help. Oh yeah. Quarter million dollars, Steve Areen. Here it comes. You ready? Yeah, let's this do it. This is it. The Tigris River flows through which of the following cities? Tehran, Iran. Damascus, Syria. Jerusalem, Israel. Baghdad, Iraq. You know, you learn about the Tigris and the Euphrates. When you, when and they just think, where were they from again? Yeah. Well, I, I know it's the Middle East. I know it's... Iran or Iraq area. I'm just not sure which. I know it's not Jerusalem. I'm pretty sure it's not Damascus. I think I'm going to use my phone a friend and call my brother Richard. Is he a big geography buff? Uh, well, no, but of all my friends, he's the one I think will know All right, let's best. see if we can get Brother Richard on the line. AT&T will help us, and he'll be there. Hello? Hello, Richard. Yeah. Hi, Regis Philbin here from ABC's and wants to be a millionaire. Hello, Regis. How you doing? Good. I'm here with your brother Steve, and he needs a little help. But listen to this, he's won $125,000. $125,000? Yeah. And he's going for $250,000. And you're the only one who can help him. Okay. Did you hear me, Richard? I did. Okay. <laughs> so when he comes on the line, he'll read you the question of the four possible answers. One of them is the right answer. Next voice you hear will be Steve. Steve, you've got 30 seconds, and they start right now. The Tigris River runs through which of the following cities? Tehran, Iran, Damascus, Syria, Jerusalem, Israel, or Baghdad, Iraq? Can you repeat it? Uh, Tigris River runs through which city? Tehran, Iran, Damascus, Syria, Jerusalem, Israel, or Baghdad, Iraq? I got 10 seconds. Five seconds. Uh, I think the answer is D. How sure? Uh, pretty. I thought he said pretty there. Yeah, pretty I sure, know. Maybe. Pretty sure. He thinks it's Baghdad. If you're wrong in here, you know, you'll lose 93,000. It's a big gamble. I know it's either Tehran or Baghdad, but I'm just not sure which, which river runs through which. I trust my brother a lot. I don't know if I trust him. I... He's your brother. $125,000. But he's your or... brother, Steve. That's true. He's good. And he loves you. He's pretty good at these things. And you love him. <laughs> That's true. I'll, lo I'll love him more if he's right. <laughs> you should. I won't love him less if he's wrong. Well. Well, I think I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to say Baghdad. Want to make it your final? I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> Just thought I'd ask. That's why I didn't say it yet. <laughs> well, I think I'm too uncertain of my brother's answer. I think, I think I'm gonna want to risk that much money you don't trust your brother i do but he didn't sound that certain <laughs> it took him a long time to get to pretty sure um so i i think i'm gonna stop and take the hundred twenty five thousand. i understand that's true sure. we all understand that hundred twenty five thousand is a lot of money and 93 it's... if you were to lose so that's going to be your final decision yeah Michael had a good idea, you know, it's it's like Vegas, you didn't, you know, walking away with 125,000 or putting it down on red. Mm -hmm. It's a big gamble. I think I, I think I'm going to walk away with 125. Final decision? Final decision. Yeah. All right. Well, now now wait a minute before you leave. Shall we see uh, how your brother Richard uh, would have fared? Sure. And you would have fared and if I you probably, took his advice. Yeah. 
I probably would have gone. And you would have owned $250,000 right now. Isn't that a heartbreak? But yeah. still, hey, $125,000 now, man. Okay, you did the right thing. Here you go. Oh, boy, that was a tough one to watch, wasn't it? But thank God $125,000 is still a down payment on a house, even in San Francisco. But right now, we've got a new group of contestants ready to go. Who are they tonight? Let's find out. And they are... Perky Michaels, Pacific Palisades, California. Jerry Halpin, Cypress, California. Kim DeGarty, St. Helena, California. Marcia Molina, Cincinnati, Ohio. Ryan Reed, Nina, Wisconsin. Steve Giblin, Lakewood, Ohio. Jim Larson, Seattle, Washington. Tom Barkley, Rome, Georgia. And Terrence Roscoe, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. All right, contestants, congratulations on getting this far. Now, here's how it works. In a moment, a question and four answers will appear on your screens. The one who puts these answers in the correct order in the fastest time will be our next player. Audience, we need complete silence here. Thanks very much. Here comes the question. Put these men in order by the country they led, starting at the Atlantic Ocean and going east. Adolf Hitler, Emperor Hirohito, Winston Churchill, Joseph Stalin. All right, everybody, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting in the East. Winston Churchill, Adolf Hitler, Joseph Stalin, Emperor Hirohito. That's the right order. Let's see who got it right. And in the fastest time, and the winner is Ryan Reed. Okay, so we have Ryan Reed with us from Nina, Wisconsin, which is near where? Near Green Bay. Near Green Bay? Yeah. Oh, you must be a Packer fan. Huge, huh? huge. 26 years old. As a matter of fact, uh, just got married eight months ago. Wife sitting up there. Her name is uh, Lori, kindergarten teacher. Yep. And I understand, you know, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and I, underst I just heard an incredible story of how you proposed to Lori. Yeah, um, she was student teaching in uh, Madison. We'd both gone to school at University of Wisconsin, and I'd set up with her teacher to sneak into her classroom and uh, surprise her. And we did, I'd come in with a dozen red roses, and we'd given them to the kids, and I hid somewhere where I could see and hear her, but she couldn't see me. When she came into the classroom, the kids walked up to her, and each one of them gave her a rose, and they started counting it. And... Uh, when they got up to 12, I knew that was my cue, and I came in with one yellow rose, got down in front of the classroom, and by that time, all the teachers had come in, and there was a big, big crowd there, got down on my knee, and I asked her to marry me. And I know it was a big surprise, because when they got up to three or four, when they were doing their counting game, uh, she made the comment, wow, this is more flowers than my boyfriend's ever given me. <laughs> so I knew I surprised her. Uh, was, well, did she say yes or not? Uh, yes, she <laughs> of did. Of course she did. But I never heard it. I never heard it. And I don't know if she claimed she said it, but no one else claimed We did, You know, it's just one of those uh, nervous things. What a show um, for those kids, huh? Yeah, I don't know if they'll remember it being five years old, but I'll never forget it. Yeah. Well, that's a terrific story, Ryan. <laughs> Excuse me, just a minute. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, listen, big boy, we're going to win some money here tonight, right? Let's hope so. All right, good enough. Now, you know the rules, you know about the lifelines, 50-50, ask the audience and phone a friend. it's all here for you. So if you read, let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Here we go. $100, and here it comes. According to the old cliche, a picture is worth how many words? 50, 100, 1,000, million. A picture is worth a 1,000 words. Yes, Ryan, it's worth a thousand words. You won the hundred dollars. Let's take a look at this one now for two hundred dollars. When a seed begins to grow, it is said to what? Pop, sprout, rip, pout. I believe the answer is B, sprout. It sprouts. You're right for two hundred. Three hundred dollars. Here it comes. What game featured a beverage company's beer bottles playing each other in football? The old Milwaukee Cup, the Miller Championship, the 
shape for a slam, the Bud Bowl. Wisconsin is the beer state. Uh, we don't make this one, but I believe the answer is D, the Bud Bowl. You bet it was the Bud Bowl. You're right for 300. Okay, we go now for $500, and here it comes. An ornithologist is mainly concerned with the study of what kind of creatures? Birds? Bears? Reptiles? Crustaceans? Um, my wife's deadly afraid of birds, and I believe it's a bird. Yeah, you're right, it's birds. You won $500. For $1,000, Ryan. The children's tune, Row, Row, Row Your Boat, is often sung as a what? A chant? Hymn? Round? Rap? I'm sure it's C, round. You're right for $1,000. Can't leave here with less than that, Ryan, so we got to $1,000. Here it is for $2,000. In which of the following countries does the law require that people drive on the right-hand side of the road? Japan, New Zealand, Australia, Canada. From a former employer, I had a friend who used to have to work in the different spots in the world, and she never drove in Australia because they were on the wrong side of the road to her. See Australia. Make it your final? Final answer. Oh my gosh, uh, the answer is Canada. Oh, the right hand. Oh, I do. Canada. Why? What? what uh, just I was something. thinking left hand side of the road. Yeah. Yeah, all right. So you won $1,000 and you're a great guy and you've been a nice proposal. Oh, okay. Thanks, Ryan. I was thinking that. No. I feel it was in my head. All right. Good luck to you. Ah, boy. You know, it's not easy in that hot seat, and as many times as we brief our contestants to read that question carefully, extremely carefully, it's very tough to think when you're under that much pressure. Anyway, we wish Ryan and Laurie the best of luck. We still have eight more contestants itching to get into that hot seat, so here's the next fastest finger question. Here it comes. Put the following Jodie Foster films in order of their first theatrical release, starting with the earliest. Silence of the Lambs, Taxi Driver, Contact, Nell. All right, everybody, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest, and it was Taxi Driver, and then Silence of the Lambs, followed by Nell, and then Contact. That's the right order. Let's see who got it right, and in the fastest time, Jerry. Cypress, tell us what you We're going to come back. Jerry's going to play in a minute. Don't go away. Oh. We're joined now by uh, a uh, the assistant principal of Los Alamitos High School. Jerry Halpin, nice to have you here on the show. Thanks, Rich. Assistant principal. What are your duties? My main duty is I can supervise all the activities programs and athletic programs on campus. Uh -huh. And it's an exciting and very fulfilling job. I'll bet. Yes. And your nickname is Jer Bear. Yeah, to some people, not, not everybody. Uh, and a few girls in the past have called me that, so. Few girls yeah. in the past? <laughs> That's where it came from. What do they say? Hey, big uh, boy, hey, Jer Bear. Jer Bear, it's, you know, Jerry Bear, you know, yeah. <laughs> And your pal up there is uh, David Duff. Great, uh, great to have the two of you here. Thank you. Okay, Jerry, you know the rules. You know about the lifelines. 50-50, ask the audience, phone a friend. So if you're ready, Jerry Bear, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Here we go. We begin with the $100 question, as always, and here it is. According to a popular expression, what does the squeaking wheel get? Grease? Gasoline? Muffler? Chef? I believe the answer is A, Greece. You got past the $100 question, you got it right. $200. Which of the following is not considered part of the three R's of basic primary education? You better get this right, Bear. A, reading. B, writing. C, rhyming. D, arithmetic. The answer is C, rhyming. Yeah, you got it, it's rhyming. $300, coming up right now. 
In 1990, what extravagant casino did Donald Trump open in Atlantic City, New Jersey? Was it Trump Taj Mahal, Trump White House, Trump Kremlin, Trump Eiffel Tower? A Trump Taj Mahal. Yeah, you're right, it was Trump Taj Mahal, 10 years ago. For $500, what is the literal translation of the German word kindergarten? House of Books, Children's Garden, Sunny Garden, Small Relatives. B, Children's Garden. It's the right one, Children's Garden, for $500. We go now for $1,000. Take a look. What is the scientific classification for the human species? Anthro Humanus, Equus Zebra, Homo sapiens, Canis Lupus. Uh, Regis, I'm pretty sure uh, that the answer is C, Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens, the right answer for $1,000. All right, Jerry, you can't leave here with less than $1,000. We're going for $2,000. We're 10 away from a million. Here it is. Which U.S. department is housed primarily in the Pentagon? State, transportation, education, defense? Uh, Regis, it's the uh, answer is D, the defense department. Final answer. Final answer. Defense, defense department located in the Pentagon. You're right. 2000. And you still have all your lifelines ready for your, uh, for your help here. We're going for 4,000, here it is. Which of the following is the name of a traditional pastry? Lenin, Napoleon, Mussolini, Franco. I'm not a big pastry fan, so this is uh, it's something I'm sure I should know, but uh, I'm pretty confident the audience knows, so I'm going to ask the audience. Okay. All right, fine, we can ask the audience. Jerry needs your help. On your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, please vote now. Ninety-eight percent. And I want to know the one who voted for Mussolini. What do you think now? Well, that's what I was thinking. You think uh, it was a Mussolini? Yeah. No, 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 I was thinking it was Napoleon. Uh, I'm going to go with the audience. Going with the audience. Yeah. Final answer. Yes. Absolutely right, it's a Napoleon. Your pal, David Duff, was really sweating through yeah, that I one. Yeah, I bet he was, too. Yeah. All right, so you still have two lifelines. You're going for $8,000, and this is it. Which Little Rascals character did Eddie Murphy often spoof on Saturday Night Live? Spanky. Alfalfa. Buckwheat. Froggy. Uh, Love the show. Uh, saw it many times. Um, the answer is C, Buckwheat. That's your final answer? Final answer. That's the one Eddie did. You got it right for $8,000. He's seven questions away from one million, going for 16000 and two lifelines left. Let's come back and see what he does. To order it, it's good for you. So we have the... Uh, Los Alamitos High School assistant principal with us, uh, Jerry Halpin. Won $8,000, going for $16,000. You play the game much at home? Uh, I play it all the time. Never yeah. miss the show. Now, you're seven away from $1 million. You've got two lifelines left. We're going for $16,000. let us do it. Let's play. <laughs> Which of these bands is allegedly named after a dish made by the lead singer's great-grandmother? Pearl Jam? Nirvana? Meatloaf, Sugar Ray. Well, uh, I read something about this on, on Pearl Jam. Um, um, and it's not Nirvana. And Meatloaf is, is an individual guy. Um, I'm going to go with the 50-50. Uh, with Oh, you want to narrow it down by two? Sure. Yeah. Computer, please take away two of the wrong answers for Jerry, leaving one wrong answer and the correct one. Pearl Jam, Sugar Ray. You know, since I don't know anything about Sugar Ray, um, and I thought I heard something about Pearl Jam, I feel pretty confident it's A, Pearl Jam. 
Final answer. Final answer. It's Pearl Jam. All right, if we make it to 32,000, can't leave with less than that, okay? Got one lifeline left. You've won 16. You could lose 15 here if you miss it. But here it is for $32,000. Because of a divorce from Prince Charles, what title was taken from Britain's Diana? Lady, Princess of Wales, Her Royal Highness, Duchess of York. I think in uh, everybody's heart, she's always going to be all those things. And I don't know enough about my British uh, literature, but I think there's somebody who might know everything there is to know about uh, Diana. It's one of my lifelines. Um, unfortunately, I won't use it this early, but I'm going to call Rosie. Rosie, and what does she do? She's a talk show host in New York. You don't know how many times Rosie has told me personally and her audience all over the country she wants to be a phone a friend. But now, Jer Bear, if she doesn't know the answer, very embarrassing for you and Rosie. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's call Rosie. Our friends at AT&T will get her on the line. Hello? Rosie. Yes? You are my posy. Oh, no, Regis. <laughs> yes, it's me. I'm sweating. Rosie, it's finally happened. I'm sweating, Regis. You don't know. <laughs> so many times you said, I know all the answers. How I want to be money? a photo friend. How much money? How much money? <laughs> well, so we have an assistant principal here, Jerry, who has called your name. This is his last lifeline. He's going for $32,000. And we're all holding our breath, Rosie, okay? Okay. He's going to come on the line. You know what's going to happen. He's going to read you the question, the four possible answers. One of them, Rosie O'Donnell, the correct answer. Okay. All right, so here comes Jerry Barry. You've got 30 seconds, and they start right now, Jerry. Hi, Rosie. Because Hi. of her divorce from Prince Charles, what title was taken from Britain's Diana? Lady, Princess of Wales, Her Royal Highness, Duchess of York. I'm going to say Her Royal Highness. How, how, how sure are you about that? I would that? say I'm 67%. 67% sure. And if you lose it, the guilt, I'm going to give you the money anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much. Tell me about it. Tell me if you got it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, guess Whoa. I, I guess I can't lose. Uh, you and Rosie teaming up on yeah. this one. Uh, I'll go with uh, her answer, C, Royal Highness. She said Royal Highness. She didn't pick Lady, Princess of Wales, Duchess of York, or Royal Highness. Okay. Everybody in the country is pulling for you, right. and her. So, final answer? Final answer. She's right! She did it! Thank you, Rosie! There you go, Rosie did it! He's 132. He's going for 64. No lifelines left. Come on back. There it is, Jerry. $32,000 for you right there. <clears throat> you know, we still have Rosie on the line. Rosie. Regis. You got it right. I'm so happy. <laughs> Yeah, Jerry was thrilled. We're oh, all thrilled. Thank you very much, Rosie. You know, it's been worth staying in every night since the show went on the air, Regis. <laughs> I, I know. It. You've been very, very patient, and finally one of our uh, uh, contestants took you up on it. Way to go, Jerry. I love you. I love your whole family. Thank you very much. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Jerry is coming over to see you later tonight. Excellent. I'm home. Come on over. <laughs> and you know what he's going to bring with him? Uh oh He's going to bring a Napoleon right there. <laughs> That's a Napoleon, that Jerry. I don't know what that means, but I will on Sunday. Listen, Rosie, you're a doll, and thanks for talking about us every day on your show. We appreciate it. My pleasure. I'll keep watching. Good, All right, congratulations, Jill. Jerry. Good luck. Thank thanks, you, Rosie. Bye -bye. Thanks, Rosie. All right. Hey, big boy, we're going for $64,000. You ready? Yes, Let's I am. Let's get back into it. Let's play. Here we go. <laughs> you're five questions away from a million. The ancient city of Babylon lies in what modern country? Iran. Egypt. Turkey. Iraq. There's a whole audience full of people right now who know this answer. And 
drawn a blank. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not Egypt, uh, because Egypt was Egypt. And I don't think it's Turkey, so I think it's between Iran and Iraq. You know what, Regis, it's a guess, and it's a complete guess. I'm gonna go with A, Iran. All right, Iran is your guess, and it's also your final answer? Yeah, yeah. Well, it was either Iran or Iraq, uh, and it was Iraq, but you wound up with $32,000, Jerry. Good enough. Great. That was a tough one. Good luck. A lot of fun Thank having you. Been. Oh, what a great contestant. I got to tell you, I was surprised as anybody when he told me his phone friend was Rosie O'Donnell. That was a lot of fun. They don't tell me much around here. But she was terrific, and we thank you again, Rosie. Anyway, we've still got seven contestants ready to go. So here is the next fastest finger question. Here it comes. Put these bands in the order of when their first album was released, beginning with the earliest. U2, Hootie and the Blowfish, the Bee Gees, Spice Girls. All right, everybody, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest, as it was the Bee Gees. Then came U2, Hootie and the Blowfish, and finally Spice Girls. Let's see who got it right the fastest time. And the winner is Marcia Molina. How are you, Marcia? Nice to have you here. Congratulations. Ready to play? Let's do it. All right, Marsha Molina has joined us right now from Cincinnati, Ohio. Actually grew up in uh, South Jersey. Right. Married a husband, David Yang. David, nice to have you uh, with us tonight. Nice to be here, Regis. And you've got uh, two uh, little girls, Carolyn and Julia, probably home watching you right now. They're successful. All right, let's try to do it for them, okay? okay. You know about the rules, Marsha. You know about the lifelines, 50-50. Ask the audience for a friend. So if you're ready, Marsha Molina, let's do it. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Here we go. As always, the $100 question. According to a common expression, if the shoe fits, what should you do with it? Throw it, eat it, wear it, smell it. The answer is C, wear it. Yes, you wear it, you're right, you won 100. $200. The theory that the universe was created from one giant explosion of matter is often called what? The huge boom, the big bang, the humongous blam, the tiny clang. The answer is B, the Big Bang. Big answer and a good one, $200. We go for $300, here it is. Which of these countries does not border Belgium? The Netherlands, France, India, Germany. The answer is C, India. Of course it's India, you're right, Marcel. $500. Which of the following meat brands has a promotional vehicle called the Wienermobile? Oscar Mayer, Hormel, Ballpark, Hillshire Farm. The answer is A, Oscar Mayer. Right for $500. Here it comes now for $1,000. How many bands of visible color make up a rainbow? Five, seven, nine, ten. The answer is B, seven. You're right, it's seven. Oh. Hey, you got to that thousand dollars. Can't leave here with less than that. For two thousand dollars, take a look. According to its definition, what does a person with insomnia have difficulty doing? Walking, breathing, Speaking, sleeping. The answer is D, sleeping. Final answer? Final answer. Sure, it's sleeping. You won two grand. <laughs> Nine away from a million. All your lifelines intact. We're going for $4,000. Here it is. Amateurs cannot participate in which of the following men's golf tournaments? U.S. Open. PGA Championship, Masters Tournament, British Open. You 
the golf, Marsha? Just started taking it up. Um, but I don't watch it. I'm going to say C, the Masters Tournament. Okay, want to make that your final answer? The US Open is an open tournament, British Open, professional golf. Yes, C, final answer. Marsha, it's the PGA Championship. That's too bad, Marsha. But you won a thousand dollars and we enjoyed having you here and thank you very much for being with us. No lifelines, huh? <laughs> no lifeline, huh? Take care, thank you. Oh, come on, three lifelines laying there. That's too bad, Marsha. But well, we still have six contestants, only six, and we're almost out of time. So here's the next fastest finger question. Put these characters from Gilligan's Island in the order they're mentioned in the show's theme song from first to last. The movie star, the millionaire's wife, Skipper, the millionaire. Okay, time's up, everybody. Let's see the answer in the correct order. Starting with the first, Skipper, then the millionaire, then the millionaire's wife, finally the movie star. That's the right order. Let's see who got it at the fastest time. Steve Giblin. Hey, Steve Marie, ready to go? Yes. Come on, let's go. All right, Steve, congratulations. Where are you from? Cleveland, Ohio. What do you do? I'm an attorney. Oh, of course. All right, fine. You're in the running uh, for uh, the next uh, hot seat here. You got in there. Let's get started. You know about the rules, the lifelines, 50-50. Ask the audience, vote a friend. If you're ready, Steve, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Here we go. We're pressed for time, but let's see, see how many we can get in here. For $100, what is the name for a beard grown exclusively around the mouth and chin? Would it be bangs, goatee, button chop? Awesome. Regis, the answer is B, goatee. Right, it's a goatee for $100. $200, here it comes. What is the physical condition a traveler might have when adjusting to new time zones? Is it cabin fever, motion sickness, jet lag, diaper rash? Regis, the answer is C, jet lag. Right on top of it for jet lag. You've got it. Hey, there you go. Well, we got a couple in anyway. That sound means we're out of time for tonight. But Steve will be back here Tuesday night. And joining him will be 10 new contestants from all over the country. And they are Carol Gerber, Dave Gillespie, Matt Skelmore, Steve Wynn, Linda Wilson, Jeremy Evans, Bob Daly, Michael Avatar, Sean Divitt, and Stephanie Girardi. We'll see you back here Tuesday night at what time, Steve? It's 7 Central. There you go. Stay tuned now for a brand new episode of The Practice here on ABC. From New York, everybody. Good night. Searching for a fun new game show? On Hey Yahoo, guess America's most popular searches. Why do baseball managers blank? Wear underwear. Tom Cavanaugh hosts. How do you put a saddle on a wagon? Very carefully. <laughs> hey Yahoo, weeknights at 8, starting Monday, June 12, on Game Show Network. My name is Lucille Ball, and I've got a secret. <laughs> I've got a secret brought to you tonight by Bristol Myers, makers of Lufrin, the modern drug that brings relief from headache pain, protects against stomach discomfort. Bristol Myers brings you America's number one panel show, I've Got a Secret, starring Gary Moore. Thank you, good evening. Welcome to another edition of I've Got a Secret. Before we get officially underway, I would like you to meet the members of our panel. Bill Cullen is on vacation this week, the lucky stiff. 
But we're lucky, too, because in his place we have good friend Johnny Carson. Hiya, Johnny. Yeah, Next to Johnny is Betsy Palmer. <laughs> and here comes Henry Morgan. <laughs> and Bess Meyerson. And that's our group. <laughs> so, with little further ado, I would like to ask our first contestant to come in, please. The little one doesn't want to be in show business at all, I can tell you that. Now, these are the Smith children who live in Kenmore, New York, and they are all brothers and sisters. And let's find out their first names. Herman Smith. Herman Smith and... Teresa Smith. Teresa Smith. Me, Margaret Smith. What? Me, Margaret Smith. That's Mary Margaret Smith. Mary Margaret. And his name is, um... What's your name? His name is... <laughs> <laughs> His name is Ralph, and Ralph is a very cute young man, but very kind of nervous about this whole project. All right, now, youngsters, if you all whisper your secret to me, we'll show up with the audience at home. Here we go. Well, now, how about that? <laughs> now, panel, to help classify the Smith children's secret, the clue concerns something they have, and we'll start the game with, uh, let's start with Betsy tonight, please. Children, do you have this with you tonight? Yes. It couldn't be Ralph on your lap, could it? That he has something special? Mm. Do you? Ralph's Ralph got something, got something special, special, yes. All four of them have something special. Ah. Uh, it is with you right now on this bench with Gary, is that it? Is what you have right here on the bench? No. No. No? She sees herself on television. <laughs> she sees herself on television and she likes what she yeah. sees. Is there any possibility, Frank, I don't like to louse you up, but oh, there you go. See if you can get a nice close-up. Look at yourself now. Hey, Margaret, look. Take a look. Look, Margaret. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how she feels. Is it backstage? Is this thing backstage that you have? Hi. This thing that you have, is it backstage? Is it back there? Is it sure it is, behind it? the curtain? Sure it is, yes. Has it got... Yes. All right, $20 down, $60 to go. we we'll go, please, to Henry Morgan. Uh, does it concern other Smiths? Does it concern other Smiths, Armin? Yes. Oh, brothers and sisters, too? Are these brothers and sisters? Yes. Yes. Uh, is it how many? Are we supposed to guess how many more are backstage? Or... No, we're not going for, for a quantity here. Uh, <laughs> oh, you mean that's already been done, and uh, we don't have to... Are they twins, or something like that, or triplets? No, 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 spell that out for me, Henry, exactly what you mean. Well... <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't do it. That's not $40 down. What, what, what exactly did you mean, Henry? They have a twin. Well, either I thought maybe that there are four more who match this four. Well, now, you can't, can't doubt yeah. that. That's exactly yeah. what it is. Yeah. You're only looking at half of their secret. Now, in case you didn't think, by the way, that four sets of twins in one family is unusual, statistics say that the odds against this happening in one family are over 40 million to one. So don't get nervous. <laughs> now, let's meet the other half of each of these sets of twins. And we'll start with uh, Harmon. Harmon, you want to put uh, Ralph down, and you come out here and take your place over here. Here's Harmon's twin brother, Joseph. Hi, Joe. How are you? Good to see you. And next we have Teresa's twin, Virginia. Virginia, will you come up here? Stand next to Teresa. <laughs> now, let's close ranks in here. Move in. That's right. Now, Mary Margaret has a twin brother, and his name is Gerard. Gerard, there you go, buddy. Mary Margaret, you want to come stand up here? <laughs> and now here is the mother of all these delightful young people, and in her arms is Ralph's twin, Gregory. Mrs. Mrs. Smith, first of all, congratulations. It's a marvelous, marvelous bunch of kids. We've gotten to know them rather well here in the last hour or so. Thank you. And uh, must be great having eight children, huh? It is great having eight children, but it's even greater having five more. A total of 13. 
And the other five are not twins. They are not twins. I see. I, I, uh, I hope they're home watching tonight. Oh, definitely. I know that Daddy Smith is home watching. He's home babysitting with the other five Smiths. It's kind of a night off for him. He's only got five kids <laughs> around the house. <laughs> Mrs. Smith, how do you possibly discipline or run a sane house with 13 kids around? Well, I figure if I practice self-discipline and act sane, that it'll rub off on the children. Well, as in many large families that I have seen, is it the case where of the, the older will take care of the one just under him and so yes, on so all, do. all the way well. down? Mm -hmm. Well, what I don't understand is, I have never have understood this, how can you possibly tell which one is Ralph and which one is, is Gregory? There must be a, must be a difference, but I don't know what it is. Gregory has two front teeth missing. <laughs> oh, now what happens when he's... When he's That's his secret. Uh, oh, I see. Uh, just a minute, Frank. I, I think in a half a second there's going to be a little conversation going on down below me here. I'm not sure whether there is or not. And if there is, I'll just casually drop this hand microphone down there. Uh, there was a great deal of instruction going on from one to the other just a moment ago. And, uh, oh, no, she decided to go. Oh, she's going back to look at herself in the monitor again. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is the imp of the family? That's Mary Margaret. That's Mary Margaret. That's, that's what I thought. All right, many happy times to all of you, Smiths. Thanks so much for coming to see us and come back to see us again. Mary Margaret has not stopped looking into things, under things, and over things since she got here. That's two hours ago. She comes over the desk and she... <laughs> In, under, and around. Oh, dear. And now, I would like to ask our next contestant to come out, please, if you will, sir. Will you tell our panel, sir, what your name is and where you're from? Pat Patterson, Washington, D.C. Mr. Pat Patterson from Washington. Now, Mr. Patterson, if you will whisper your secret to me, we'll reveal it at the same time to our audience at home. It's a kind of a long one, so let's get started. Yeah, I follow <laughs> you so far. Holy moly. All right, panel, a clue concerning Mr. Patterson's secret concerns something that he did. We left off, I believe, with Betsy, so we'll go, please, to Henry. Now, Henry just guessed it. Oh, Henry just guessed it. I beg your pardon, Henry. You're good, though. You should really start with him again. No. We'll start with you, Baz. All right. <laughs> uh, Pat, I'm, I'm sorry. It's something that you did? Yeah. Something that he did. I see. Uh, are there any other people involved in your secret? No. No. Uh, would it be important for us to know when you did this? No. No. Well, would it be uh, recently? Yes. Yes. Um, how about where you did it? Did you do it indoors? No. No. Uh, was it out of doors? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty. <laughs> well, he could have done it with one foot in and one foot out. On the ground or up in the air. Was it up in the air? No. No. Was there anything involved like an airplane or a ship or... A there was a form of transportation involved, yes. so we say that's Was true. it an, an animal, perhaps? No. No. What? All right, there's $20 gone, $60 to go. Here's Johnny Carson. Uh, could I do what you did? Yes. Could anyone do what you did? I think so. If they wanted to, yeah. Is this pleasurable? The thing yes. that you did? Did you enjoy yes. doing it? Yes. It, it is a form of transportation. Would it be something like a balloon? No. Uh, would it be something lighter than air? No. That makes it heavier, Bess. I'm going right, to... Right, thank you. <laughs> Indoors, outdoors, right. heavier, lighter, you see. Uh, was this off the ground? Uh, no. No. Did you ride something... When in... you say it was off, off the ground, sir, we cannot say it was on the ground. You're right there. <laughs> you can't say it was on when the he ground? When uh, he said it was not off the ground, he meant it was not in the air. Ah, did you wear any special clothing uh, when this took place? Yes. Uh, special clothing... Well, well now, didn't... Johnny, I would say that perhaps, uh, he, I'm sure he did, he says he did, but you could, uh, you could do it in just what you're wearing or what you're wearing right now, couldn't you? Oh, yeah. In other was... words, you don't have to have a diving suit for ah, it. Or... Was this dangerous? Yes and no. Were you paid for this? Was there any monetary reward at all in what you did? Did you do this for profit? No. All right, we've lost $40. We go please to Betsy. Mr. Patterson, this... Excuse me, I kind of sprayed here a little Just bit. Just a little bit, yeah. Unless that's close to the theater with Patterson. Mm -hmm. 
Um, <laughs> it could be worse. His first name could be Peter, too. Yeah. <laughs> Or Pat Patterson. Yes. Uh, did this have to do with water, Mr. Patterson? Yes, it did. And did this have to do uh, not in Washington, D.C., or in... Ah! Are you teaching those crazy dolphins how to talk or whatever? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. They are doing that, you know. Is I that a friend who talks with dolphins? There's a doctor who talks to dolphins or is teaching them not how to speak. Friend. No. <laughs> terribly nice for him. No. I wonder what they talk uh, about. This was in Washington, D.C. Partially. Yeah. Partially in Washington, D.C. That's another one. Pat Patterson, partially. partially. <laughs> uh, did this have something to do with bodies of water around Washington, D.C.? Yes. Well, then Washington, D.C. is surrounded by... Um, the Kennedy. Again. <laughs> <laughs> In case you folks at home didn't hear that, Betsy said Washington, D.C. is surrounded by uh, and Johnny Carson said Kennedy's, yes. which is a very accurate. Aren't I the best straight woman ever? Sixty dollars down, twenty dollars to go. And let me further clarify this: that when we say it involved waters around Washington, the answer is yes, but partially. Well, most of the water around Washington is the Potomac, and that goes into Chesapeake Bay, I imagine. Mm -hmm. Does it include all of that? Yes. Were you in a boat when you did this thing? Yes. Was it a public means of transportation? You know, like a steamer? No. Or, yeah. Robot. Was it your own boat? Yes. A small power boat? Yes. Did you set any kind of record? Mm. I would suppose this is a record, although uh, not a normal sort of record, like the fastest or anything, but I, it's the first time I ever heard of it being done. Oh, now, look. Did you take a small boat and go, say, roughly, started from Washington and you went around the world or something like that? <laughs> You're gonna make him feel like an old stay-at-home now. He only went as he only went as far as Jacksonville, Florida, down the inland waterway. In a rowboat? Which yes, and it's more than a thousand miles. Not only was it in a rowboat, it was in an outboard boat of his own design, and it was a paper boat. Oh. Yeah, paper boat. Patterson in a paper boat? Yeah. Mr. Patterson, what, is the, what was the purpose of this trip? Why did you go on a paper... Why did you make a paper boat? To prove the waterproofing qualities of the corrugated box material that I manufactured. You see, he is a manufacturer of waterproofing corrugated box material, so he wanted to make a boat out of this stuff to show that it uh, was waterproof. And here it is. There's nothing more startling looking than this material. It's just packing box material like you see in your own home anytime a package arrives, except it has been waterproof. Now, let me ask you this, sir. Uh, did the boat hold up for the entire trip? Yes, it did. You got, got the whole way. Yes. All right, now, I want to tell you, I love to see people who can do things with their hands. I love people who can make exquisite things, you know, with tools. Wait until you see this. You won't believe it. It is gorgeous. Will you open the curtain, please? <laughs> It looks like the African Queen. <laughs> it's the most marvelous thing. Now, I must tell you, we never, we never cheat on you, that the gunnels are wood, and some of the frames are wood. But the rest of it, the entire side of the hull, the, the floor deck, the canopy, is all cardboard. In other words, the hull itself actually is made of this waterproof uh, uh, cardboard. Now, how long did it take you, sir, to make the trip down the 1,000 miles? A little over six weeks. Six weeks? Six weeks, well, now, with an outboard on the back of this, you traveled at how fast? Oh, around 10 miles an hour. Well, gee, yeah, you should have made it in a lot less than six weeks. Well, I punched a lot of holes in it, from fish stakes. And you punched a lot of holes and in it? logs. Yes, he'd hit logs or he'd hit a, a fishing stake, you know, and that's an S-T-A-K-E that sticks up and marks a fish net, and it would punch, punch, a, punch a hole in it. Right. But when I got to South Carolina, I gained a little time on account of the alligators. Well, the alligators in the canal, and you didn't stop for anything, just, uh -oh. just kept going. How deep did the water ever get in the boat after you oh, punched it? Back up to there. Now, this may not look sturdy to you, but you want to get that hammer, sir, if you will. Now, remember, this is just, just cardboard. Take a good whack at it there, right down by the water line. Oh, goodness. Now, well, there it is. Hey. There's the hole. You get pretty wet that way. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what happened. He did a log and beak, and, and I threw the hole in the <laughs> Unfortunately, the waterway is not, is not very wide, so you don't have very far to get to the shore. Then what would you patch it with? Rubber cement. 
Rubber, rubber cement cardboard. and some more cardboard, right. huh? That's right. Well, I tell you, uh, I love boats, and if ever you want somebody to make this trip with you again, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for I like a boat that looks like I could have made it. You know, instead of something that I know I couldn't possibly do. Uh, panel, I'm going to have to ask you, please, to take one another by the hand and go out to the soundproof room while we ready our next little gizmo. Remember the last time you heard the whammies? Love to hear them again? Well, game show... Now, my friends, it is time for us to meet a really special guest, one of Hollywood's most successful movie actresses, certainly television's most successful comedian, and now she's doing it all over again right here on Broadway, where she is currently starring in the hit musical Wildcat. We are grateful to say, here is Lucille Ball. <laughs> Lucille! Anybody upstairs? Hey? Anybody upstairs? Yeah. yeah. You see? You, you've been away too long. They've missed you. Thank you. You see? Lucille, the first thing that everyone said when we found out that you were going to be on our show tonight was, let's get Lucy to do some imitations and some mimicry, because that's the kind of thing that you, everybody loves. You're clowning around. Well, I rather enjoy doing it sometimes. Well, don't, don't worry. I said no, because I said it isn't fair to make Lucille Ball work as hard as she's working in Wildcat to, to come out here and work hard on our show. So I'll tell you what Thank I do. Thank you. <laughs> I said, let the panel do all the work. Oh, bless you. All right, nice. Yes. Now, your secret will be that you're trying to get the panel to imitate you. <laughs> this, this way I don't have to work, huh? You, you don't have to do any work at all. We, we do this through the power of suggestion, you see. Now, here's why that works. We it's do? A, you do. You do. <laughs> it's a psychological fact that you can get people to do things without their even knowing that they're being urged to do it. I believe that most emotions and moods are contagious. Mm-hmm. Tell oh. me more. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. Now, here's what happens. Suppose that you get excited with one of our panelists when they're questioning you. I bet you they'll get excited right back without even realizing it. If you're sad, they'll get sad. So all you have you to do... You think so, really? I'm sure. All you have to do to get them to imitate you is to answer questions with different emotions, and they'll follow along like sheep. Uh, you want a bunch of sheep running around here, huh? <laughs> well, there's anything, I guess. All right. So I happen to have here a little list of uh, different emotions, excited, happy, dignified, sad, nervous. All you have to do is change from those to time to time while you're questioning and watch the panel. They'll do just as you do. I'll bet you. So may yeah. we have the panel back in, please? <laughs> How do you do what you do? What do you mean? Having time to come and, and visit with us when you're swinging that wild show down the street. Well, we have an hour here and there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we're so grateful to you. Thank I'll you, say. Gary. All right, panel. Hi. You know Lucy Ball. If you don't, you've missed a great deal in your life. Hi, Lucy. The clue to her secret concerns something that she's doing, and um, who shall we start with? Uh, Betsy? Uh, Betsy? All right, let's start, with, let's start right. with Betsy. Are you doing it now, Lucy? What? Are you doing it now? Doing what? Uh, whatever you're doing. I don't understand. What, what you're did you the say? The question is, is if something is that you are doing, that's your secret. I can't hear you, Betty. Betsy. Something that you're doing is your secret. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, you're doing Go something. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. This something that you're doing, is it physical? Oh, yes, slightly. Yes. Is it something to what? do with... Is it something that... <laughs> is it something you're not listening? Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this something that you're doing uh, going to involve any of us here? Oh, I hope panel? so. I do hope so. Yes. Is it going to involve the boys more than the girls? I don't think so. You're not doing it now. Yes, I am, Betsy. Are you? Yes. You're being breathy? No. No. <laughs> you're learning projection. <laughs> now you're learning how to laugh. <laughs> oh, no. Nobody has to teach you. Oh, that's uh, delightful. No. <laughs> no, it wasn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to make me do whatever you're doing. No, I wasn't. Are you trying to make me do whatever no, you're doing? No, no, no. Let's no? go to our next contestant, please. Let's go from right. Betsy Palmer to Henry Morgan, please. This thing you're doing, does it make you happy? <laughs> I beg your pardon, Henry. I... Am I coming in over there? Yes, sir. Are you changing character, uh, independent of what, what the questions are? Not necessarily, sir, no. 
No. Do you have a preconceived plot? Do you have a... No. I do it. Do you have... No, I don't want it. Will... It's going to be your turn again. Um, do you... I will... See, I forgot the next question. It was a great nothing question. I, are you um, adopting an attitude... I asked that. Does anything that we say have any effect whatsoever on you? Occasionally, but not tonight. <laughs> Did I come back another night and ask another series of questions? <laughs> oh, Henry. You're mad at me. You're hurt. No, You're hurt. displeased. You're offended. No. I did something wrong. You did something wrong. No. Gary, keep out of this. <laughs> are you are you depressed? Slightly, yes. Is that having anything to do with what I said? Why, 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 why did I do? <laughs> oh, it's marvelous. It's marvelous. You see? And so we turn our attention now, please, to Bess Myers. <laughs> I, you feel better? I, not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, um... I don't know how to talk to Bess. But Bess you is don't. an easy person to know. No. Oh, yes. Uh, do you feel better, Lucy? What? Do you feel better? Uh, better? I, I don't know whether I feel better or not. But, uh, are you, are you... Are I remember you... our last meeting. <laughs> oh, are you... Are yes. you happier? Yes. What? Why does Henry upset you? Henry does, didn't does he... upset me. No? No. Does he always upset it's you? It's just something he said. What did he say? <laughs> hmm? What did he say? Uh, well, I'd rather not go into it right now, really, but... hold hands and hide. Are, 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 uh, is there anything happening behind? What was that, Beth? What? Uh, are you what? Uh, 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 is there any? Is there anything <laughs> happening behind us? I hope not. No. no I, hope not. <laughs> I think we call that one kind of, and we go on to just that was kind of, and we go on now to uh, to Johnny Carson, please. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I got a question for you. <laughs> yes, John? Uh, yes, John. ¿Qué le parece a usted este programa? Huh? Yeah. You're reacting differently to each one of us. Uh... She didn't look at me like that. Neither did Gary. <laughs> and I didn't mean to be looking that way. <laughs> Henry made you sad. Betsy made Johnny, you... are you married? <laughs> are you? My story is the same as yours. <laughs> No, I wasn't married to Desi or <laughs> One more question, John. John, you got time for one more question. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> did you have a belt before you came on? <laughs> no, John. I we up. have lost <laughs> the whole thing. As a matter of fact... For one of the two or three times in the eight years on I've Got a Secret, I cheated the panel. Somebody yes. guessed it early when they said, are you trying to make us react in the same mood that you're acting? And that was the answer, but I didn't want to blow the whole rest of the thing with the life of Lucy oh, Ball. No. So I lied to you, baldly lied and said no, but it was marvelous because you did react exactly the same way. I never thought Henry would come through like that. But Henry He's a sad man at heart. Henry and so, came through. Speaking for Lucille Ball and all of us here until next week, good night, be very kind to each other, where you will see. Lucy, thanks for I mean, what was I going to do with a nine-foot rocking horse? He handed me a thousand-dollar bill. My first thought was, is that thing even real? Deal making. It's a high pressure business, especially when you're dressed like a fire hydrant. Hey, deal with it. Monday through Saturday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Ever see the look on someone's face who's just won $100,000?
You want drama? Watch this game show, The $100,000 Pyramid with Dick Clark, weekdays at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern. Green Ball here. Be prepared to be bowled over by laughs, cash, and romance. Together. That's easy. Together. Together, together. she <laughs> says together, yes. It's got to be definitely together. Together, she <laughs> said they're together. Newlywed Game Classic. The new Newlywed Game. <laughs> they make a great couple. Have a ball with a whole hour of Newlywed Games. Weeknights starting at 10 Eastern, only on Game Show Network. In a world desperate to play, two men will push contestants to the limit. Intimate questions, unrelenting pressure, pain, and sweet victory. Who are these men? And why do they do it? Because on these game shows, everyone can hear you scream. Thick. Newton. This hour, it's personal. Freeze a crowd on Hollywood Showdown starting at 11 p.m. weeknights on Game Show Network. Remember the last time you heard the whammies? Love to hear them again? Well, Game Show Network presents the hits of the whammies. You'll see the whammies performing their most memorable songs like... But wait, there's more! You'll see Whammy mowing the lawn, roller skating, and even walking the dog. The whammies are not sold in any store, so tune in during Press Your Luck every day and every night at 9.30 and 1.30 Eastern. A message from Elvira down under. Crikey, so this is what the sun feels like. Oh, good eye, mates. Elvira here. Wait till you have a squiz when I'm bringing back from Oz for Halloween. It's a bonzer marathon of Who Dares Wins, the Aussie game show of death-defying stunts, heart-pounding dangers, and ridiculous accents. Absolutely awesome. Game Show Network scares and dares with Elvira, an entire night of Who Dares Wins, Sunday, October 28th at 8 Eastern. It'll be a rip snorter. Whoa, now that's scary. Bristol Myers also brings you Candid Camera. Consult your local listing for time and day. I've got a secret. has been brought to you by Bristol Myers, makers of Buffrin for relief from headache pain. And by Miss Farrell. Hair colors so natural, only your hairdresser knows for sure. The preceding program was pre-recorded. This is John Cannon speaking. Now you... Stevie Wonder, Friday night at 12.30. And you know it, you'll win some heavy cash on Headline Chasers. And now, here's our headliner, Wink Martindale. Oh, got to get it. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you so much, and welcome to our show. That's nice. Where we play the events, the voices, the places, and the faces that make our front page headlines. And if our players recognize these stories, they'll take home a lot of money. Let's sail to couples right now. Johnny, who are they, please? Well, Wink, we have two couples from San Diego, California. This is Eleanor and Bill Lolly, and this is Shelly Ann and Robert Gonzalez. Well, welcome. Nice to see you. <laughs> Shelly Ann and Robert on my right, Eleanor and Bill on my left. We'll find out a little bit about these couples later. Right now, let's get started. As you know, Headline Chasers features cover stories, voices of headliners, and headline stories from the past and present. All of the headlines and the newspapers have been specifically made up for our show. The material is based on actual people and events. And by the way, for those of you at home, each time we put a new headline up, we'll tell you how many words are in the headline. For those of you who are here, we are ready to play. Our headlines are worth $500 each. When the clues are given, the money's dropped. So what you want to do is play as quickly as possible. That way you win more money, right? Do we understand each other? Yes. Yes. Okay, our first headline on the big screen in front of us is from the food and cooking section of the U.S. Report, September 5th, 1985. This headline has five words. Supermarket study is your first clue. We'll add some letters. Second clue, U.S. towns for $300. More letters will be added from the food and cooking section.
now for $200, top choices. And even more letters. <laughs> Shelly Ann and Robert Gonzalez think they know for $200. Tell me what it says. Survey shows city's favorite foods. Survey shows city's favorite foods. Is that right for $200? Let's check and see. Yes, right on. Survey shows city's favorite foods. So that gives you the first money, $200. Now, two questions worth $100 each on that same headline. Citizens of Dallas, described by one resident as a good movie town, eats more of this food per capita. <laughs> Billy and Eleanor. Popcorn. That's right, popcorn, than any other U.S. city. That's what they eat in Dallas. They love it, popcorn. <laughs> this juice, said to aid digestion, sells better in the Miami area than anywhere else in this country. Shelly Ann and Robert. Orange. No, that's not right. Billy and Eleanor, what kind of juice would it be? What do you think? Guava? No. Audience? Prune juice, that's right. Prune juice. Good digestive aid. Johnny Gilbert drinks eight or ten glasses a day. Here is the, here, here's the, here's the next headline. From the sports pages of the Boston Tribune, October 27, 1968. This headline has four words. First clue is closing ceremonies. And we'll add some letters to the headline. From the sports pages, remember? First time host. And more letters to the headline. <laughs> Shelly Ann and Robert, I'll give you $300 for the headline. Mexico's Olympic Games end. Mexico's Olympic Games end for $300. Check her out on that. She is so right. Whew. Very nicely done. All by yourself, too. What gesture did two black Americans make in the election? Shelly Ann and Robert. Holding up their hand with a black glove on it. Mm, is that acceptable? Yes. B a raised fist, uh, meaning black power. Yes. Good enough. Now, for another $100, name the U.S. figure skater who won a gold medal at the 1968 Winter Olympics. Shelly Ann and Robert. Peggy Fleming. Right. You have another $100. Boy, that was quick. 700 to 100. Try this headline on for size, everybody. We took this from the business and industry section of the Detroit Times-Herald, September 1st, 1985. This headline has five words. All righty. First clue is poll result. We'll add some letters for you. Second clue, U.S. opinion. U.S. opinion. More letters. The business and industry section. For $200, try labor quality. And more letters to the headline. Final clue, Tokyo Tops for $100. Anybody have an idea? All right, let's check out this headline. See which one gave you so much trouble. What does it actually say? Workers can see Japanese are superior. Everybody in the audience knew that, except you four here. See, everybody else. Right, audience? They were brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Two questions on that headline, now worth $200, e uh, worth $100 apiece. U.S. workers felt Japanese workers were superior because they had more what? Was it incentive, pride, or determination? Bill and Eleanor, what do you think? Pride. That's right. Pride in the products they made. Very good. Second question for 100, the largest selling import car in America is a Japanese model. What company manufactures it? <laughs> Shelly Ann and Robert? Nissan. No, I'm sorry, Bill and Eleanor? Toyota. That's right, Toyota yeah. is the correct answer. <laughs> 700 to 300. Those are our scores, Shelly Ann and Robert, $700. Bill and Eleanor with $300. In our next edition, the couples will test their skill at recognizing the voices and faces of famous newsmakers past and present. We'll take a commercial break, and we promise to be back do you? <laughs> you see it, that special Christmas magic lighting your child's face. This Christmas, you can share the love in that small face by giving quality photographic portraits from Sears Portrait Studio. Right now, you can get this package of 14 gift and keepsake portraits, all for $12.95. Hurry, October 26th is the last day this package will be offered in time for Christmas giving. Sears Portrait Studio. There's more for your life at Sears. It's here. Levitt's biggest sale. Every item in every Levitt showroom is on sale. 
Levitt's biggest sale going on now. My mom makes the best chicken and rice in all of Greenville. She says you've got to use Uncle Ben's. I used another rice once, and you know, Mom was right. There is a difference. Uncle Ben's is separate, not sticky, and it's whole, not broken like the other leading national brand. Mom's coming for dinner tonight, so I made her lemon pie and the second best chicken and rice in Greenville. Terrific. Uncle Ben's converted brand rice. It really does make a difference. Guess how much? Well, the average new car sold for over 11000 I'll say that. Wrong. <laughs> Why do I feel like a game show contestant? 86 Nissan Sentry start at $54.99. And that doesn't include great deals, long-term financing, and generous trade-ins. I don't believe it. Believe. It's America's best-selling import. The same great deals for Stanza and Maxima? You got it. Your Nissan dealer will make a believer out of you, but you have to come in now. Seeing is believing at your tri-state Nissan dealer. It's nothing short of miraculous. Researchers are finally discovering a way to prevent diabetes in animals. The Juvenile Diabetes Foundation is convinced that a cure for people can't be far behind. A cure. But it's not just a matter of time. It's a matter of money. The Juvenile Diabetes Foundation. There's a cure. And we'll find it. Back to the Chasers. All four of our players today came from uh, San Diego in the KCST Channel 39 San Diego con contestant search. Over here we have Shelly Ann and Robert Gonzalez. Took him three years to convince her not to marry him, just to go out with him for peace yes. sakes. I mean, you are, I've heard of slow workers, but you are really slow. What, I tried. What took him so long, darling? Did, did you just not care to go out with him? Or we did were he... just really good friends. Yeah. And... It never occurred to you that you should no. probably go out and have so a good time. Huh? I married my best friend. So. Well, that is great. Is he still your best friend? He's still That's my That's important, best isn't friend. it? Not only be married to somebody, but that mm -hmm. person to be exactly. your best friend. Okay, welcome to the show. Good luck to you. Thank you. And uh, they already have $700. They aren't doing too badly here. And over here, we have Eleanor and Bill Lally. Again, from uh, San Diego proper or... Uh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And you're originally from uh, Mississippi, huh? That's right. Yeah, and where are you from, sir, originally? Uh, Superior, Wisconsin. Yeah, it seems like everybody out here comes from somebody Somewhere, someplace nobody. else. Mm -hmm. And you met in Key West, Florida, and you did what a lot of uh, young couples do. You eloped at yes. that time. Yeah. And uh, uh, My mother was not very happy. I'll bet. How many years have you been married now? We've been married. 21. 21 years. Any little alleys? Little alleys running around? She's not little. She's six foot. She's a She's beautiful 20-year-old right? yeah. daughter. Well, welcome mm -hmm. to our show. Good luck to you as you're already doing all right with $300. Now we find that the scores can really change for everybody because this next section is concerned with faces and voices of famous newsmakers past and present. A lot of people say, ah, I like this. It's really the fun part. Okay, the sound of the headliner's voice is what I want you to give me now. I want you to identify the newsmaker you're about to hear. The value of the voice decreases the longer it takes you to come up with an answer. So, here's your first voice. Get it as quick as possible. Think current administration. Current administration. This president of ours is determined. Shelly Ann and Robert, I'll pay you $500 if you can place the voice with the person. George Bush. Is it George Bush? Take a look at the screen and see if you're right. Yes, the vice president, George Bush. Current administration. All righty, now we're going to our first cover story. The value of this cover will decrease with each clue, and there's only one guess per couple. This is the actual cover of Saturday Review magazine. Look at that. First clue is historical novelist. Historical novelist. Second clue, political run. For $200, fictional biographer. Final clue coming up is Lincoln. Anybody up here have any idea for $100? All right, let's see who it is. I think it's Gore Vidal. Yes, it is. Gore Vidal, historical novelist, political run, fictional biographer, and Lincoln, the clues. Back to the voices again, worth $500 to start. I want you to think outlandish singer, outlandish singer. Good luck. I think you just, you confront people and you break down the barriers. Shelly Ann and Robert for $400, who is that? Boy George. Is it Boy George? Take a look. Right or wrong? Yes, it is. I don't know why they say he's outlandish. Same outfit I wore yesterday on one of the shows. Uh, magazine cover, cover story. This is an actual cover of TV Guide magazine. Who is this? Clue, hair care spokeswoman. Second clue for $300, her the body, Shelly Ann and Robert. Victoria Principal. Let's check it out and see if you're right. Is it Victoria Principal? Yes, it is. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm trying to get over a cold. Okay, let's check our scores. Bill and Eleanor Lally with $300, and Shelly Ann and Robert Gonzalez have carried their total up to $1,900. Coming up, 
our final edition as our couples go headline chasing for big cash. First, we'll take this commercial break, and then we'll see just how much the scores can possibly change. We'll be right back. Do you know where you can get this $3,999 mink coat for just $1,999? A&M. Just $1,999 and you're in full length mink every day. Everywhere. It works with everything. It's warm. It won't go out of style. And this will even custom fit it for you. Dark dyed ranch mink. You can even put it on your long term A&S chart. Mink. Mink. $1,999. Thursday. Friday. Saturday only. At A&S. Terrific. Guess how much? Well, the average new car sold for over $11,000. i will say that. Wrong. <laughs> Why do I feel like a game show contestant? 86 Nissan Sentry start at $54.99. And that doesn't include great deals, long-term financing, and generous trade-ins. I don't believe it. Believe. It's America's best-selling import. The same great deals for Stanza and Maxima? You've got it. Your Nissan dealer will make a believer out of you, but you have to come in now. Seeing is believing at your tri-state Nissan dealer. At the game, home, work, or play, wear your favorite NFL team emblem with pride on your authentic Pro-Line cap by AJD. These fully embroidered caps come in corduroy or fully lined nylon with Hairtex reinforced fronts, unbreakable visors, and eight rows of stitching for durability. Authentic Pro-Line caps come in a wide range of colors and fit all sizes. Check out the full lineup today at your AJD dealer. Available at Herman's. How do you describe a good governor? Well, he should be thoughtful and fair. He should be competent and caring. And he should work for the people in every part of our state. He should strive to improve our schools, to create jobs, and to do everything he can to clean up and preserve our environment. When you think about it, you've just described the governor we have right now. Governor Tom Kane, building pride in New Jersey. Well, as you well know, this is where the scores can really change because we're going to start with the headline values at $1,000 each. Now, couples, these will be, you'll see a series of headline events that we've created and printed in our own made-up newspapers. From a maximum of four clues, I want you to give me the word-for-word -word headline. One chance per couple, by the way, at each headline. And for you people at home, once again, we'll tell you the number of words in each headline as they come up on the big screen. Here we go. The headline values again start at 1,000 from the art section of the New York Globe. January 8, 1963. This headline has four words. Oily complexion is your first clue. We'll add some letters. Bill and Eleanor think they already have it. They need these dollars for 800. What does yes. it say? Mona Lisa visits America. Mona Lisa visits America. Is it possible that could be what it says? Yes, it is exactly right. Hey, right on. She's coming awake over here. Mona Lisa visits America. Now I have two questions on that headline. Each one of these worth $200. Name the artist who painted the Mona Lisa. Shelly Ann and Robert. Leonardo da Vinci. Right. Leonardo da Vinci is up to $200. I thought you'd buzz in on that one. No, I can't. Next question. Name the European country which lent us the Mona Lisa for display. Bill and Eleanor. France. Yes. You have $200 for that. For display in Washington and New York. Borrowed that from France. Take a look at this headline and see how you come up against this one. From the international pages of the Philadelphia Dispatch, December 24th, 1894. This headline has six words. First clue is spy trial. Can I add some letters? Clue number two for $600, overseas. More letters. Court Marshal. More letters. <laughs> Bill and Eleanor, I'll pay you $200 for the correct headline. French find Dreyfus guilty of treason. French find Dreyfus guilty of treason. The headline from Christmas Eve, 1894 is right. Yes. $1,500 to $2,100. Everything getting closer. Though later vindicated and reinstated in the French Army, Alfred Dreyfus was convicted at court martial for passing military secrets to what nation? Had you said Germany, you would have been correct. 
At what infamous French prison was Dreyfus incarcerated after his conviction, Billy and Eleanor? Devil's Island. Yes, Devil's Island gives you another $200 as you continue to close the gap. Next headline, altered from the entertainment section of the Los Angeles News, July 18, 1985. This headline has five words. First clue is Mickey's home. Let's add some letters. From the entertainment section. Celebrates opening is the second clue, and we add more letters to the headline. <laughs> Shelly Ann and Robert, for $600, what does the headline say? Disneyland throws 30th birthday bash. Is it Disneyland throws 30th birthday bash? $600 will add to your total. You'll have $2,700. You have it, yes. $2,700 now versus $1,700. $1,000 difference. Here's your next question for $200. There are three Disney amusement parks in the world. One in California, one in Florida. <laughs> Shelly Ann and Robert. Tokyo. Yes, one in Japan, Tokyo. I was going to say in one in what foreign country? What is the name of the Disney park in Florida? <laughs> Shelly Ann and Robert. Walt Disney World. Epcot. Is that acceptable? Epcot yes, you're right. That is acceptable. <laughs> Disney World, Disney Park in Florida. Okay, so our scores to this point, $3,100 for Shelly Ann and Robert. Bill and Eleanor have $1,700. Remember, the winner today is the couple with the greatest dollar total, and they pay, play the $5,000 headline extra. All right, this is the fourth and final headline in this game from the front page of the Omaha News. Zero in on this headline from March 1st, 1961. This is a four-word headline. President's order is your first clue as we add some letters to that headline. President's order. Volunteers. And more letters. <laughs> Shelly Ann and Robert have buzzed in at a $600 value on the headline. What does it say? Kennedy establishes Peace Corps. Kennedy establishes Peace Corps. Right or wrong to $600. Check it out to see if they're right. Yes, they are. March 1st, 1961, the famous Peace Corps. Players, I'm now going to give you one follow-up question to this headline. Depending on what your wager can be, it can be worth part or all of your winnings to this point. Remember, if you're wrong, your wager will be deducted. The winner of our game today, of course, plays the bonus for $5,000. You know that. So place your wager carefully. The headline, once again, is Kennedy Establishes Peace Corps. And I'll ask you now to place your wager. Shelly Ann, with her pen in hand, they're way up there with $3,700. They can add some money to their total. And with $1,700 over here, Bill and Eleanor Lally can add some money to their total winnings on today's edition of Headline Chasers. We have uh, the team on my right ready now. What's your wager, Shelly Ann? $300. $300 up there at $3,700. Playing a little close to the vest there, Bill and Eleanor. What are you going to wager? Up there $1,700. They're going to wager $1,000. So, Bill and Eleanor, this question is for you with a higher wager. And here is the question. Future President Jimmy Carter's mother was an early Peace Corps volunteer. What is her name? Oh, her name. What is her name? Oh, I'm sorry. We'll have to deduct $1,000 from your winnings. That leaves you with $700. Over here, you want to play or pass? You want to go for that one? Play it. Miss right. Lillian. Pardon? Miss Lillian. Miss Lillian. Right. You have it. And you're our champions for the day. They called her Miss Lillian or Lillian Carter. So with the addition of that money to your total, you have a grand total as the winner and champion of $4,000 with the right to add another $5,000 to that. Could have $9,000 before you leave us. Congratulations. I know you knew that. <laughs> Don't you feel terrible when you know that you know Lillian? I India. I thought you were going to ask me where she went. <laughs> oh, you were going to ask me. You wanted me to ask you where yeah, she went. Well, where'd she, she go? India. I can't give you any money for that, though. <laughs> you leave us with $700 and our thanks for playing the game. Thank you. Let's have a nice round of applause for these two excellent players from San Diego and Channel 39. We'll be back to play the headline extra for $5,000 with Shelly Ann and Robert Gonzalez right after we take this break. Don't go away. Can they do it? I'm about to wash away a whole day's worth of aging. You can, you know, with Olay Beauty Cleanser. Olay Beauty Cleanser goes beyond surface stuff like dirt and makeup, right to the day's buildup of dull, dry skin, and gently lifts it clean away. With no greasy residue, I'm not a day younger. 
But I've got a glow that says different. Wash away a day's aging every day with new Olay Beauty Cleanser. If you would like to be a contestant on Headline Chasers, write to Headline Chasers Contestants, 1541 North Vine Street, Hollywood, California, 90028. And please include your telephone number. Jeremy! <laughs> okay, where is it? Where's what? You took my Colgate pump. Did not. You did too. I did not. The Colgate pump. It's neat. It's fun. It's Colgate's MFP fluoride. Maximum fluoride protection against cavities. I did too. Did not. Somebody looking for this? Oops. <laughs> I thought you were looking for this. My diary, how could you? Bobby with the big blue eyes. Colgate in two great tastes. The world's number one toothpaste in the world's number one pump. Hold it, cowboy. I'm going to brand this new Nissan truck before somebody grabs it. $59.99. Tell them, Shane. Hey, it's yours. $59.99. I can't believe it. Not only that, we deal. Give you a great trade on your old Not her. truck and can arrange long-term financing. Probably old. They're all 86s at 84 prices. Standard 4 buy is less than last year. I don't believe it. Shut up, hood. It's a deal. Your Nissan dealer will make a believer out of you. So come in now. Seeing is believing at your tri-state Nissan dealer. <laughs> Come to your nearby GE Premier dealer for a major appliance savings celebration during GE's National Sale Days. You can get big savings on selected high-quality General Electric appliances. Purchase any GE major appliance now and become a premier customer. You'll receive U.S. savings bonds on selected future purchases and discounts on service. For the name of the New York area GE Premier dealer nearest you, call the GE Answer Center, 1-800-626-2000. If you take the Somerset Road all the way out to Mangrove Bay, you'll find a very special place. Captain John's Boatyard, one of the only places in Bermuda you can rent a boat and a motor and spend the day out over the coral looking for fish or out on the flats just looking. But remember two things. Bring some sandwiches and your Visa card. Because Captain John doesn't sell food and he doesn't take American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Okay, Johnny, thank you very much. Well, the couple from San Diego here from KCST Channel 39 down there. Uh, have you enjoyed your experience so far? Silly question, Winky. Mm -hmm. They've won $4,000 to this point. Here's how we play the headline extra. We're about to show you five sections from our Headline Chasers Gazette. These are things that made the front page, and I want you to pick the one that you want to headline on, all right? We're dealing with business pages, business pages, national news, sports, society news, and or labor. Sports. Gonna go with sports. Yep. Big sports fan, are you? Okay, sports it shall be. This will be an altered headline on sports. I'll give you $5,000 if you can give me this headline with no clues. Word for word, all righty? Good luck, you have five seconds to study it. Here we go. Time's up, do you have an answer for me? No, we don't. Okay, then we are going to give you a second and final chance here. Each clue you need will cost $1,000, reduced from the $5,000 prize. You can take one clue, two clues, three clues, whatever, but they cost you $1,000 a piece. So we'll, what's your pleasure? You've seen how long the headline is. How many do you think it'd take? We want two clues, Two please. clues, all right. So you're playing for $3,000. Right. So if you answer this, you'll leave us with $7,000. Seven seconds is the amount of time you have. You'll see the clues come up on the screen. And again, I hope you win. Good luck. Thank you. Category of sports, you've seen all the clues for $3,000. Can you tell me what the headline says? Red Grange signs with bears. Red Grange signs with bears is what you think. Are you right? Yes, you are, for $3,000. <laughs> Very good. That's terrific. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I heard her say right at the last minute, signs with. And then I don't know, did you add bears or did yes. you have the, uh, that order? Well, you work as a team. Yes. Two heads are better than one on this show <laughs> exactly. especially. Congratulations. Thank you leave you. us with a total of, what, $7,000. Congratulations <laughs> to you. Thanks for playing Headline Chasers. Join us again next time for another edition of this show, Headline Chasers. We'll meet two more couples and find out who knows more about the voices, the events, the places, and the faces that are making front page headlines. Thank you. Bye, everybody.
our departing contestants will receive from the luxurious 4711 German Spa Bath Collection, body lotion, bath soaps, and 4711 Eau de Cologne, the original cologne, and one of the world's most popular. Demand the best from Star Bronze, real wood, the natural toning stereo wood preservative for beautiful wood that lasts. Fleischmann's Rapid Rise Yeast helps guarantee good baking results and cuts rising time in half. People who love to bake trust Fleischmann's Rapid Rise Yeast. Weight Watchers Apple Snacks, the crunchy, nutritious snack you don't have to sneak because it's made from real apples. Weight Watchers Apple Snacks. Bissell's New Broom Sweeper, fast, easy way to pick up dirt and litter from carpets and bare floor. The perfect companion to your vacuum cleaner by Bissell. Ladies and gentlemen, direct your attention to Diet 7-Up. With 100% Nutrisweet and no saccharin, it may be the best tasting diet soft drink ever. This is Johnny Gilbert speaking. Headline Chasers is a production of Merv Griffin Enterprises in association with Wink Martindale Incorporated and distributed by King World. Watching an adventure movie on a VCR? Terrific. But you're only hearing half the fun until you hear Zenith's Hi-Fi Stereo VCR. With stereo sound so real, it's like being there. You can even tune in and record stereo TV broadcasts. Zenith's VHS Hi-Fi Stereo VCR. Look out! Big sand, old boy. One of the smart VCRs. Zenith, smarter than ever. At the game, home, work, or play, wear your favorite NFL team emblem with pride on your authentic Proline cap by AJD. These fully embroidered caps come in corduroy or fully lined nylon with Hairtex reinforced fronts, unbreakable visors, and eight rows of stitching for durability. Authentic Proline caps come in a wide range of colors and fit all sizes. Check out the full lineup today at your AJD dealer. Available at Herman's. It's that time again. Off the wall deals time. A new shipment of vehicles is headed for your Toyota dealer. Posted on his showroom wall are all the models, colors, and options. Everything you need to make your selection. Plus, your dealer really wants to talk deals in order to sell these Toyotas before they arrive. And that could mean big savings. But remember, once they do arrive, off the wall deals time is over. Great off the wall selection and deals at your Toyota dealers now. Who could ask for anything more? Mastriani and Lemon, 7.30 tonight. From the Sony Pictures Studios, this is Jeopardy! Now entering the studio are today's contestants. A human resource analyst from Winnipeg, Canada, Derek Ralston. A newspaper editor from West Hartford, Connecticut, Kiri O'Connor. And our returning champion, an environmental consultant from St. Paul, Minnesota, Doug Zhang, whose two-day cash winnings total $16,398. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thanks, Johnny. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, players. Welcome aboard, Gary and Derek. I hope you guys are well rested because I know Doug is following his two victories last week and he now seeks to defend again to remain Jeopardy champion. See what you can do to stop him. Good luck to all three. Here we go. Your categories for the first round of play are these. Technology. 1961. Rock guitarists. Delicacies. Islands. And finally, each correct response will end in the letter X. Doug, start us off. Could I have I islands for 100, please? This Danish island has the largest ice mass outside of Antarctica. Doug. What is Greenland? Right. 1961 for 100, please. This sovereign visited several Commonwealth nations, including India, Pakistan, and Ghana. Derek. Was Queen Elizabeth II? Correct. I'll take islands for 200, please. Material for the giant statues on this Chilean island was quarried from a crater called Rano Raraku. Derek. What is Easter Island? That's it. I'll take islands for 300, Alex. At 9,370 feet, Shishaldin on Unimac Island is the highest volcanic peak in this island group. K. 
Kiri. What is the Aleutians? You're right. Islands for 400, please. The western coast of this largest island of British Columbia is indented by picturesque fjords. Derek. What is Vancouver Island? Right. I'll take islands for $500. This island nation just south of Sicily has a population density of over 3,000 per square mile. And the island nation is Malta. Derek, pick again. I'll take rock guitars for 100, Alex. His first album was released under the name Johnny Cougar. Derek. Who is John Cougar Mellencamp? Yes. Rock guitars, 200, Alex. In 1996, his theme from Dead Man Walking was nominated for an Oscar. Doug. Who is Bruce Springsteen? Correct. 1961 for 200. On April 17th, about 1,500 exiles landed at this bay in an attempt to overthrow the Cuban government. Derek. What is the Bay of Pigs? Yes. Rock Guitars 300? Answer there. A video daily number. You are in the lead. You have a $700 margin over both of your opponents. I will bid, uh, or I will, uh, let's see, 600 please. $600 it is. Here is the clue first. In 1981, the actress seen here married this rock guitarist. Who is Eddie Van Halen? You're right. Valerie Bertinelli is the actress. Eddie Van Halen, her husband. Well done. Go again. I'll take rock guitars for 400, please. He gave his name to the group whose biggest hit was Black Magic Woman in 1970. Doug. Who is Carlos Santana? Yes. Rock guitars for 500, please. He played lead guitar on such Led Zeppelin hits as Stairway to Heaven. Derek. Who is Jimmy Page? Right. I'll take 1961 for 300, please. On April 12th, this Soviet Air Force major circled the globe in a record one hour, 48 minutes. Derek. Who is Gagarin? Yes. 1961 for 400, please. In 1961, Angola began a guerrilla war with this country from which it gained independence 14 years later. Kiri? What is Portugal? That's it. Um, delicacy, delicacies for 100, please. Consumed as a delicacy, this part of a bullfrog is longer than its body. Derek. What are the legs? The legs, you're right. And that takes you to 2,500. And oddly enough, a few moments ago when you hit the Daily Double, Kiri and Doug were tied at 300. Now they are tied once again, but they each have $700. We'll be back to conclude this Jeopardy round right after this. Stay with us. If you're looking for a great deal in a GMC truck, Wally McCarthy's in Roseville is the place to shop. The Jimmy Clearance sale is going on right now. Up to a $1,500 factory rebate. Up to a $3,500 Wally McCarthy rebate. That means save up to $5,000 on 1996 GMC Jimmys. Folks, we tell you to hurry in. Only 30 available. Conversions, SLTs, SLEs, you name it. Wally McCarthy's GMC truck in Roseville. Come on in. Can't give you anything but love, baby, baby. That's the only thing I plenty of, baby. Dream a while, scheme a while, you'll survive. What's free, fast, and can change your life? The vote. Cast your ballot. It's such an easy way to make a difference in your hometown. On November 5th, don't just vote for the next president. Vote for your hometown school board, city council, and judges. They affect your kids' education, your taxes, and the criminal justice system. To find out who's running in your hometown, call your county auditor or city clerk. WCCO and the League of Women Voters are here to provide information that will help your vote make a difference. Exercise your right. Vote on November 5th. Players have demonstrated that they really know their rock guitarists, but that category is gone. Derek, where do we go next? 1961 for 500, Alex. This playwright's first show, Come Blow Your Horn, premiered on Broadway February 22nd. 
Oh, you're going to hate yourselves on this one. Who is Neil Simon? Neil Simon. Derek, pick again. Ends in X for 100. Answer. Take a load off. Doug. What is relax? Yes. Technology for 100. Your AC air conditioning probably runs on AC. This. Doug. What is alternating current? That's it. Technology for 200. Device that stealth aircraft technology is designed to trick. Doug. What is radar? Yeah. Technology for 300. At the 1939 New York World's Fair, the robot Electro was accompanied by Sparco, a robot one of these. Kiri. What is a dog? Yes. Uh, delicacies for 200, please. Found throughout the eastern United States, the Virginia species of this marsupial is a southern delicacy. Kiri? What is an opossum? That's it. Delicacies for 300, please. These gastropods are often served a la bourguignon, bathed in a parsley, garlic, and butter sauce. Kiri? What are snails? Yeah. Delicacies for 400. This delicacy is created by overfeeding geese and depriving them of exercise. Derek? What is pâté foie de gras? Pâté de foie gras. We are accepting it. I will take uh, ends and X for 200, please. Answer. It's Corning's trademark name for heat-resistant glassware. Doug. What is Pyrex? That's it. Ends and X for 300. This childhood disease is caused by the varicella zoster virus. Doug. What is chicken pox? Yeah. Technology for 400. The smallest units of information stored in a computer, they form bytes. Kiri. What are bits? Bits, yes. Uh, ends and X for 400, please. In grammar, it's the relationship among the words, phrases, and clauses of a sentence. Kiri. What is syntax? Yes. Delicacies for 500, please. The yolks of these Chinese treats, pi dan, turn greenish brown during the preserving process. Kiri. Uh, what are a uh, thousand year eggs? That's it. Uh, ends in X for 500, please. After Achilles, he was the bravest of the Greeks in the Trojan War. You know him better as a foaming cleanser, I suppose. Who is Ajax? <laughs> We've got one more clue for 500 in technology. In 1981, the Solar Challenger was a solar-powered plane, and in 1977, the Gossamer Condor was powered by this. Doug? What is wind? No. Kiri? Uh, what is human power? Human power, yes, man, pedaling. And pedaling a long way. All right, you wind up with 3,300, Kerry. You've got the lead right now. Derek next with 2,900. Doug on the board with 1,100. You can put that signaling button down, Kerry. You won't need it for a little while. Derek Rallstone from Winnipeg, Canada, says here that you have something in common with me. What is that? Sure do, Alex. I uh, carried the Olympic torch for the Calgary Olympics, which we had uh, in Canada in 1988. Yeah, that was a big deal, wasn't it? It was a huge a deal. A lot of fun. Yeah. Big success. Yeah, great experience. Yeah, for the town and for all of the uh, people associated with the Olympic Games. Kerry O'Connor is from West Hartford, Connecticut, a newspaper editor, and in the line of duty, she ate something that you would not normally find on a plate or on a menu. What was that? It was a 17-year cicada, which is a bug. <laughs> Don't sound too happy about that. Why did you do it? Well, I sent a reporter to a cicada cook-off, and I said to him, look, if you have to eat one, bring one back for me. So he did. They're about an inch long and... Crunchy? What does it taste like? Don't tell me it tastes like chicken. It doesn't taste at all like chicken. <laughs> what does it, it taste like? It's, well, it's not so much the taste, it's the texture. It's like crunchy, crunchy on the outside and squishy on the inside. <laughs> it's like a french fry. No. No, okay. Doug Zhang from St. Paul, Minnesota is our champion. Had a few minutes of fame, a few minutes of fame on a Japanese cable television program. Tell us about yep. that. Well, I was a tourist at the castle of Himeji in Japan, and there was a camera crew that wanted to find an American to hear how they would read a sentence so that it was basically a language instruction program. Good for you. So they asked me to read a few sentences, and I did, and so... Did they pay you? No, they didn't. Did they give you a free ticket to uh, visit the grounds? I've done a lot better with Jeopardy, actually. Okay, good for you. Good answer, good answer. Wait a minute, that's another show. We'll take a break and come back and play uh, the double Jeopardy round after this.
there's a place I see it's calling me for news tonight. What a welcome sight, CCO tonight. Old Town Local news done. Agnes is waiting for an important delivery. To her, it means better health. The chance to live independently in her own home. Mommy? And a brightened day. <laughs> a home-delivered meal means a lot. If you can spare a noon hour, just one day a week, volunteer. It will mean a lot to you. Deliver a hot meal. Give yourself a warm feeling. Call Meals on Wheels today. For our three contestants, as we go now into Double Jeopardy. Let's see how well they do in this round. They've got the daily doubles to help them add quickly to their earnings, and these as their categories. Lawyer, authors, gems and jewelry, assassinations, libraries, art and artists, and finally, international actors. Doug, start us off. Gems and jewelry for 200, please. The value of an emerald is determined by size, freedom from flaws, and shades of this color. Derek. What is green? Yes. I'll take assassinations for 200, Alex. Plutarch reported that this man believed Brutus, one of his assassins, was his son. Doug. Who's Julius Caesar? Correct. Libraries for 200? The manuscript of Beowulf is among the holdings of the British Library in this city. Doug. What is London? Yes. Libraries for 400. Jules Mazarin, this cardinal's successor, founded a Paris library in 1643. Doug. Uh, who's Richelieu? Correct. International actors for 200. Kiefer's father. He was born in New Brunswick and became a disc jockey in Nova Scotia when he was just 14. Doug. Who is Donald Sutherland? That's it. International actors for 400. Born Nigel Neal in Northern Ireland, this star of Jurassic Park and the piano was raised in New Zealand. Derek. Who is Sam Neal? Yes, yes. I'll take assassinations for 400, please. Lieutenant Khalil al Istanbuli was identified as the head of the conspiracy that killed this Egyptian leader. Doug. Who is Sadat? Yes. Gems and jewelry for 400. They include St. Edward's crown, the scepter with the dove, and the anointing spoon. Derek. What are the crown jewels? Right. I'll take assassinations for 600, please. Pedro Joaquin Chamorro, an outspoken foe of the Samosas, was gunned down in this capital in 1978. Derek. What is Managua? Yes. Assassinations for 800, please. This murdered father of Alexander the Great was the third Macedonian king in a row to die violently. Doug. Uh, who is Cyrus the Great? No. Derek. Who is Philip of Macedon? Yes. I'll take assassinations for 1,000. Maurice of Nassau succeeded this assassination victim, his father, as Stadtholder of the Netherlands. His father was William of Orange. Derek, back to you. I'll take lawyer authors for 200, please. He sold the film rights to the firm before he sold the publishing rights. Kiri. Who's John Grisham? That's right. Uh, art and artist for 200, please. Rembrandt painted 62 of these, revealing every wrinkle of his face as it aged. Doug. What is a self-portrait? Correct. Art and artists for 400. The National Gallery of Art has a Jean-Antoine Houdon bust of this Candide author, sculpted the year he died. Doug. Who's Voltaire? Right. Art and artist for 600. He created a scandal by including the words, God does not exist, in a Mexico City mural. Kiri. Who's Diego Rivera? Right. Art and artist for 800, please. Answer. One of the Daily Doubles, and 
your opportunity to move up into first place should you risk enough and respond correctly. Oh, I'll risk 1,200. That'll do it. That'll tie you for first with Derek. Here's the clue for you, Kiri. Daniel Chester French used the pose of the Apollo Belvedere for this timely Concord, Massachusetts statue. What is the minute, man? You're right. No time at all on that one, and you're tied for the lead. So again. All right, now it's for 1,000, please. This L.A.-based British artist has produced photo collages like Pear Blossom Highway, 11th to the 18th of April, 1986. Kiri? Who's David Hockney? Yes. You're in the lead. Uh, international actress for 600, please. Answer there. When this Belgian appeared as himself on Friends, he dated Rachel and Monica. Doug? Who is Jean-Claude Van Damme? Right. International actress for 800. This Spaniard was bitten by the acting bug long before he played Armand in Interview with the Vampire. You've seen him in other films, I'm sure. Antonio Banderas. Doug. International actors for a thousand. Born in China to Japanese parents in 1920, he became the most famous Japanese film actor in the world. Kiri. Who's Hayakawa? Nope. Doug or Derek? Ayakawa was before that. Toshiro Mifuni is the actor's name. Nice. Doug, back to you. Libraries for 600. <clears throat> His presidential library is located in Simi Valley, California. Kiri. Who is Nixon? No. Derek. Who is Ronald Reagan? That's right. I will take libraries for 800. While known for its Shakespeare collection, this D.C. library is rich in other Renaissance works as well. Doug. What is the Library of Congress? No. Derek. What is the Smithsonian? No, that too is incorrect. Kiri. What is the Folger? The Folger, you got it, yes. Um, lawyer authors for 400, please. Lady lawyer who wrote, It Takes a Village. Kiri. Who is Hillary Clinton? Yes. A library's for 1,000, please. Answer there. This unincorporated Maryland community is home to the National Library of Medicine. Kiri. What is Bethesda? Yes. <sighs> Lawyer authors for 600, please. You can't hide the fact this Scottish novelist qualified as a lawyer in 1875. Kiri. Who's Stevenson? Yes, and we have a minute to go. Uh, lawyer authors for 800, please. Admitted to the bar at age 21, he had a sideline writing Perry Mason novels. Kiri. Who's Earl Stanley Gardner? Yes. Uh, lawyer authors for 1,000, please. Last clue in the column is the Daily Double. And you've been forging ahead and maintaining your lead very nicely, Kiri. 8,300 to risk. 1,000, please. All right, here's the clue. In Contempt by this Simpson trial lawyer was an April 1996 bestseller. Uh, who is Darnton? Say it again. Uh, Darnton? Who's... No, I'm sorry. It's Christopher Darden, Darnton. Not Darnton. Darden. You're at 7,300. We have three clues to go. Uh, gems and jewelry for 600, please. Some highly prized rubies exhibit asterism, meaning that this shape can be seen when illuminated. Here again. It was a star. Yes. Jensen Joy for 800. Pennsylvania anthracite coal is often used in place of this deep black variety of lignite. Kiri? What is onyx? No. Derek or Doug? Correct response. What is jet? One more clue. Let's look at it. Alexandrite, named for Tsar Alexander II, was originally found in this mountain range. Doug. What are the Urals? You're right. $1,000 more for you. You're at 3100 Derek has 2,000 more than you, and Kiri has 2,000 more than him. And Final Jeopardy is coming up in a moment. Right now, though, we'll look at the prizes for the runners-up. Johnny. For today's second-place contestant, Bassett's Legend Dining Room set features the early 1900s look with natural stains and exposed joinery, exotic flake oak veneers and inlaid dovetail patterns from Bassett, and elegant designs, rich decorations and quality you can trust. This is Muirfield. Muirfield China offers extraordinary style and sheer elegance that's surprisingly affordable. For today's third-place contestant, Amana's 25-cubic-foot top-mount refrigerator features glass spill saver shelves and exceeds government energy standards by 25%. And all contestants receive a choice of Game Tech's newest edition of Jeopardy for play on computer at home or on the road. Okay, Alex. Thanks, Johnny. Final Jeopardy category today. Facts and figures. We'll return in a moment.
When gas, bloating, and pressure make you feel miserable, don't make the antacid mistake. Stop. Don't do it. Regular antacids don't work on gas. Take maximum strength Phazyme chewables instead. Watch a whole roll of ground-up antacid tablets versus just one Phazyme chewable. Regular antacid can't get rid of gas, but with just one Phazyme, the gas is gone. Take Cool Mint Phazyme chewables, and the gas is gone. With the new Energizer on battery tester, you just press the dots to make sure your battery will keep going and going. With news like this, uh, all we really have to do is, is show the battery. Just the battery. Thank you. Lenscrafters has these new lightweight titanium P frames from Luxottica. They weigh about 40% less than other metal frames. They're fashionable, comfortable. Look at the difference. Wow. I love seeing them smile when that happens. Lenscrafters, helping people see better one hour at a time. Some extraordinary things take place in this ordinary town. Like Arlene, reaching for her cat. Or Otis, stretching for that air filter. They're extraordinary because all these people have arthritis pain. And they all use Ultra Strength Bengay. They use it because today it's the only leading brand with three pain relievers. For deep eating relief that helps them do extraordinary things. Turn up the heat on arthritis with Ultra Strength Bengay. If you would like to be in our studio audience, please send a self-addressed stamp envelope to Jeopardy Tickets, Sony Picture Studios, 10202 West Washington Boulevard, Culver City, California, 90232. Hi, I'm Pat Bullard. I grew up on television, and I know the kind of shows I love to watch. You know, TV that was fun. Sometimes it was fantasy, sometimes it was real. Well, now I've got my own TV show. And I think it's the kind of show you're going to want to watch. Why? Because it's the kind of show I'd love to watch. Introducing the new Pat Bullard Show. The Pat Bullard Show, weekdays at 9 a.m. There's more to this morning. Now there is more on WCCO This Morning. More local news with Dave Huddleston. More weather with Heather Tesh. More WCCO4 traffic reports. Plus, CBS News from across America. Start your day with the Twin Cities' newest morning team and see why. WCCO This Morning, weekdays starting at 5.30 on Channel 4. Billy wants to work on airplanes when he grows up. Maybe one that you fly in. Now, would you like this free booklet of simple ways you can help improve his education? Call 1-800-96-PROMISE. Sally wants to be a surgeon someday. Maybe she'll operate on you. Now, would you like a free booklet of simple ways you can help improve her education? Call 1-800-96-PROMISE. Facts and figures. That's what our category is for Final Jeopardy today. Players, you've got 30 seconds to come up with the correct response in question form to this clue. An estimated 925 million of these were exchanged in 1996. The number one recipients by far were teachers. Good luck. Exchanged kisses, germs, who knows? Let's find out. Our champion, Doug Zhang, wrote down. What are Valentine cards? He's correct. His uh, wager was 1201 and that means he winds up with $4,301. Now we go down to the end to Derek Rolstone. He had 5100 His response, what is Valentine cards? Yes, the wager, $4,000. you are in the lead now with $9,100. $2,000 more then uh, Kiri, whom you trailed by 2,000 just a moment ago. Did she get Valentine cards? Yes. Did she risk more than 2,000? Yes, she did, and she will be the new champion 
with $10,201. Congratulations, Gary. What a game. What a great way to start the week. Thanks to all three of you. And thank you for tuning us in. Let's do it again tomorrow. So long. Gary, where to go? Today's second and third place contestants will receive Sun Source Allergy Relief. All natural, no side effects. Homeopathic medicine for faster, temporary relief of allergies. Sun Source Allergy Relief. To add real excitement to your everyday dishes, pour on the bold, spicy taste of paste piccante sauce. Limited edition Elvis Presley Worldwide Gold Award hits, volume two. Available for the first time on compact discs. 50 classic songs in stores now. Unlike any cream, Absorbine Jr. has a unique penetrating ingredient for liquid fast relief. Ah, Absorbine. And these after-dinner candies. We've all enjoyed these treats at restaurants, hotels, and airlines everywhere. Now you can enjoy them at home anytime. In a taste test of high-fiber cereals, the uniquely light and crispy taste of Fiber One was preferred over these other leading brands. Fiber One, the one that tastes better. This year only, there's the 40th Anniversary Collector's Edition Yahtzee with gold embossed dice tray and marbleized dice and chips. A special commemorative Yahtzee. Next, on Superstation WTBS, enjoy Starcade. Then, stay tuned for Leave it to Beaver. That's followed by the homespun humor of The Andy Griffith Show, all today on Superstation WTBS. This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show, starring your favorite video games some brand new ones being introduced to the public for the first time anywhere. And now, here's your host for Starcade, Jeff Edwards. Uh, thank you very much. Welcome to Starcade. We're backstage. Our players are warming up for today's big match and warm up they should because one of these teams is going to have a chance to win their very own video arcade game. So players, you ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's go play Starcade. Here we go. Here we are. Nice studio audience. Hello to you at home. Excuse me. These are the teams that are going to do it here on Starcade. Let's meet him right now. Your name is? Damon Clausen. Damon, how are you doing? Fine. Good. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm 13. I go to John Murray Junior High School in Burbank, California, mm -hmm. and I love video games. All right. Who's this next to you? This is my mom. <laughs> Did you decide to figure that out, huh? Your name, please? Hi, I'm Vicki Clausen, and... Um, I love being here. I want to just encourage all the parents that are watching to try out for the show. We are treated royally. I got my hair done, makeup, and I enjoy playing video games, and I'm hoping to have a good time today, too. Gosh, Vicki, I should try out for the show. I haven't had my hair done or makeup. <laughs> you are? Brenda Barton. Brenda, how you doing? Very good, thank you. Good. Tell me a little bit about you. I am from Coquille, Oregon, and I have two sons, and this one already brought me down here to be on the show. Okay, you are? I'm Arnie Hill, and I'm from Coke Hill, Oregon, and I'm a sophomore in high school, and I love video games. What's your favorite game, Arnie? Star Wars. Star Wars, yeah, it is a good game. Well, as you know, our contestants are matched up based on their ability in playing today's games, and one of you teams is going to have a chance to win this fabulous video arcade game today. It is Mr. Do. All right. So if you teams will shake hands, please. And then head over to your podiums, and as you head over to the podiums, Kevin will tell us about the five games in store for us today. Kev? Jeff, we've got five pretty challenging games today for our contestants. First, it's Donkey Kong 3, Bug Spray and Coconuts with the Beast. Next, it's Star Wars, The Red Five and Obi. In the middle today, Motor Race USA, a low-riding biker coast-to-coast. 
Juno first, Far Out and Blaston, and Elevator Action, a game with its ups and downs. Jeff? Okay, those are today's five games. We already know that Arnie's happy to see Star Wars up there. Of course, uh, all your teams had a, both your teams had a chance to play them before today's show. One of them, as you know, is a mystery game. If you pick it in the first three games, you automatically win a prize. And Kevin, right now, will tell the people at home what the mystery game is. Kev? The mystery game is Juno first. There we go. Now, I have a question for you, Damon and Vicky, and Arnie and Brenda, first team to buzz in, gets to answer the question, answer correctly, you'll pick the first game. Here we go. In Galaga, how can the player's ship move? A, across the bottom only, or B, across the bottom and sides? Now, uh, Arnie and Brenda. Across the bottom and sides. No, it's across the bottom only in Galaga, just, just that way. So that means that Damon and Vicky get to pick the first game. Hey. What are we going to play? Donkey Kong 3. Donkey Kong 3. Okay, we will ask our Donkey Kong 1 to tell us about that, Kev. Donkey Kong is back, and he's bopping you with coconuts and stinging you with bees. He's mean, and getting you is not enough. He wants your flowers, too. Spray those bugs, and make Donkey Kong let go of the super spray so you can spray even higher. Beating the beast is going to be a real shot to the old ego, but getting beat is a stinging experience in Donkey Kong 3. All right, it's Donkey Kong 3, and uh, Damon, you're playing it? Yeah. All right, Damon, I'll give you, tell you a little bit about Donkey Kong 3, and Arnie and Brenda, you might want to listen to. You spray Donkey Kong up. The first thing you want to do is get him up to the super sprayer. Once you get the super sprayer, it'll drop down, you have to go back down for it, but then you can spray further and you can get the creepies, okay? Okay. In the second screen, you'll see some bees, uh, at least they look like bees to me. Freeze them over on the side. You can't kill them, but you can freeze them. If you freeze them in the center, you won't be able to spray Donkey Kong up. Okay. All right, all right, did you get all that, Vicky? No, but that's all right, he's playing it. Okay, <laughs> you stand over here, cheer him on. Get ready, get set, play. Oh, spray him up. Great. Come on, super spray. Got it. Plenty of time. And we're going to the next screen. About 30 seconds left. All right, good. Get him, get him up there. And 800 points. What happened at the end, Dave, was you got those guys frozen in the middle, so you have to let them get out of the way. All right, head on back. Vicky, you go with them. It's a good score. 12,800 points. Here comes Arnie and Brenda. And it looks like Arnie's going to play this game. You all set, Arnie? Yeah. All right, how do you think he did? He did pretty good. I thought he did well, too. You have a score to shoot at here, and you cheer him on, Brenda, if you will. Yes. Here we go, Arnie. You have 50 seconds. Get ready. Get set. Play. <laughs> Fifteen seconds. Oh, time's moving. All right, 12,600. Looks like we have a close game here. Hang on just a second. We'll be back in a moment and find out who gets to choose the next game here on Star K. Don't go away. Sunny, now you won't. Go, go, go. I won't. For my favorite cereal, delicious munchy, crunchy, chocolatey Cocoa Puffs. They're part of this good, nutritious breakfast. Oh, Sunny. I want Cocoa Puffs. -co How about some Puff Puff Cocoa Puffs? I want Chocolate tasting Cocoa Puffs. Oh. Munchy, crunchy, chocolatey. Cocoa. Cocoa Puffs. Yahoo! I put 
overcome my boss. I'm under their spell. Yum, 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 yum. Drop that bubble yum. The lamp is talking to us, Conrad Papa. You fool, it is I, the famous detective yum finder, and I've caught you stealing the world's supply of bubble yum, bubble gum. <laughs> it is the big taste everyone is after. And bubble yum makes big bubbles. Mm, you have good taste in gum, but you're not bright enough to get away with it. You're not so bright yourself, yum finder. <laughs> <laughs> bubble yum, the big taste everyone's after. Should your name be on this envelope? It should, if you or someone you love is age 50 to 80, and it will be addressed to you if you call now for this important information. Free information about a life insurance policy designed especially for men and women age 50 to 80. Life insurance with no physical examination and no medical questions. You cannot be turned down regardless of your health or for any reason. And your premium will be $6.95 a month and will never increase. Colonial Penn Life Insurance Company wants to send you the important information in this envelope, and it's free. So if you are age 50 to 80 and thought it would be difficult to buy life insurance, shouldn't you call now? Here's the number. This offer ends soon, so call now. 800-257-1234. This is a free call. 800-257-1234. Today's grand prize on Starcade is the video arcade game, Mr. Do. That's what they call him, and he does a lot of cherry gathering and digging and monster bashing. Why? Because he's Mr. Do, furnished by Universal USA. Now back to Starcade. here's Jeff Edwards. All right, that'd be something nice to take home. Let's see how we're doing. Uh, Damon and Vicky, I think it's pretty close. You have 12,800. Arnie and Brenda, you have 12,600. Very, very close. Now, of course, there's still one more game to be played in this round, and then the total points scored on both games will be added together, and we'll see who gets to play the name of the game board. So if you're ready, I have another question for you. Hands on buzzers. In Amadar, <laughs> how many pigs are chasing the paint roller? A, four, or B, five? Uh, Damon and Vicky. Four. Uh, I forgot. Yes, five is right. Five is right. I'm sorry. It's five, right. and that means Arnie and Brenda. You get a chance to pick the game. What are you going to pick, Arnie? Elevator action. I would have sworn you would have picked Star Wars, because that was your favorite. But elevator action it is, and Kevin will tell us about elevator action. It's elevator action. Your Agent 17, codename Otto, master spy extraordinaire. Your mission? To penetrate security, locate all secret documents, and make your escape to a waiting getaway car. Make your way through the building using the elevators or the stairs. Find secret documents behind red doors. Avoid or immobilize the enemy agents, or if you must, Eliminate them. We must have all secret documents. It's up to you now, Agent 17, in elevator action. Well, now, I see, uh, by the way, we're, we're standing, that, uh, Brenda, you're playing it, right? I get to play. All right, now, Arnie, you, Star Wars is one of your favorite games. Why did you pick elevator action? Well, she can play that one. Uh -huh. And hopefully I'll get to play Star Wars later. Right, trying to get Mom out of the way to, before you get to the important stuff, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, uh, Brenda, an uh, elevator action, and you might want to listen to uh, Vicky and Damon. Some, everybody plays it differently. I think in a short period of time that you have, you should try to get down the 18th and 19th floor to a red door. It's 500 points if you go in the red door. Uh, shoot everybody you can on the way down there. Then once you're down there, kind of hang out down there and shoot everybody who comes your way. Shoot them, it's 100 points. Kick them, it's 150 points. If you knock out a light, then you get uh, more points for shooting and kicking. Do you have any idea what I'm talking about? No. Okay, good luck to you in elevator action. Try not to lose control of the elevator. You have <laughs> 50 seconds. You're ready? Get set, play. Okay, Brenda, here you go. About 20 seconds, you'll have some more points here. Gotta get down the escalator. Get out behind you. Look out! Oh, that 
wipes you out there, Brenda. When you get on that little square, you got to press down to get down the escalator. Head on back. Not a bad score, though, for you. 650. Come on down, Vicky and Damon. Ah, uh, I see, Vicky, that uh, you're going to play it, huh? Oh, yes, I really don't want to, but I'm stuck with it. Is that what you decided, Damon? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you cheer Vicky on. Right over here, Damon. Okay, Vicky, get ready. Coach me. Get set. Play. points let's head on back we had a pretty close score before let's see where we are the arnie and brenda beat him at elevator action where there was enough to beat him for the uh, name the game board i don't know you both had a chance to play donkey kong 3 and elevator action let's see which team is going to play the name the game board damon and vicky you have thirteen thousand five hundred right. arnie and brenda you have thirteen thousand two hundred and fifty oh, so oh, close but it's it. damon and vicky come on down here here we go we stand right there with your backs towards the board, please. All right, behind you is the Name the Game board. We're going to show you four video games. If you name the games correctly, we have a terrific prize for you. And guess who's going to tell you that? Kevin. Right. You're right. And if you get three out of four right on this, you'll win Activision's hottest new titles for a variety of home computers. River Raid, Pitfall, the Decathlon, Space Shuttle, and Enduro, a home entertainment package from Activision. And Damon and Vicky, if you get all four correct, you'll battle your favorite video games in the Bionic Chair. Portable and lightweight, the chair rocks, rotates, and allows back support and total freedom of movement. A futuristic way to play the Bionic Chair. And a beautiful jeweled pendant from the Miss USA collection at Gordon's Jewelers, with over 400 stores from coast to coast, furnished by Gordon's Jewelers. Okay, who's going to go first? You'll go first, Damon, then Vicky, then Damon, then Vicky. All right, turn around, please. Take a look at the board. Uh, Damon, in the upper left-hand corner, is that Cosmic Chasm or Crystal Castle? Crystal Castle. Right you are. That's one. Vicky, your turn. Is that Mission X or Zor? Zor. Zor is right. Good for you. In the middle, Ms. Pac-Man or Deluxe Pac-Man? Ms. Pac-Man. Right. Ms. Pac-Man it is. And finally, number four, is this Dig Dug or Mr. Do? Uh, Dig Dug. Right. You guys got all four. Congratulations to you. Well, you guessed right. You're playing really well. Stick around. We have a really close match. Only 250 points separate the teams. Let's see who's going to do it. Wake up, campers. Time for breakfast. Got it, Mom. You can't have cookies for breakfast. But you can have cookie crisps. You can have that crunchy cookie taste with lots of chocolatey chips. Hey, it looks like little chocolate chip cookies. But it's a cereal, Ma. And part of a complete breakfast, so just remember this. Though you can't have cookies for breakfast. But you can have cookie crisp. Cookie crisp cereal. You can have cookie crisp. Look carefully at this ring. It's the fabulous triple-tiered dinner ring from the Patricia Townsend Collection. This ring is hand-set with nine ruby-red faceted crystals, plus 17 genuine diamels. As part of a special offer over this TV station, you can own this beautiful triple-tiered dinner ring at a special TV price. Not the $200 or $300 you might expect, but only $29.95. But wait, there's more. If you order promptly, you'll also get this beautiful double rope band ring at no extra cost. It's hand-set with a brilliant cluster of 30-faceted diamels. Yes, you get both the triple-tier dinner ring and double rope band ring for only $29.95. And here's another incredible surprise. If you order within 24 hours, you'll also get this Scandinavian snowball ring free of charge. 
It's set with a pair of exquisite faux pearls and matched with two sparkling diamonds. And it's layered entirely in genuine 14 karat gold. And the Scandinavian snowball ring is yours to keep free, even if you later decide to return the rest of the ring collection for a refund. So phone this toll-free number now. To order, phone toll-free, 1-800-257-1234. In New Jersey, call 800-232-6966. To avoid COD charge, send check or money order for $29.95 to the Patricia Townsend Collection, Box 7500, Atlanta, Georgia, 30357. Call now. Here's the latest video game news from the Starcade Hotline. From Greenwood, Mississippi, the first graders of Pillow Academy have turned their Starcade fever into a special project. Each year, all the first grade classes put on a big production for the school and parents. This year, they've chosen to make it a production of Starcade. They're casting the parts of yours truly, announcer Kevin McMahon, and that other guy, uh, uh, Jeff Edwards, selecting contestants, painting the sets, getting dads and computers involved for the game sound, and in addition to playing the games, they'll perform the games, donning costumes to race the maze or run the mushroom forest. And to make the show complete, they'll sing and dance the commercials. It sounds like fun, especially the research they have to do. But the first graders of Pillow Academy are not going to let that stop them. They're real Starcaders. Time now for more of our Starcade. Here's Jeff Edwards. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks, Kevin. Well, we have a very close match. Only 250 points separate these teams. There's only one game left now, only 40 seconds to play it. After that, we total up the scores of all the games, and the top scorer is going to get a chance to take home Mr. Dew. So this question becomes extremely important. Hands on buzzers. What color is Mario's shirt in Mario Brothers? A, blue, or B, red? Arnie and Brenda. Red. Red is right. You got that. Okay, what are you going to play? Star Wars. I figured you would. Star Wars is a game we're going to play. By the way, the mystery game was Juno first, and uh, nobody got that, so we'll put that prize away for the day. But we will play Star Wars, and Kevin will tell us about that. Darth Vader, in command of the Empire's Death Star, is approaching the Rebel planet. All is in confusion, and Princess Leia has called you forward. You must join the Rebellion to repel the attack, or all is lost. You cannot waver now. With you at the lead of Princess Leia's Rebel Force, the galaxy may survive. Use your shield. It will survive multiple hits before it leaves you. Then, trust in the presence of Obi-Wan Kenobi. And remember, the Force will be with you, always. Sure, I trusted Obi-Wan Kenobi. I keep dying. I don't trust him anymore at all. Arnie. Uh, you have 40 seconds for Star Wars. You can choose any level you want. And uh, you want to listen to this too, uh, Damon and Vicky. The lower the level, the less fighters will come at you. The higher the level, the faster they're m and more faster and more fighters will come at you, but the harder they are to shoot. So uh, you can pick whatever you want. Where do you think you're going to go, or haven't you decided yet? I'm going to go to the third level. Going to the toughest level. All right. I remind uh, both teams that you have 10 shields, and in 40 seconds, you don't have to be that concerned about saving your shields, okay? Right. All right. Get ready. Get set, play. Let's try it then, boy. Six hundred and ninety-five. Nice going, Arnie. Congratulations to you. Head on back, Brenda, and down come Damon and Vicky. Now, Damon, you're going to play this, right? Yes. All right, even though he said he was going to go for level three, he went for the medium level. I'll just give you that information. Are you ready to go? <laughs> yeah. All right, Vicky, you stand there. Get ready, Damon. You need some points. Get ready. Get set. Play. Good try, then, guys. <laughs>
1,198. Damon, I think you might have done it. You and Vicky go back. We'll find out in a minute. All right, we're going to check the scores now, and whoever has the highest score is going to have a chance of their own Mr. Do. Damon and Vicky, you have 34,698. Arnie and Brenda have 25,945. Damon and Vicky are the winners. Congratulations to you. Arnie and Brenda, you played uh, very nice. Well, I'll shake everybody's hand with right. one shot there. You played very nicely. Nice to have had you here on uh, Starcade. And we have some nice gifts for you. Thanks for being with us. Thank you very and much. And we'll move on now to Damon and Vicky, who are our champions. Boy, you play that Star Wars great. <laughs> Let's you. find out what you want for being the champions of the day. You've won the Spectra Video SV328, a complete computer system for home and business, featuring 112K of memory, a disk drive, and an expansion box, Spectra Video. All right. And in just a moment, you're going to have a chance for your own video arcade game. Stay around. We'll see if you can do it. Get your sea shine up. Grab a stick of juicy fruit. The taste is going to move you. Move it up. Move it out. The taste is going to move you when you pop it in your mouth. It's gonna move ya It's got a taste that gets right to ya Juicy fruit, the taste is gonna, gonna, gonna move ya Just a kiss of golden honey on those little golden grams A kiss of golden honey makes you smile and wanna say It tastes like honey graham crackers crispy crunchy all the way Oh yeah, it's gonna be a golden graham stay Tastes like crisp little honey graham crackers Made to stay crispy and crunchy in milk Part of this good, nutritious breakfast. Just a kiss of golden honey makes you smile and want to say, Oh yeah, it's gonna be a golden graham stay. Ooh, it's a stomper semi. Yeah, it's got two wheel drive. Make way. Stomper Road King semis are coming through with working headlights and running lights and trailers you can hitch on for the fun of it. Large treaded tires, too. Plus heavy haulers for really big jobs. Make them stompers Each semi and heavy hauler comes with two Duracell batteries. Stomper Road King semis and heavy haulers. Get one. Somehow, things just happen. I'm sorry, Beef. When you leave it to Beaver. Oh, that's okay. It's only the first haircut. Sunday mornings at 9.05. Just turn it off, Dad. There's nothing new on TV. Banana oil. Of course there's something new on. Down to Earth premieres on Saturday, March 10th at 7.35 p.m. on Superstation WTVS. Is it good? Oh, it's heavenly. Down to Earth premieres on TBS March 10th. And welcome back to Starcade. All right, Damon and Vicky now has a chance to win your own video arcade game. Mr. Dew's waiting for you. There's still two games left unplayed, Juno First and Motor Race USA. During the commercial, we told you if you pick Juno First, you'd have to score at least 4,500 points. If you pick Motor Race USA, you'd have to score at least 6,100 points. Those are the average scores of more than 20 other players who play these same games. And Damon, you decided, huh? Yeah, I'm going to pick Juno first. Juno first. That means if you score 4,500 points or more in 30 seconds, you're going to take home Mr. Do. So we'll let Kevin tell us about Juno first, and we'll go over and get ready to play the game. Space, the final frontier, a battlefield of man against alien. Everything is your enemy, even time. Destroy all aliens before time runs out and a bonus is yours. But fail to do so and they change into even more powerful UFOs. Use your laser beam on the enemy space capsules and then capture escaping astronauts. It's the first day of a new era and perhaps it's last. It's up to you in Juno 1st. All right, Damon, let me tell you about Juno first. Your joystick speeds up the action that way, slows it down. You can even go backwards if you pull it back, right? Yeah. You have a warp button. If you get in trouble, press that and just get right out of trouble. If you capture an enemy astronaut, you ought to do it, okay? Okay. All right, good luck for you, to you. <laughs> We're all rooting for you. 4,500 points is what you need in 30 seconds to take home Mr. Do. Get ready. Get set. Play. <laughs> Can you get him? Oh no! You're 
Dusty, not enough. If you'd gotten that astronaut, I think we would have had it. Well, Damon, congratulations anyway for being our champion. Thank Vicky, you. congratulations to you. You were part of the team. And we'll see you in the next Starcade. This is Jeff Beckers. Till then, I hope all your troubles get zapped. Bye-bye. This is Kevin McMahon speaking. Starcade is a JM production. Coming up. These people, dressed as they are, come from all over the United States to make deals here in the marketplace of America. Let's make a deal. And now, here's America's top trader, TV's big dealer, Monty Hall. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. And welcome to Let's Make a Deal, the marketplace of America. A delightful looking group of people here. Huh? What, what? They, look, listen to this. I'm going to make a deal over here and there's somebody in the audience back in the boondock saying, I can't wait, pick somebody. You just want me to get on with it, right? Oh, yeah, All right, I'm going to get on with it. You, stand up. I don't... Well, the fact that I didn't go to your friend, I got on with it, didn't I? Who did I get on with it over here? Sharon, Sharon Muth? Yes. Right. George Muth? Yes. Right, any more Muths here? Oh, no, no here. the only two Muths here? Audie, let's horse around for a big deal, eh? Oh. <laughs> I see that's your hobby. Uh, with a little hobby horse. All right. <laughs> George and Sharon Booth. I have in my pocket very little ordinary run-of-the-mill check that you might be able to win in the next few seconds. It's only $7,000. What mill was it running around? <laughs> but it's seven grand. Take a look at our board right down the floor and right where Carol Murray is standing, it says $7,000. And I'm going to try and you, have you light up that special light board. And if you can light it up to $7,000, that's what you will get in money. You will have to correctly price several items. And every time you do, we'll put up a number on the board. The first one will light up a seven. The next one will light up a zero. The next lights up another zero. And the next one lights up another zero. And then you have $7,000. But each time you make a move, you risk the previous amount. Okay? Okay. This should be easy for you. Who's going to do the pricing in this deal? <laughs> okay, says proud George. And here is Jay Stewart, and he will describe the first item. You always think of the retail selling price on the West Coast. Okay. Okay, a 12-ounce bottle of Orange Crush. Don't ask for orange, ask for crush. For over 50 years, there's been only one Orange Crush. And there it is. There it is, the only one. Price this for me within a dime. Oh, is this going to be tough? Oh, boy. Ooh, 15 cents. Well, I should think that you did that pretty well, because it sells for 15 cents. Yeah. And we take a look at the board, and the board lights up. And it reads seven. You're on your way. You risk seven to go for 70. Of course, you'll do that. Then we go with item number two. Well, of course, it's a box of rice -roni, the one you saute in simmer to flavor perfection. It's the San Francisco treat. Yeah, and they like it in other places, too, I'll tell you. you. Better believe it. Give me a price within a quarter, and I'll add a zero. Uh, no help from anybody? 35 cents. 35 cents. Is that within 25? Take a look at this. It's within four, and you light up a zero. Your earnings are now up to $70. You risk 70 by going for 700. Will you do that? Oh, I will. I will, I will. Oh, I will. I will. Item number three. How about a two-pound package of Chuck Wagon? It's got the taste dogs go for. Do something special for your dog. Surprise him with Chuck Wagon. Now, you think about it, and please don't call it any prices, because I want you to price this within 30 cents, high or low, and then we'll add another zero. Uh, let's see, two pounds. Let's see, two pounds. Uh... 69 cents. 69 cents? Are you within 30 cents? The price is? Within 20 cents. You're close enough. And we add another zero on the board and take a look at this, Mrs. Muth. Sharon Muth, George Muth, and their good friend and father, Ver Muth, right? <laughs> right? Sharon and George, take a look at the board. How much does it read? Do you want to risk $700 now with the possibility of adding another zero and making it $7,000? In which case, we will ask you to price this last item that comes down the road. Oh. Would you like to hear a description first before yeah. you make up your mind? Yeah. Yeah. Jay? Okay. This is the new Schick Flexomatic for the closest electric shave. Shaves closer and more comfortably because the extra thin flexible head from Schick. Okay. Do you want to risk $700 and go for $7,000? 
If you want to, you will have to come within $3 high or low of the actual manufacturer's suggested retail selling price on the West Coast of the United States of America. I'll, I'll, I'll go. You're going to go? Yeah. You're risking 700 bucks? Yeah. Give me that price right now. Don't even talk to George, because he's just no, standing there no. shaking his head. George is taking a look at $700 going. It's a man's rate. Um, Manufacturer's uh, suggested retail price. $22.95. $22.95. Met with groans all through the studio. All right. But maybe it's right. You don't know. Now, here's where we... Uh, are going to make this deal a little interesting. Okay. <laughs> May, if you're right, you've got $7,000. Mm -hmm. If you're wrong, you've got nothing. And it didn't sound good, did it? <laughs> <laughs> well, may, my, maybe not to a few of them, but there, you never know. But a lot of people kept quiet. I don't think George now, if, <laughs> if you would like to trade away your whole deal right now, uh -huh. I'll double the amount of money that you have, 700 up to $1,400. <laughs> Or you can trade for a curtain where Carol is standing. So, the price... Okay. Listen, hold it, hold it, hold, hold it. Hold, hold it, folks. Go all the way. If you're right, $7,000. Or sell out the deal right now for double $700, $1,400 in cash. Or go for an unknown behind the curtain. The curtain. Yeah, the curtain. Okay, 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 okay. We'll take the money. Take the money. George wins. George wins. Didn't contribute one thing to the pricing, but when the chips are down, George says, Herner, 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 Herner. <laughs> Incidentally, if you were within $3, you could have had 7000 bucks, but you missed it by a mile. It was $34.95, so it's a good thing you didn't go all the way, right? But you did take $1,400, which uh -huh. I shall be very pleased to hand over to you right now if you'll hold out your hand. Not you, George. Not you, George. $500. One thousand. You like those five hundred dollars? Uh -huh, uh -huh. And one, two, three, four singles. Now, incidentally, incidentally, George had his way. George had his way. He said, "Take the money, Sharon. You wanted the curtain. Had you got it for the curtain, take a look at what you could have had." George had his way. And Sharon. <laughs> you know what you just missed? The Apollo by Buick. The new model that fits the description of a compact car in size and price, but still maintains the Buick image of quality, class, and luxury. Apollo by Buick retails for $3,600, and we would have added air conditioning, tax, and license, and the total price was $4,222.50. But $1,400 is not a bad consolation prize, so thank you, Sharon and George Moose, for making that deal. Well, in that deal, Sharon let George do it. In our next deal, we're going to see if George is going to let Sharon do it, or names similar to that, because a man will have a chance to be chivalrous. We're laying odds that a different game show every week. Never have you been so lucky. <laughs> will hit the jackpot. Meet us on the Buzzer Casino floor tonight at 10. Buzzer Casino. Feeling lucky? Oh, you bet. Your name George? No. Oh, too bad. Remember I said I was going to let George do it, but are you... When? Are you married, sir? Yes, I am. Would your wife consider you a man of chivalry? Oh, very definitely. No sure question would. about that. No question about it. What does this say over here? Ten, us, any, one. Ten, us, any, one. Bad. <laughs> this is Glenn Johnson. I don't have George, but I got Glenn. Listen, I'll tell you what I have in my... Oh. Here's the money, forget the deal. <laughs> Tennis, anyone? Yeah, I, I can see how the, the last guy got it over his head, no doubt. Uh, I tell you what, uh, Glenn, you don't have to stand. You just have to sit okay. there like a, <laughs> like a nice guy. And what we're, why I say that we're going to practice chivalry right now is that I'm going to offer some deals in which you're involved, but in each case, I'll get a lady, and then she'll have first choice, and you just get the remainder, okay? What's left over? You mind that? No, oh, that's okay. Very good, Glenn, very good. How about this lady right over here? <laughs> she doesn't need a parachute. She just floats through space there. All right, I'll tell you what, I'll jump for it. You just jumped Margie Higgins. Is it Margie Higgins? Yes. Is it Margie? Yes. Da -da -dum, da -da 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 -dum. I'll tell you what I'm going to do with you. I'm going to give you a chance right now to have $300 in cash. Oh. Or what is behind the curtain? The curtain, the curtain. 
Then, then it would be all right with you if I gave the three hundred dollars back to uh, Glenn, isn't it? Yes. yes, Glenn Johnson. There you are, Glenn. She took the curtain. Thank you get the three hundred. And what do we have behind the curtain for this young lady who jumps with joy? She gets a new dishwasher and some lovely footwear. Sears Lady Kenmore dishwasher with eight different cycles, including Santa Wash, an extra hot 150 50, 55 degrees. Final rinse to make your dishes hygienically clean. Lady Kenmore, the freedom maker. It retails for $319.95. Then something to wash. Miro's handsomely styled eight-piece Manhattan 2 cookware set. And the electric bake and serve, bearing the Teflon 2 quality seal. Teflon coated interior for people who have to eat and run. The set retails for $34.95. And while the dishes are washing themselves, you can enjoy this elegant console stereo. Saladine <laughs> Patrick Bell's on 98 audio console. With solid-state tuner amplifier, Gerard Mark 8 automatic turntable, 8-track tape cartridge player, and 4-channel sound, it retails for $699.95. So the total value of the deal is $1,054.85. Sorry, folks, but one has to look after one's self-preservation first. I'm just holding Margie right down there. There's a good girl. How's your 300? Should I do it again? Do it again. Rosie, are you ready? I cut your name. <laughs> Somebody says to me, how do you know all those people? I said, I'm brilliant. I can read their names right off the sign. Rosie Carter, another one of those football helmets, a helmet over there. If I escape from this show without bruises, there's a good girl, she put it down. I'll tackle you for the, no. She was jumping, you're tackling. Just let us be calm. Okay, Rosie? All righty. Good. All right. Well, 71, that's the tackle's number. You know, the 60s of the guards, the 70s of the tackles. She had the right sign. Um, $400 in cash or what is behind that box that Carol is showing us? Whatever she turns down goes to you. Rosie, you're taking a long time. Rosie, box, here you are. 400 smackers to Glenn, and what's behind the box for Rosie? And Rosie has herself a great... Campbell's traditional console in Walnut, built to look and sound like a grand, with full perimeter harp to give service for a lifetime of musical pleasure. Retails for $1,205. There you are. Congratulations, Rosie. You make yourself a very good deal, my dear. Okay. Now, Glenn, now you can stand up. And I'll stand up with him. All right, now we can look eye to eye, Glenn. Almost, my golly. You got to be about six, four and a half. Six, six. Six, six. Six, six. All right. How much money have you got there, Glenn? 700 bucks. Pretty good, right? Fantastic. Good. Like to spend it? Yes, sir. Shall I show you what I'm offering for 700? Anytime. Let's do it. That curtain where Carol Merrill is standing. Oh. All of a sudden, <laughs> you know, it's all of a sudden he changed his mind. Not so sure. Well, I wasn't going to show you exactly what was for sale. Just the contents. What's behind that curtain? You got $700. That's the choice. That's the choice. That's a lot of money there. I'll take the curtain, Marty. Okay, Glenn. As a matter of fact, I think you're going to be pleased because you're the right height for this that we have back there. It is the world's largest high chair. <laughs> and the world's biggest baby there, too. Daddy, he's yelling at you. Daddy! <laughs> yeah. Glenn Johnson is your new daddy, Jay. He's all yours. And Glenn J is all yours. Thank you for making that deal with me. I love the way Jay looked at him and said, Daddy. <laughs> hey, the next deal's in the bag. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. You want me to go? Buzz till dawn. When you're up again, one too many times. Could we do it here on the stage? <laughs> Wait a minute. Only on Buzzer. No, no, not before the deal, after the deal. Here comes Jay with some luggage. That's why I said the deal is in the bag. Let's leave town. And you, my dear, are going to have a choice right now, Ruth Driver. Right. Is that why you've got the, uh, yeah, the driving yeah, costume? Sure, right. Sure. Didn't they used to call these dusters in the old days? Dusters, right. right. Well, Ruth Driver, we have uh, a couple of pieces of luggage. And after Jay describes them, I'll give you your choice. You can have either piece, and the other one will go to the fireman down there, okay? All right, Jay. 
Actually, these are from American Tourister. They're fiberglass reinforced, non-spring locks, foam rubber padded handles, strong and lightweight from American Tourister. The Weekender, this one sells for $40, and the one down there, the Pullman case, sells for $50. Which one do you want, dear? Oh, I'll take the one for $40. you are going to take the $40 one, and the $50 one will go down to you, and I'll be with you in just a moment, young lady. All right, is that ba Barbie? Barbie. Barbie, all right. Barbie oh. Dalio, I'll be Dalio. Did I read that right? All right, now, Ruth Driver, you're first. You have the Weekender case, and... Um, not too heavy, is it? Gee, I wonder what could be inside there, because there is something inside there. Is there is something inside? There is something inside. Right, I'll tell you what I'll do. You can trade the bag and whatever is inside there for what is in the box on our display floor, and uh, I can see that it has waffles, Jay. Yes, that box represents $50 worth of Downy Flake frozen toaster ready waffles, the perfect breakfast for any size family. Quick, easy, and delicious, tastefully yours from Downy Flake. Yes, now what would you like, the waffles and what's behind it, or the bag and what's inside? Oh. Oh. Gee whiz, I don't know. Um... I'll take the bag. She takes this. What was behind the waffles back over there? What went with waffles? She could have had fresh eggs. You could have had fresh eggs for your waffles. Those hens are guaranteed to lay an egg a day. And if they break the guarantee, they're fried chicken to type. And we have a vacancy there in case somebody wanted to show up. And I talk about fresh eggs while we're standing talking. One of those hens laid an egg. How do you like that? Okay. Hey, that's what, I, that's what I call service right on the show. Monty's Hen House. How do you like the title of that? I just noticed that. That'll go over very big with my wife, I can tell you that. And inside here, we have for you $600 in Right there, 600 smackers. They're all inside. So seal it quickly, Jay. There's 500 and 100 ones for $600 and $40 for the case. So you drove a good bargain, didn't you, Mrs. Driver? You didn't like that driving good bargain? Now this is Barbie doll. Barbie, Barbie Daleo. Oh, I love that. Barbie, let's lift this up and see. Uh, well, you shook it and... Uh, you know, I got a deal for you that'll really surprise you. Do you know that I'm willing to buy that Pullman case back from you for $1,000 in cash? You can have what's behind the curtain that Carol is showing us right now. You can keep that case and whatever is inside, or you can sell it to me for $1,000, or you can go for what's behind the curtain. That's a lot of decision to make, isn't you know that? I'm going to take the money. You're going to take the money. Now, here you are. You take this nice... Oh, did you change it? You didn't touch it yet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She said she hasn't touched it yet. You mean she can change your mind? Yes, you can change your mind. I'll give you five seconds to change your mind. Okay, so you don't want the thousand dollars. All right, you could have had a thousand bucks. Jay, open that up and show her that had she gone for the Pullman case, you would have received a beautiful new Buick Apollo from the first deal valued at four thousand two hundred and twenty-two dollars and change. Yes, there was a car. You never expected to find a car in a suitcase, did you? When you watch Let's Make a Deal, be prepared for anything, anywhere, any place at any time. And there was a car, and it wasn't that big either. It was the real biggie from the first deal. And you also turned down $1,000. I did, yeah. Do you think you made yourself a wise deal now? No, I don't. Are you expecting... I know what's coming now. You know what's coming now, right? Well, you're wrong, because take a look at what we have, a brand new travel trailer. As you can see, <laughs> now, <laughs> now we have a very happy young lady. There's a 15-foot Travel Mate trailer by Travel Equipment Corporation. Fits under the customary 7-foot overhead garage door for indoor storage. The Travel Mate features a complete galley and sleep six. And that retails for $2,080. So, Barbie doll, it came out well after all. Thank you very much for making that deal. Congratulations. And congratulations to you. Hey, we've been having some exciting deals here. And the big one is coming up, and it's worth $8,775. And I'm going to go back and see if two of the ones that I made deals with want to go one more time for 8775 possibly. Now, Barbie has a trailer worth $2,080. You're going to trade it away? You're going to trade it away. All right, Barbie. The Mooths have $1,400 in cash. Yes. Did George say it was all right this time? He doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. All right. She's making all the decisions, and we'll be back in just a moment to see what happens when $2,000 and $1,400 are traded with a possible $8,700 at stake.
Up next, Monty, Jay, and Carol are throwing a party. Let's hope no zonks are invited on Let's Make a Deal. Then the party continues with tattletales. Stay tuned. Now the big deal. Worth $8,775. Behind door number one, possibly door number two, and uh, we have something back there. It's clothing for the family. A $100 wardrobe of Levi's, makers of jeans, new panatella slacks, and gentlemen's cut slacks for men who want the Levi's look with a fuller cut. And for the kids, a $108 collection of Mother Goose shoes, the latest in styles of shoes and boots for boys and girls with leather uppers and man-made soles. So far, this deal is worth $208. Yes, $208, but there's something behind the Levi's, too. And we also have door number three, and I believe that I went to the $2,000 lady first, and then the $1,400 lady. And uh, for $2,000, what door do you want, dear? I want door number one. That's the one you're going to get. And what do you want for your $1,400? Two. That's the one you're going to get. And nobody took three, so we'll open up door number three, and we'll take a look to see how big supply of paint. $150 worth of new DuPont interior enamel for easy care. Loose sight from DuPont for painted surfaces you want to keep clean. Use some of that paint in your kitchen along with these brand new freezer and a compactor. Yes, first of all, from Gibson, we had one of the white consolidated industries. A 15 cubic foot food freezer featuring slide-out basket and Gibson's exclusive frost clear system. It retails for $377.95. And the Insincorator Trash Compactor condenses a week's trash of a neat little carry-out bag. The Insincorator, one of the world's largest producers of garbage disposers. It sells for $259.50. And then, something for family entertainment. Here was a big new entertainment center. A contemporary home entertainment center from Sylvania. Featuring large screen color TV and a high-fidelity stereo photograph. Worth $750. Total value was $1,537.45. And you took door number, Two. and you took door number, and you spent... Uh, a uh, trailer. $2,000. Look what you have behind door number one for $2,000. You have wood care products. Yes, $25 worth of Scotch Liquid Gold. The product for wood care. It cleans, preserves, and hides scratches and fine wood paneling, floors, and furniture. That's great for inside the house. Something is great for outdoors. Look at your brand new car. Century two-door hardtop, every inch solid Buick with Acura Drive, patterned after the big Buick. Some of the best ideas now in Century's new size. With tax and license, that sells for four thousand four hundred and two dollars and twenty-two cents. Total value of your deal: four thousand four hundred twenty-seven dollars and twenty-two cents. There you are, my dear. Congratulations to you and your husband who's babysitting is in for some shock, isn't he? There you are. Sit down, darling. If you can make it back, she can't believe it. She just can't believe it. And by golly, that wasn't even the big deal. No. Because those slacks come in handy for you, sir. Yes, they do. And for the whole family. But you'll be needing all those pants pockets because look what else goes with the deal. With the deal, something to put in those pockets. Cash. $8,000. who lost it all before, came back to win more than anything. The big deal was $8,775. Congratulations, Sharon. Congratulations, George. And if you don't believe it, here is the check, and it's in, oh, just one wrong thing. It's got my signature. <laughs> but I'll, we'll pay off on that, believe me. Congratulations to the Moots. I don't know what you're gonna do with the money, but I know what you're gonna do with the pants, right? And with the money, take it easy, right? Good for you, and congratulations to all our winners on Let's Make a Deal Today. If, the, if you've got false eyelashes, I'll give you $200. Oh, they're your own eyelashes. If, if you're wearing a wig or a false, I'll give you $200. No, it's your own hair. Pretty girl, pretty girl. You just lost money for being a pretty girl. Give me a hairbrush and I'll give you $100. How do, how do you like it? Her name is, I can see, Helen Jacobs. Helen Jacobs, wouldn't it be funny, the guy I made a deal with before sitting next to you had a tennis racket, and Helen Jacobs was the name of a great tennis champion in the United States. And this Helen Jacobs is looking for a hairbrush. You haven't got a hairbrush? Well, I want to say one thing. You're a pretty girl. You don't need false eyelashes. You don't need wigs or false. You're a pretty girl, and you're also poor, because I'm not going to give you the $100. <laughs> All right. Oh, listen, listen. Uh, if I can remember correctly, somebody will have to bear me out on this one. I'll give you $150 without any help from anybody if you can tell me how much cash was on that board at the end of that deal. Nobody can say a word. Big deal? Yeah. Uh, $8,775. 
$8,775 was not wrong. No, it was not right. It was not right. I think it was $8,765. If my memory serves me right, but that Let's wasn't right. Let's make a deal. This is Stephen Hayes, Monty Hall Production. Jay Stewart speaking. Let's look give you 100 bucks. Show me your boots. She's got spurs for $100. It's more than password, it's password plus. Our guest star, Vicki Lawrence and Dick Gautier. And here's the host of Password Plus, Bill Cullen. He probably, he probably wondered where I was. Yeah, yeah well, here I am. Very nice. Yeah, isn't this nice? Hey, hey, hey. Thank you all. Thank you all. It is my pleasure these past few weeks to be here substituting for Alan Ludden, who will be back with you ere long. And it is my pleasure this week to be playing with two sensational players, Vicki Lawrence and Dick Godier. You two have done so far, let's see, there's been $10,900 or something like that. One right here at Alphabetics. Wow, that's exciting. Pretty good going. Are you going to be the one who plays now? Or is no, it you? You? I'm leaving now. Oh, may we? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to leave. Hey, listen. I did want you to stand at least have a crumpet with us. <laughs> Thank you, Vic. You we'll, bring you, we'll bring you your scone, crumpet scone, over. Scone. Scone. Okay, good. Scone is nice because we have a Scottish girl coming in, a Scottish lass name of Diane McCain. Come on in, Diane, if you will. Our champion. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yes, look at that. Thank you. $7,000 so far. I don't even believe it. Diane has won $7,000. You were responsible for $5,000 of that, I think, right here. Well, partially. <laughs> yeah, now you're going to She had some whiz-bang answers. She plays extremely well. She gets to this position, and when she gets here, she does well. Well, there's $5,000 in the offing. Add that to seven, and any fool, including I, know that's $12,000 for you, Diane. Yeah, close, close. Yeah. Good? <laughs> well, we're not going to keep you waiting around. We have 10 passwords for you. We're going to start you with a letter L, and it's going to go okay. alphabetically all through the letter U. There are your letters, L through U. If you get all 10 in 60 seconds, you get $5,000. I'm not going to ask you how, if you know how to play. I know you know how to play. Now, don't you look. Dick and I are going to look. Let's put the first uh, word starts with letter L. Put it up there, please. There it is. Pick up a couple of clues, as Alan always says. Okay. Got a couple? Yeah, I think so. Good luck to both of you. You have 60 seconds. Go. Maybelline. Liner. Uh, I. Lash. M. Uh... Homicidal... Maniac. N. Uh, blanket. Nap. Indian. Nubby. Tribe. Navajo. O. Uh, emu. Ostrich. P. Um, pants. Pockets. Q. Um, uh, Canada. Quebec. R. Love. Romance. S. Uh, jab. Stab. T. 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 Uh, T. Uh, candy. Treat. Chewy. Toffee. Taffy. You. Um, uh, uh, soldiers. Uniform. That's it. Wow! Wow, wow, wow! Oh, oh, oh. oh good going. <laughs> Nicely done, both of you. Oh, terrific. Well, wow, you both are. Emu. 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 Did you hear that? <laughs> That's a weird one. Hey, that works. Yeah. <laughs> you know what an ostrich is? It's an emu who buries his head in the sand. <laughs> emu right. for ostrich, and you got it. <laughs> got that she must do crossword puzzles. Do you do crossword ah, puzzles? Ah, that's yeah. it. You do you do crossword puzzles? Yeah. In ink? Yes. I, I do too, but I'm always wrong. <laughs> I do three words and throw them away. What do I need? You got twelve thousand oh. dollars, Diane. Holy Toledo, or no, you're, you're going to Canada. Yeah. Holy Canada, twelve thousand bucks. You have a chance to get up here and play for. You're good. Oh, thank you. You are, are. sensational. Fantastic. We'll be back here in just a moment. We're going over here and play some more Password Plus as soon as you get back. So do not tarry. <laughs> or tappy. Or tappy. Or tappy. 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 Okay, welcome back to Password care. Plus. The game goes well. Yes. I know Alan, if he's watching, likes this because he likes to see the game really go. Diane McCain, $12,000. Vicki Lawrence is your partner. Dick Godier, you have a new partner. And may we meet her right now, please? It's Carol Grenfell. Come on in, Carol. Hello, oh, Carol. Uh, well, give it to me. I like it. I like it. Oh, you've got a rose. She lost it and I swiped it. <laughs> uh, Carol, tell us a little bit about yourself, aside from the fact that you lost your rose. Um, I'm a runner, 
and a runner, a runner and a retired teacher. And I'm um, a mother of two preschoolers. And my husband and I changed roles this year. He's with the kids. And I'm <laughs> out teaching for the year. Oh, I thought you were going to say you were out with the fellas bowling. <laughs> When you say runner, you mean sprinter or jogger in that sense? Jogger, not not sprinter. But I've run jogger. a half marathon. Oh, it's, it's, it's I'm a working 13, on a marathon. Thirteen miles. Right. The whole one being twenty. Half very, is pretty darn very good. Slowly. How long does it take you to do thirteen? Oh, that's embarrassing. That's okay. It's not embarrassing. No, just that you finish oh. it. You can tell me. Well, I finished in in two and a half hours. Very that's good. That's what a good runner does a marathon. Any marathon. <laughs> New, New York, I once did uh, cross town two and a half hours in a taxi <laughs> cab. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we all know. I thought I'd get to that before you did. Yes. Welcome anyway. This is Diane McCain, your uh, your opponent and a darn good player. Yes. There, it's your option, Dick. Vicky, okay. yours. People at home take a peek, and Dick tells us whether he's going to pass or play. Um, I'll play. Okay. Initial. Abbreviation. Vicky Lawrence. Uh, second. First. That's it. Oh, Diane, picking up where you left off. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Could have the, the answer was first. You're going to get a chance to guess, Diane. The first clue goes up on this puzzle, and it is first. I have got the slightest <clears throat> idea. There's so many firsts. Guess any old thing. Beethoven. Is it Beethoven? He was first something. Oh, he had a first symphony. He had a first symphony. He had difficulty hearing. <laughs> The first composer to go to death was the piano. Exactly, and didn't have many friends. That's right. Take Vicky at home. It's Vicky Lawrence's. Oh, it's us? Oh, yes. okay, I'll no play this. what goes on here. Charlton Heston. Hey, that's good. Okay. Diane, we have first, and we have Heston as the clues on this puzzle for $100. Well, I'm going to say The Ten Commandments, just because I'm not sure if that was this first movie or not. Is it The Ten Commandments? Well, I guess, I don't know if that's your answer or not, but that, <laughs> at least we know Vicky has the option still. Here it is for uh, the people at home. I'll play it. Okay. Roddy McDowell. Boy. Oh, oh, oh. Look at us go here. Diane shakes her head yes. Diane, Diane shaking her head yes usually means she has it. We put the other clue up. First, Heston <laughs> McDowell for $100 and a lead. Okay, they were all in the Planet of the Apes, and that was the first ape movie. So, Planet of the Apes? Is it the Planet of the Apes? It is the Planet of the Apes. There you go. Oh, okay. Hundred, $100 for Diane. Carol hasn't scored yet. First to score, $300 wins the game, goes to alphabetics. The other clues, monkey and movie. And that would have said it for you, but you didn't need it. Carol, you have the option this time. There's your password, and yours, Diane. Pass or play, uh, Carol? Um, I'll pass. Okay, you have it, uh, Diane. Debts. Debts? Debts. Uh, uh, credits. Okay, Carol. Overdue... Bills. Yeah! Ah, good, good. That's your first chance, isn't it, Carol? You did all right. So, uh, Dick, you get the chance to guess the puzzle. The one clue, Dick, is bills. Bills. Uh, two cans. Is it two cans? <laughs> They're like emus, only a little shorter you know those and bigger those roses. Great yeah. Big honkers on them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they got all kind of plumage too. You have the option, Carol. Still, Diane, there's yours. Take a look at home. Pass or play, Carol. Um, I will play. All right. Money. Money, cash, and uh, Diane. Change, coins. That's it. Coins. Okay, Vicky. Vicky, you get a chance to guess. We have bills, and we have coins, and we have Vicky Lawrence. Chance to guess for a hundred. How about uh, I don't know currencies? American currencies. Is it American currencies? No. At this point, there's not much else you can do with that. I suppose <laughs> your option, Diane. You keep it. For you, Carol. Take a look at home. And uh, pass or play, Diane. I'm going to pass. You have it, Carol. I have it. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Whether you want it or not, you have it. Right. Okay. Um, scalp. Scalp. Head. No, Diane. Hairless. Bald. Yeah. So. You guess again, Vicky. 
We add that clue to the puzzle. We have bills, we have coins, we have bald for a 200 to nothing lead. Ah, uh, how about, uh, is it Benjamin Franklin? Is it Benjamin One Franklin? No. I thought that was, that was a good one. You notice how apprehensively You're I the read the query there? the only person who thought it was good. Though, yes, though. I said, is it Benjamin else? Franklin? Just, you know, nothing. Sometimes I feel... He's on I some feel... money, isn't he? Benjamin Franklin? Yeah. Yeah. He's on the... Hundred dollars. Was it a hundred dollar? I said yeah, it. Yeah, I've seen one. I go for the big stuff. I for don't. a long time. Uh, Diane is your option. Pass or play? He was on a boom uh, last time. I saw. Play. <laughs> okay, Diane. <laughs> Country. America. That's it. <laughs> Who's guessing? You're still guessing, Vicky. Bills, Bills, coins, ball, ball. America. Oh, how about the eagle? He's on the uh, all the money. Is it the eagle? It is the eagle. Yay, Vicky. <laughs> I'm trying to think of everybody more than a ball. Oh, my God. So embarrassing. At this point, Diane McCain seems unstoppable. Oh. 200 to nothing. But, Carol, you're still in there pitching, and you have a good chance. We'll be back here at Password Plus in a moment. Right now, these messages of intense interest. Thank you. <laughs> Diane McCain has a $200... To zero lead over Carol Greenfell. However, you're playing well, Carol. Dick, it's going to be your option this time. Okay. And Vicky, you get second chance. There it is for the people at home. Pass or play, Dick? I'll play. Okay. Twines. Strings. Good. Right. Good, clue and good answer. You have the chance to guess, Carol. First clue in this puzzle is strings for $200. What do you say? Um, I'll say marionettes. The marionettes. Good try as far as I were concerned. I was concerned. We're concerned. You we're keep concerned. the option. Whatever. Vicky, whatever. Well you, said. You follow then. along whatever he does. People at home take a peek. Is mm -hmm. it mine? Mm -hmm. uh, I'll try it. All right. Triads. Triangles. No. Vicky. Piano. Trio. And Dick's last chance. Minor. Thirds. And Vicky's the last clue of the game. And I took the other. Harmonious chords. Yeah, chords. Triads. 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 Good clue. Triads. However, Diane, you, uh, the clue is added to the puzzle. We have strings, we have chords, and this is for the game if you get it. Uh, is it a guitar? Is it a guitar? <laughs> Had it been, there would have been tumult and shouting. Vicky. <laughs> In, in lieu of that, your option. Take a look at home. Pass or play? Mmm, I'll try it. Okay, I, all right, no comment. What? No, no comment? No comment, no comment. I'm not allowed, I might help. Arthur Murray. <laughs> <laughs> Dick? Personality. Arthur Personality. We're Arthur, going, ooh. We're going down the crane implement with this one. Vicki, uh... What? Cambridge. Godfrey. That's it. What was that last one? Cambridge. Cambridge. Godfrey Cambridge. Godfrey. Good. Good. Now then, Diane, who... Diane, who exudes confidence as I look at her here. I add that clue, Diane. Let me read them off for you. We have strings. We have chords. We have Godfrey. And for the game, Diane. Well, I remember him playing a ukulele. Is it a ukulele? You won the game. <laughs> you go on. You go on. Very well done. Oh, I thought we lost Arthur Godfrey. You're one heck of a game player, Diane. Thank you. We were with two good parts. Carol, you played extremely well, just the way it happened. I'll tell you what we do have. We have a nice parting gift for you. Take it with our compliments. Thank you and very And thank much. you for being with us this to play Password Plus. In a moment, Diane McCain will get a chance to run her riches up a little bit. 12,000 she's working on now. Right now, why don't you watch these messages of rather intense interest? Right. Like Quebec, That's just to say, right. Canada or, or Well, we're talking about the theory of playing this game, Vicky and Diane and I, and I must say they don't, they know just about everything there is to know about the theory uh -huh. of playing this. Look at her, look at Diane, look at Diane McCain. She's not only pretty and young and all those sort of things, but she has $12,400. Oh you married? No. Not married, huh? 
I am. I mean, I was wondering that. I have a would would it would a would a forty nine year old cousin of mine appeal to you? He could be forty seven. For anyway, you know how you know how the whole thing works. You have twelve thousand four hundred. We were just trying to loosen things up, <laughs> not succeed. You're not doing we it. Have, just get on we with have ten go. passwords for you now, Diane. <laughs> Beginning with the letter C and going alphabetically through the letter Miss L. That cue. If you get all ten in sixty seconds, you get five thousand dollars. You know how to play. Let's put the first word up here. It starts with letter C. Vicky, take a look and come up with a couple of. Alan Ludden type clues. Got a couple? A couple of Alan Ludden types? <laughs> no, no, no. The kind he suggests that you oh. have. Oh, okay. Okay. No Starts with Alan. a C. You have 60 seconds. <laughs> Go. Halloween costume. Day. Uh, um, uh, night. Day. Uh, uh, light. Dusk. Light. Dusk. None. Dark. E. Um, uh, Mary. Elope. F. Uh, hurry. Fast. G. Uh, happy, gay, uh, um, uh, happy, tidings, glad, H, uh, fire, hearth, water, hose, street, hydrant, I, um, army, incarcerate, enlisted, uh, foot, pass, soldiers, J, J. uh, army, Vehicle. Jeep. K. Uh, film. Go. Name. Proper. Kodak. L. Uh, Mo. Hi. Bad, bad, bad. I was bad. I, I gave you sorry. trouble. Infantry. Infantry. Burn. Army and foot were both good clues. Yeah, it was great. I was going Oh, Alice, so you've been, you know what happens? You've been playing this now. You've been up here, what, four times? Yeah. Pressure begins to get yeah. to you because the pressure builds, as you, we, we know, because when we play here as celebrities, but you're doing extremely well. You got all but infantry, which you had to pass. You yeah. never get back to. And the last word was lawn. Good clues all the way around. You now add $800. You have 13,200. Oh Yay! 13, 13, 4, is it? I'm 13 boys really doing a job of winning and right now we have an opponent for you to meet would you have jan moses come in and say hello come on in here jan hi jan it's nice let's take oh yay over here welcome to password plus jan thank you very much tell the people a little bit about you well i'm very happily married mother of four beautiful children mm -hmm. i am a high school monitor and when i have time i teach guitar only when i have time Oh, you teach guitar. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, Vicky. Yes. As it turns out, you have the option oh, here. Oh my! Dick, old boy, you have the other. For me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For the people. Oh. Around. Well, I like an appreciative gift. <laughs> Vicky, you want to? You want to pass or play? Here? Gee, I think I'll pass. Oh, all right. Well then. If Vicky has passed. Dick, would you play? I guess I have no alternative. <laughs> <laughs> it's giddy time. Go ahead, Dick. Um. <laughs> Captain. Fly. Okay, Vicky, you have the clue here. Uh, first mate. And it's your last clue, Dick. Lesser. Corporal. And final clue of this word. First lieutenant. Yes. Yes, you pulled it out. Jan, you get a chance to guess captain, this. The clue up there on the puzzle. Is Lieutenant and Jan gets a guess. McHale's Navy. Is it McHale's Navy? It's okay, Jan. You might as well guess. You never can tell when you might get him. Vicky, the option stays with you. Dick, you too. There it is at home. Pass or play, Vicky. Oh, um, I think I'll pass. Dick, you have it. Teddy. Kennedy. Oh, good clue. <laughs> good clue. Good clue. <laughs> Diane McCain gets to guess. We have. We have up there Diane Lieutenant and Kennedy is the two clues, the puzzle for $100. Uh, is it PT-109? Is it PT-109? It is! Oh, wow! Nice, nice. Oh, she plays this game. What can I say? The rest of the clues, number, Navy, and boat, and Diane did not need them. We'll be back here at Password Plus in a moment. Right now, we thought you might enjoy watching this. Wow! Diane and Dick and Jan and Vicky and I will be back again tomorrow. Thank you, Alan Ludden. See you on Password Plus. Bye. One of these stars is sitting in the secret square, and the contestant who picks it first could win a prize package worth $3,193. Which star is it?
Doc Severinsen, Sandra D, Harvey Corman, Hugh O'Brien, Wally Cox, Amanda Blake, Joey Bishop, Aaron Valentine, Paul Lynn, all in the Hollywood Square. And here's the master of the Hollywood Square, Peter Marshall. Thank you very much, Kenny Williams. A very good evening. Welcome to the Hollywood Square. Hello, stars. Hi, good, evening. Good, evening. good evening. Good evening. Doc Severinsen is wearing a see-through flag. <laughs> Sandra D, but she wouldn't wear it. Oh, she wouldn't wear it. I don't look. That's beautiful, Doc. Welcome back, my friend. Nice to see all of our friends. And I'd like to make welcome our Miss Circle for this evening. This is Gail. It's, it's Karaz. Right. How do you do? Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Karaz, ladies and gentlemen. Gail, incidentally, is uh, teaching presently to help her husband through law school. They originally met in a golf class and have been continued swinging together ever since. That's what it says here. <laughs> well, anyway, good luck this evening, Gail. All right. Our right, Mr. X is Lieutenant Joe Fox. Lieutenant, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Handsome gentleman. Born in Scotland. That's right. Raised in Brooklyn. He is a pilot for the Marine Corps. He is married with two children, and I wish you all kinds of luck this evening. Thank you, Peter. We'll sell a product or two. We'll return and play our secret square worth over $3,100. After this, for the players is to get three stars in a row, either across or not a diagonally. Every game is worth $250, and the person who wins the most cash tonight will win a brand new car. In addition, in our first two games, they play for a secret square worth over $3,100 in the first game. Kenneth, would you discuss that with our friends? Yes, an excellent start, the secret square, which includes Kimball's Swinger Organ, amazing new feature the entertainer makes beginners sound like an experienced musician play a simple one finger melody and select rhythm accompaniment of your choice from kimball piano and organ company and snickers munch peanut brittle great peanut brittle candy a fistful of peanuts and munchy golden candy snickers munch peanut brittle and a pair of new straddle lounger low back living room chairs their full-size reclining chairs exclusive headdress pops right up the straddle lounger low back designed for style and comfort Plus, Maslin's inner circle carpeting in a subtle swirling pattern made of Cumulof nylon from Monsanto. Good looks that will last for years. Maslin makes all carpets that way. Plus, the new 22-volume World Book Encyclopedia with separate research guide and index volume. World Book contains over 13,000 pages, 29,000 illustrations representing the work of over 3,000 contributors, and a $1,000 gift certificate from the famous Spiegel Catalog Company. Over 50,000 quality items providing value, selection, and economy. Spiegel, Chicago, 60609. For the show, the home audience, the secret square. As you know, the stars are briefed before the show to help them with the bluffs. Who won the toss backstage? I did. Good for you, Lieutenant. Good luck. Biggest start. All right. Let's start with Paul Lind. All righty. The state of New York is repainting something that will be 90, 90 next May. What are they repainting? It's either Arlene Francis. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, I... <laughs> no. I wish I'd looked like she did at 90. Uh, it's... <laughs> uh, she watches the show, by the way, Paul. I know, and I love her, so I can take the uh, It must be the Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. I'll agree. No, it's the Brooklyn Bridge. Oh. And they're going to sell it. <laughs> what a circle. Gail, a break for you. Uh, Hugh O'Brien, please. True or false, according to the Internal Revenue Service, doctors are most often caught cheating on taxes when they break off an affair with a nurse who then tips off the government. That's some operation, pal. <laughs> who tips off, the, the nurse tips off the government. Right. Yeah. Is that true or false? According to the Internal Revenue Service, doctors are most often caught cheating on taxes when they break off an affair with a nurse who then picks up the phone and says, hey, you, you won't believe this, and tells them. Well, I think it's true. I don't know if it's with the nurse, but I think it's true. I'll agree. It is true. So watch it, Doc. <laughs> Lieutenant? Karen Valentine. Karen Block. Valentine to Block. Who painted the famous painting of the blue boy? Was it Van Gogh or Van Gogh, as some people say? Gainsborough or Picasso? Gainsborough. I'll agree. And I believe it's here in Pasadena, by the way. And that's kind of nice for the next. Gail? Harvey Corman, please. <laughs> It is worth $3,100, Mr. Corman. Listen carefully. Special envelope. <laughs> Who was the first emperor of Rome? Was it Julius Caesar, Augustus Caesar, or Tiberius Caesar? Uh, it was either Arlene Francis. <laughs> uh, 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 that would be 
Julius I, Augustus or Tiberius? I know, Pete. You oh, know Pete. Pete. Oh. Tiberius. Tiberius. I disagree. You don't know, Harvey. It was Augustus. <laughs> Listen carefully here. What a circle. On the organ, the lounge chairs, the carpeting, the encyclopedias, and that $1,000 gift certificate. A very good start and a very good game for you. Back to the matter of money, and Lieutenant, it's your turn. I'll go to Joey Bishop. Irish stew has that name, Joe, because it has so much of a certain ingredient in it. What is that ingredient? And now you're dealing with a category I, I really know. Irish stew? Irish stew is called Irish stew because, un unbeknownst to many people, hidden secretly in Irish stew are matzo balls. Irish stew is called Irish stew because of its abundance of potatoes. Irish potatoes, to be exact. That sounds logical. I'll agree. It not only sounds logical, it is. And that's right. Good. Gail? Yeah? Wally Cox, please. Wally Cox to win $250. This animal's real name, Wallace, was Mitzi. But uh, when she had her own TV show, she was known by another name. Was it Flipper, Gentle Ben, or Lassie? Flimpner. He said Flipper. I disagree. Flipper. X gets the square. Break for the lieutenant right here. Back to you. Okay, we'll go to Amanda Blake. For $250, Amanda. My son. Aw, oh, this is sweet. Listen to this. My son plays professional baseball. What team does he play for? Oh. San Francisco Giants. The San Francisco Giants. No, I'm afraid I'll disagree. Do you have any idea what he might be playing? Chicago? Yeah. Hey! Lieutenant! That's yeah. it! The Cubbies! Right! Very good! <laughs> Joe, you have something to say. What is it? Put the lieutenant up here. Send Amanda down there. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, why not? I've been trying to play this game for years. Say we have another game to play, and it's worth the Secret Square $2,400 in change. Yes, and Circle starts the Secret Square game. First, a Frigidaire refrigerator with an automatic ice maker. Forget about defrosting because it's 100% frost-proof. And a Frigidaire Custom Deluxe Double Oven Range. A, an electric clean <laughs> lower oven cleans itself automatically electrically. Plus a Frigidaire Deluxe Mobile Dishwasher. No more dishwashing, no doubt about it. Every Frigidaire is not a refrigerator. Plus, rice a the big flavor side dish that's so quick, so easy. rice a the one you saute and simmer to perfection. Try rice a the San Francisco treat. And from the Adventura Collection by Keller, this hand-worked Madeira dining furniture with all the elegance and beauty of the Spanish tradition. Plus, flint coat peel and stick floor towel, simple to put down because the adhesive is on the back. Flint coat peel and stick and distinctive decorator styles. And then we'll fly you to Las Vegas for a week's vacation for two at the Union Plaza. Plaza Hotel, newest in Las Vegas, one of the world's largest casinos, 750 car garage, two lounges, two gourmet rooms, pool. It's your play at the Plaza. Very good. Let us show the home audience the secret square. Gail, you'll start this round as the lieutenant started the first game. Doc Severinsen, please. All right. Mr. Severinsen, how many days was peas porridge in the pot? Well, I, I'm not much of a cook. I don't know. About uh, <laughs> nine days, I think. I'll agree. Very good, Mr. Severinsen. Yes, for the circle. We have a commercial word or two here. We'll return and pick up uh, the second game of the match. It is your turn, Lieutenant. Let's go for old Wyatt Earp there, Hugh O'Brien. Hey, Wyatt. <laughs> True or false, according to his biographers, one of Richard Nixon's main themes as a young debater in school was why he hated girls. Would you say that again, sir? Sure. True or false, according to his biographers, one of Richard Nixon's main themes as a young debater in school was why he hated girls. I don't think that's right. I think that's uh, false. I don't know. I tend to disagree. It sounds in character. <laughs> Peter, are you going to be a career man? Uh, <laughs> no, it happens to be true, by the way. It's so true. Yes, Joe, what is it? Find out what the corporal's going to be doing tomorrow. <laughs> We put an X there. Gail, it's your turn. Joey Bishop, please. That's the secret square. Joey Bishop. Me? Yes. It's Me? worth $2,400. Special envelope. For which role did Glenda Jackson, brilliant actress, Glenda Jackson receive her Oscar? Was it for Mary Squ uh, Queen of Scots, Women in Love, or Sunday Bloody Sunday? 
Give me the three again, please, Peter. Mary, Queen of Scots, Women in Love, Sunday, Bloody Sunday, Glenda Jackson won her Oscar. Well, it's between two of them. Um, I'm going to go with Women in Love. I'll disagree. That's it. Oh. In 1970, Women in Love. Well, you won one secret squared this evening, so not a two, not a two, not another one. So we put an X there. Lieutenant, a break for you, sir. I'll take Paul in again. During the 18th century, it was common for a bride to sell something at her wedding reception to help pay for the cost of the wedding. What did she sell? Her, her firstborn. <laughs> uh, sell something? Yeah. Probably her dowry. Her dowry. I'll agree. Good bluff. No. Drinks. She would sell drinks. Her drapes? Drinks. Oh. What? Drinks? Drinks. Booze. Well, it can't be. For $250 in the tie game. And the well known song, Ebb Tide. What does the tide plant on the shore after it rushes in? There's some rowdiness here. <laughs> Do we have, after the order comes, uh, little seashells. Seashells. I disagree. No, a kiss. You both have $250, which is very important because the player who wins the most cash during the show gets a special big, super-duper bonus prize. Yes, it's a brand new Vega sedan, the little car by Chevrolet that does everything well. A success last year, now with improvements. Chevy's Vega. If the uh, show incidentally should end in the middle of a game, we add $50 to uh, our player score for each square they have on the board. And we'll play the game until we hit the buzzer. And if one contestant has selected a star when the buzzer rings, then we will complete his or her turn. Okay, third game of the match. The board is cleared. We'll start this round with the lieutenant. Let's go for Doc Severance. Doc, true or false? The older you get, the more likely you are to snore while you sleep. Well, um... I find that that's uh, not true in my case, man. I want to stay awake and see what's happening. So you say that's And nothing's false. happening at all. Oh, I see. I'm you just getting older, just laying there. But do you snore more as, uh, as you age, people, in general? Yes or no? You'll have to speak a little louder. They say that uh, too much uh, time in bed makes you deaf. I oh, I'm terribly you. sorry. The older you get, uh, the more likely you are to snore while you sleep. Is that true or false? That, that is true. He said it's true. I agree with him. Yeah, adults tend to snore increasingly with age, in fact. With the next, and Gail, your turn. Hugh O'Brien, please. If, uh, if you're storing beer cans in the refrigerator, should you, they be standing up or lying down? Beer cans. Well, as an old beer drinker, they should be standing up. I'll agree. That's it, with a circle. Lieutenant? <laughs> Go right ahead. Take Joey Bishop again. Are nude magazines allowed in Russia? Nude magazines, are they allowed in Russia? Actually, very few magazines are allowed in Russia. You know, nude magazines, are they allowed in Russia? Why, unless the men look like the women, I see no reason. <laughs> why they wouldn't allow it, but because it's that kind of a question, and I'd like to mix the lieutenant up, I would well, say this is not one of my better categories. <laughs> I would say offhand, naked magazines are allowed, but nude magazines are not. He said no. Well, it's a case of semantics, but uh, I don't think they are allowed. So you'll uh, concur with uh, Joe. They're not allowed. They are not allowed. They're illegal, in fact. With an really? And we have a commercial word. Uh, Paul, can you get 12 pounds of feathers out of a goose? I got them in there, didn't I? <laughs> All right, I'm butchering the legacy of Paul Lynn, and for that I apologize. Let's watch some more of the real thing, huh? Gail, your turn, dear. Karen Valentine, please. Shelley Winters recently stated, I've decided to quit while I've got my sanity. It's having a terrible effect on me. I, I get awful nightmares. What is she going to quit doing? Acting. For a while, because you know the parts she plays are pretty heavy. They get getting to her. 
Gail? I disagree. Uh, we can accept Gail, but boy, that was close, Karen. It's uh, making horror movies. We needed horror movies, right? They scare her more than the audience. It's not just putting acting at horror movies. What a show. Lieutenant? Okay, Paul in the block. Paul, uh, the L.A. Times said that the U.S. may soon share a secret with Japan. What's the secret about? Uh, location of the Pacific Fleet. <laughs> Share. U.S. may soon share a secret with Japan. What's the secret about? Secret. Secret with the Japan people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Japan people, right. Yeah. Uh, share a secret with them. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. I, that could be many things. Let's see. Uh, share a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Paul doesn't have a bluff. Well, Did I didn't like know we were about it. No, no it's, the, it's atomic energy that we're going to have a whole thing. Oh. And, yeah, okay, we'll go back to a Paul for another question. Okay. okay. Right. Is Billy Graham considered to be a good dresser? Paul, it's your question. <laughs> no, but he's a terrific end table. <laughs> But is Billy Graham considered to be a good dresser, yes or no? I saw him come in the building tonight, and I'd say no. He says no. I think I'd have to disagree. It's yes, he's often on the best dress list. What was he wearing tonight, Paul? <laughs> what was he wearing tonight, Paul? Well, he looked like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Halo, right? Okay, Gail, it's your turn. Harvey Carmen. Harvey. According to Women's Day magazine, if you're driving along and start to feel drowsy, taking something off might help perk you up. What is it? So, goodness. So, see if you're going to convert a bit. Take a so, you're driving along and start, you start to feel drowsy. Now, mm -hmm. taking something off might help perk you up. What is it? Uh, your tie. Your tie. I disagree. No, it's your shoes. And we have a circle there. Lieutenant, your turn. Well, obviously, I got to work Wally Cox. Wally Cox to block here. Reader's Digest recently referred to it as the book most... Uh, let me try... The, oh, incidentally, this will be for $500. Uh, Reader's Digest recently referred to it as the book almost nobody reads. What was it referring to? I think it was clothing, for example, to be well-dressed. You, you, what you need is a brown jacket, mm, yes. <laughs> a matching we, brown tie, right. we, we and must a sure suffer jacket. Here, uh, yes, but we're no, back to the Reader's for... Digest. Recently, you referred to it as the book almost nobody reads. What was it referring to? The book almost nobody reads, yes. That's the Bible. The Bible. I think I'll agree. Unfortunately, it is true, because people don't seem to really read it at all anymore. With an X and $500. Square is worth fifty dollars. We're going for that car, and Gail, it's your turn. Amanda Blake, please. All righty. Uh, Small Town Girls was a movie with Jane Powell, Ann Miller, and Pat Ryan in the cast. Now, who pa uh, who's Pat Ryan better known as today? Mrs. Richard Nixon. I agree. That's right. Very good for you, Amanda. <laughs> Lieutenant. Fifty dollars. Hugh Bryan. More <laughs> land speed records have been broken on the Bonneville Flat uh, Salt Flats than anywhere else. Where are they located? What state? The Bonneville Flat, the Salt Flats. Utah. I agree. That's it. With an X. Gail. Joey Bishop. Joey Bishop. Who's more likely to be colorblind, a topless dancer or a truck driver? <laughs> Terrific question. One of my real categories. The truck driver probably go colorblind from watching the topless dancer working in the nude. But the truth of the matter is, more men. See, that's a trick question, Peter. You can't fool me anymore. More men are colorblind than women. So, it doesn't he, matter. He says the truck driver, Gail. I agree. Yes, eight times as many men are colorblind than women. Very good. Lieutenant? Wally Cox. Wally Cox, the block. In Greek mythology, Paris stole the wife of a man called Menelaus. Now, Menelaus made a big deal out of it. What was this big deal called? I, I just answered your question. I was taking a little nap. I know. You're back at it. Now, Menelaus <laughs> made a big deal out of this thing when Paris stole the wife. <laughs> stole his wife, I should say. What was this big deal called? The, the Trojan War. Gail? 
Oh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Excuse me, the lieutenant. I agree. That's it, yes, which lasted for ten years. Yes, uh, the wife was Helen of Troy. Gail? Harvey Carmen de Block, please. Harvey de Block here. Legally, can you leave your fortune to a dog? Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm leaving my fortune to a dog. <laughs> Anybody we know? Yeah, Donna. No. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can, he says. I'll agree with that. Uh, yes, you can. And you put a circle right there. Now we're going to add up the scores right here. The reason I was rushing along, every square was worth $50, so I didn't know whose turn it was. I was just trying to get all the questions in. First of all, Gail, we have $400 in cash for you, dear. Thank you. And we have the secret square that you won. You missed the second one, but the, the one you won was worth $3,100. Lovely parting guest. We hope you enjoyed your evening. Thank you. I really did. Very nice. Lieutenant, you did not win a secret square. No, I didn't. We only have $600 in cash for you. But you're the cash winner. That means that you, sir, are our winner of the Chevrolet Vega sedan. And, My Lieutenant, we thank you very much. That's the way we like it on the Hollywood Squares. Two winners here. Doc Severinsen, thank you so much. Is your lovely wife in our audience this evening? Uh, she's out there someplace. Does yes. she come to the Tonight Show? No, she, she prefers this show. She oh, comes God here. love you. May your tribe increase. Sandra D., thank you so much for joining us. Harvey, the Carol Burnett Show will be seeing you this evening. Hugh O'Brien, he's here on NBC in a marvelous show called Search. Wally Cox, Amanda Blake, Gunsmoke, Joey Bishop, The Tonight Show. Karen Valentine, Room 222 with her pretty rose. Bye. Paul in the Paul in show. Peter Marshall, I am see a show called The Hollywood Squares, and we'll be here next week. We wish you a lovely week. See you then. Bye bye. House party. Party. Game. Game. Show. Show. Dog. Dog. Food. Food. Chain. Chain reaction. Chain reaction. The new game show from the producers of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Tomorrow at 9, 8 central on GSN. Chain reaction. <laughs> GSN, the network for games. Games for the uninhibited are stars this week. Vicki Lawrence, and from Love Boat, Deb Lang. Watch their bodies do the talking on Body Language. And here's the star of Body Language, Tom Kennedy. Oh, look, you're there. Wow. Now, don't... <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you all very much. Don't... Gene, please. <laughs> that is very sweet. Thank you very much. Uh, hey, now, come on! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the second... That's the second. <laughs> All right, come on. You, you guys are going to make me cry in a minute, and that's silly. That's the second standing ovation I've gotten. The first one was when they got word of cancellation. <laughs> now, this is, and I appreciate that, but for you folks at home, uh, this is our final uh, body language on the CBS television work, and I'm so happy to have you folks with us in the studio audience, and thank you very much for that. Uh, that round of applause. It was very much appreciated. Uh, here is one of the people who launched this show a successful <laughs> year and a half ago, and we're so happy to have her back. Vicki Lawrence. <laughs> Looks like a little Christmas to you. Uh, wherever your next show is going to be, and I... And, and, oh, come on. I have a hunch I know where it's going to be, and I have a hunch I know when it's going to happen. I hope that you have the privilege of working with as fine a crew as we have had here on Body Love. Uh, what's the matter? Your boots too tight? Can you get a standing ovation on your wedding night? No, no. Oh. 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 Well, I'm gonna leave you a do but a humor here. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, thank you for the year and a half that you started off, and thank you for well, helping us finish you. it off. Goodness You're welcome. Sake. Okay. And if you ever get a show of your own, I'm available. You know? Are you? Yeah. Okay. You know I'm an actor, too, or didn't you know that? No. 
<laughs> Here's the other half of the red team. Here is Janice Blythe, $1,500. Janice is indeed a Blythe spirit uh, because she is eagerly anticipating the passage of her real estate license. Yes. And that means that 86, I predict, is going to be a very big year for you, Janice. Thank you. You're welcome. And it has been for the last nine years a big year for this guy, Ted Land from the Love Boat. Tom? Yes, sir. Now, I know that today is a momentous day. I mean, there's a lot of things happening at once. But can I say happy birthday to my mom? Because today is her birthday. Well, of course. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday, Mom. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. A and in two days, January 5th, it'll be my birthday. No kidding. Yeah. Whoa. So, wait, wait. If anybody has any presents, Oh. If they want to send, there will be an address. Just send them and tear this station right here, and I'll be happy to pick them up. <laughs> it's true, but it's true. January 5th is my birthday. Well, congratulations. I admire you. I, I, I swore off of them about 10 years ago, but at least you're still having them. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just, How old are you going to be? I'm going to be... Uh, I'll be... Yeah, yeah. don't worry, really, yeah. Hello. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look 53 to me. <laughs> Here is Scott Duvall, ladies and gentlemen. Duvall? Duvall. Duvall. Right. Scott has $2,650. And Scott is, uh, what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a swing cook at a private country That's club right. in Los Angeles. Swing cook. All right. Cook, so if you want your next swing cook, you know who to come to here. <laughs> uh, let's play our game to see if it works any better. You know, I tell you what let's do. Let's act out. Let's do this. Let's use body language and act out words to your partner and see if they can get them. And then if they get words, see if they can solve the puzzle. You want to try it? Who knows? Maybe we could sell it. I, I, I doubt that, but let's go. Big <laughs> easy. And I tell you what, just to, just to try it out, I'll give you a 60-second time frame. Okay. okay. Let's try it. 60 seconds on the clock is your first word. Go. You're talking. Yes, yeah, talk. <laughs> you're opening a magazine, a newspaper. You're cartoon character. You're, you're a little kid. You're doing a puzzle. You're doing a crossword. You're playing checkers. You move. You are drawing. You're writing. You're, Pass. You're, you're down. You're, you're, you're sleeping. You're on the bed. A pillow. Yes. You're on the pillow. You're yawning, bored. <laughs> yes, yes. Speckles. Yes. Last one. Opening. Twenty-two um, book. seconds. Coloring book. Crayon. Pencil. Pen. Pencil. You have fifteen seconds. Pencil. Polka dot. Connecting the dot. Connect the dot with this. Very good, Vicky. All five. Do I get $500? No. You oh. get to sit down, though. <laughs> oh, you get to rest your bones. <laughs> Very good, Janice. Great. Connect the dots. All right, here's your puzzle. Here are your five words. It's a $100 puzzle. If you're bored watching this blank star in Pillow Talk, go to the blank and play Connect the Dots with her freckles. Answer. Doris Day. Is it Doris Day? You have $100. If you're bored watching this blonde star in Pillow Talk, go to the screen and play Connect the Dots with her freckles. And you have 100 plays to connect the dot with the cycles. That's huge. $100 for the red team. And the first team to reach $500 wins again. A chance of $10,000 back with Ted Line, the team right after this. All right. All right. $100 for the red team. Here comes the green team. Ted, stop. Ready? Ready. 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Here's your first word. The first word. Go. <clears throat> Uh, hula, you're a hula dancer, famous, Hawaii, um, Hawaiian dancer, uh, island, Hawaiian island. Yes, Hawaiian island, uh-huh. Mm. You're an animal. You're a chimpanzee, an ape, a gorilla, uh, King Kong. Yes, good. <clears throat> uh, a microscope, uh, Sherlock Holmes, um, young Sherlock Holmes, um, Dr. Watson, um, you're a, you're an investigator. You've got a pipe. You're a private investigator. You're a... Uh, you're a... Uh, 
Set there. All right. It's a rocket. It's a spaceship. You're an astronaut, outer space. Um, a tidal wave. Oh, uh, it's a volcano. It's uh, lava. Yes. Final word. Um. And your time is up. I know, and even on that, you were close. Get over there. You got four of them. Very good. Way to go, Scott. Here's the puzzle. Here are your four words. $100 puzzle. This blank plays on a blank show, has more chest hair than King Kong, and he's the only thing on the whole... <laughs> and, he's the only... <laughs> and he's the only thing on the... <laughs> He's the only thing on the Hawaiian Islands as blank as the lava. Answer? Tom Selleck? Is it Tom Selleck? Ah. This star plays on a detective show, has more chest hair than King Kong, and he's the only thing on the Hawaiian Islands as hot as the lava. And we have $100 apiece, and I want you to know that those beautiful fingers belong to Sean Shea, our backstage stage manager. We audition people for six months looking for the right fingertips for that very job. $100 a piece, $250 puzzles coming up. All right, get away. We have $100 a piece. We're going to $250 puzzles now. And in this round, if neither team reaches $500, we get rid of these guys, bring in somebody, and play the game, and get on with it. Also in this round, if they get all five in a row, we've got a $500 check waiting for them. But uh, if they don't, since this is the last show, since this is the last show, it's going to be... Uh, never mind. Here we go. Vicki, why don't you get over there, and Janet, you come on down here. Um, that's about all I'm going to tell you. Okay. 60 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Here's your first word. Go. You're a woman? A famous woman? Uh, you're uh, Avon lady? No! Yeah. Next! You're a famous woman again? Uh, you, uh, oh, good heavens. Miss Piggy! Yeah. <laughs> you're stepping on a doormat. Uh, you're wiping your feet on the doormat. Welcome, Matt. Yeah! Wow! You're, you're in the clinches, you're uh, wrestling. You've got it. This is your final word. You're in the bathtub. Six seconds. You're bathing in the bathtub. Bubble bath. Uh, bathtub. Bath. You got it. Bath is it. You got it. Yes, you got it. Bravo. Bravo. Now, I want to tell you something, as if you didn't know it. You were very good with your clues, but the magic of Vicki Lawrence really came through. Yes, you had, that was magic. good good reception. It really was. No, the intelligence, the talent, that's what I'm trying yes, to say. Yes. $500 for you. Get over there and sit down. Yes. Nothing for you so far. Here's your puzzle. Here are your five words. Miss Piggy might take a bath in it. A blank might wrestle in it. And the Avon lady might blank it on your welcome mat. What is it? Mud. Is it Mud. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, you've got it. You've really got it. Oh, yeah. Miss Piggy might take a bath in it. A uh, bombshell might wrestle in it. <laughs> oh, bomb, yeah, mud wrestling. And the Avon lady might wipe it on your welcome mat. Vicky, you are absolutely magic. Congratulations. Get over there and sit down. <laughs> Very well done. Yeah. All right, Ted, come on over here. Scott. Yeah. <laughs> Now, guys, come on, let's do it big. I've got another one of these. Okay. All right, 60 seconds on the clock. Here's the first word. Go. Uh, Chinese guy. Oriental guy. Uh, Oriental strip. Oh, oh, Oriental, uh, Chinese laundry. Yes. Next. Unlock something. Pull something up. Pour coffee. Uh, hot coffee. Boiling pot. What is that pot? Teapot? Teapot. Uh, kettle. Uh, kettle. Kettle. Tea kettle. Yes. <laughs> Iron. Iron. Iron is it. Next. Uh, rain. Water. Snow. Uh, wet. Yes. Next. 
Final word. Uh, cough. Uh, uh, fog. Um, uh, mist. Uh, something in your mouth. Uh, what? Yeah, Aroma. Uh, odor. Uh, atmosphere. Air. Yeah! Air! <laughs> Boy, I tell you, there's another $500 check for you. Thank Congratulations. You. Get over there. Oh, God. Love oh, you, Pat. Woo! Yeah, that's all right. Our final show, and you guys are burning up okay. the chorus. Wonderful. Now, what am I going to do? Oh, yeah, you're going to do this. We're going to look at your five words. I thought this was the thing. The irons at a Chinese laundry and a tea kettle blank this blank wet air. What is your answer? Steam. Is it steam? Way to go! Um, what happened? The irons got a Chinese laundry and a tea kettle. Uh, number four is spurt this hot, wet air. Way to go, Ted. And so now we're going to have a playoff. Come on over here. You sit down and Janice and Scott over here. Neither of you reach $500, so we give you another $250 puzzle. Whoever wins this wins the game. Here's the puzzle. This blank blank works with blank to bring blank to blank. And always blank gets the blank. Janice, you're the champ. You want to go first. You want Scott to go first. Scott can do it. Take it. Number one. This pink blank works with blank to bring blank the blank. And also always blank at the blank. Mm -hmm. Janice. Uh, four, uh, six. This pink blank works with blank to bring blank the blank. And always stutters at the blank. Panther? Scott. Number two. This Pink ham works with blank to bring blank to blank and always stutters at the blank. Forky Pig. You win it. Uh -huh. Scott Pavlov. Uh -huh. This pink uh -huh. ham works with Bugs Bunny to bring home the bacon and always stutters at the end. Uh -huh. $600 wins the game for Scott Pavlov. Janice, that was our final show. You two are our final two contestants. You, Janice, win $2,350. And you, Scott, have a grand total of $3,750. Congratulations Thank to both you. of you. Thank you. And we are going to return in just a moment. Can we do it right now? Say goodbye to everyone. Come on, would you all join me? You What's that? That's what I was going to say. How about a commercial? We'll think this thing over. We'll come back and decide what we're going to do. There is no end game. The end game's already... It is time now to give our champ, Scott Duvall, a chance of $10,000. I almost didn't give you that chance, and I promise you it's the last time I'll ever make that mistake. I promise you that. Scott, in your quest for $10,000, do you wish to give or do you wish to receive? Better to give than to receive. Ah, uh, then you're going to receive. <laughs> False. All right, go on down there. Good luck to you. All right, Ted, good luck to you. All right. Now, now, once again, this is our final opportunity to issue $10,000 in cash. So far, you have $3,750. Are you ready for this round? Yes. The first phase of it is 60 seconds and 10 words. Every word you get is worth $100. Later, you can change the hundreds into thousands. You buy that? All the way. Good. <laughs> I got a tungsten mind. I'd like to talk to you about it. <laughs> no. We wish you the very best of luck. Ted, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. 60 <laughs> seconds on the clock. Here is your first word, and go. Sewing. Needle. Needle stitching. Uh, thread. Yes, 100. Flag. Flagpole, flag wave. Rain. Umbrella. Yes, 200. Um, what is this? Uh, Go-kart. Uh, what is that? Lawnmower. Um, uh, drill. Drilling a hole. Rake. Oh, oh, oh. Hole. Pass. Pass. <laughs> Dancing. Waltzing. Yes, you have $300. Or. Five, 400. Uh, popcorn. Candy. Uh, eating, you're breaking off something huh. and eating it. Uh, stamping it, breaking it. Pass. Pass. Jump, leap. Yes, 500. Indian, two Indian, feathers. Huh. Uh, what, what, Indian headdress, Indian baby, papoose. Yes, 600. Uh, woman, pretty woman. Huh. Um, oh, Tinkerbell was one. Tinker, Tinkerbell. It was a fairy he was going to. Tinkerbell. Fairy. You know, like the tooth fairy and like that. Yes. Now, <laughs> show him this.
show him this instrument again. What the heck? Yeah, there you go. That's it. Now, what is that? That's a broom. Yes. Oh, now, now, what did you do with it? Oh, a witch. Yes, yeah, you Room got holder. it. Yeah. I think I was just in the well, you were going like See, this. Yeah. You looked like you were doing this, which was that's grinding something into the ground. Yeah. yeah. Right. But, yeah. Uh, what, what was it? I don't know. He hasn't done that peanut much sweeping. Was the other oh, peanut yeah. was the other thing. So I was you know, trying to break. Little, oh, yeah. yeah, he was cracking the peanuts, and the rest of it didn't have a chance at. Well, fair you did, but you oh, didn't get I that. See. Now, you got six of them for $600, which okay. can become $6,000, which is a reasonable amount of money, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, to yeah. get that $6,000, all you have to do is just this simple. is get three words in 20 seconds. Good luck. 20 seconds on the clock. Get the first three words and go. Mirror. Yes, one down, two to go. Ring, cut, finger, cut, scissors. Yes, two down, one to go for six thousand dollars. Six thousand dollars a day. Yes. 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 back to this, the final moments of our year and a half reign here on CBS on Body Language. Boy, I, and the old man, of all people, goes absolutely out of it. I almost didn't give you a chance of your $10,000, but I want to congratulate you on earning $6,000 for a total of $9,750. That's terrific. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Janice, we know you're going to pass that real estate license. We know 86 is going to be a big year for you. You have $2,350 to start you off. Best of luck to you. Thank you very much. All right. It's been fun. I'm glad yeah, to hear yeah. you say that. Uh, we're always uh, kind of sentimental about the people who open and close our shows, and we couldn't have found two finer stars than Ted Land and Vicki Lawrence. Thank you both very much for helping us close out our show. Continued success to you. We're so what happy that... Me? I said con continue to... Oh, you said to Chad, I said. No, no, to you yeah. all. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Meaning more than one. you all. Oh, <laughs> all you! Right. I want to... Continue success to you, too. <laughs> Thank you very we'll much. We'll try and find you a job. There is no way I can mention all of the people who are responsible for the integrity of this show, but I can mention Robert Sherman, our executive producer, Mimi O'Brien, Paul Alter, and all the rest. To the Goodson Todman staff, you're the greatest. To the CBS crew, you're fantastic. See you again, folks. Bye-bye. Our departing contestants will receive. Capture your best memories with a Polaroid. The Sun 600 comes with carrying case and coupons for free films. And a toast our oven. It's a toaster. It's an oven. It's a top browner. This convenient energy saver with see-through window makes cooking a breeze. And a member of our studio audience will receive Gibson Frost Clear Refrigerator Freezer with cantilever shelves. Adjustable temperature meat locker plus energy saving system from Gibson. This is Gene Wood saying so long for Body Language. A Mark Goodson television production. This program has been edited for broadcast. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.